<laughs> Howdy. Corbs here with another Red Dead RP stream as George Hughes on the Diablo RP server. Giddy up! Um, so I didn't stream last night because after the three day weekend I had, I feel like um, I feel like I got to get back into where I just do like every second night, if that. Just because too much of it, I get carried away, as some people will remember from one of the streams. Like a little bit, a little bit cranky, which isn't good. So um, we'll play it a bit safe this week again now. The one and only Corbs, that's right. The one and only uh, multi-year runner-up of the Pax Oz Megathon and speedrunner of the niches games and role player as some silly sheriff in a video game. <laughs> how you going, man? Uh, how do I do this again? What am I doing? Oh, I got to equip the stuff. Weird flex. <laughs> no, those are not flexes. Those are all such odd achievements. They're all so random. So random. Um, uh, that's right. I need to cook these fish. I need to open these beans. I need to get rid of this soft wood. I got some more. Uh, I, got some, oh, I got some chicken. And I need to go shopping. Oh, I need to go deposit my pay as well. Oh, my God. Um, and before I get carried away, I need to document these serial numbers, which I've been meaning to do for weeks. I'm just going to take a photo with my phone. <laughs> I'm not writing that shit down. Revolver Navy. All right, there we go. Take a photo of that. <laughs> I'm going all right, though. I'm definitely better than I have been the last few days. Um, had a very productive two days at work. And it's a short work week, which is nice. So that's good. I see there's a Harkness around and there's a Bowman. Oh, Sheriff Bowman's around. Let's go. Let's go. Let's... Let's fucking go. That's good. Um, no, you, you. I think you do, Bunda. I think you do. Um, I don't recall hearing of any other um, executions since the reset. So well, bloody done, my dude. Very funny. Very bloody funny. Howdy, essential. How you doing? Howdy, sir. Howdy, Captain. How you doing? doing How you doing, good. Sheriff? Good, good. Just been managing the riffraff around here, kept everything in order. How's it been today? Met with a little bit of resistance at the start. Oh, who, who have you spoken to so far? Everybody in town. Any any so, any memorable ones? No, nah, everyone sort of uh, met with me with initial resistance, but once I could um, started having a chat with people, and they were understanding that, you know, this is their um, this is their town, their livelihood, and they're not going to be able to sort of. Ex have the luxuries of life as they like it while we're under martial law they need to comply by the by the rules and you know we're here to enforce them and they quickly uh sort of submitted if i would say so i've spoken to about 12 people tonight hopefully they tell another 12 or more well um that's what's been happening so uh, alexi and uh a couple of the gentlemen from the blacksmith have been going around to all the other business owners and uh anyone who comes through town and have been telling them to uh to comply for the sake of the town really well, that, that's the thing. It's a community effort, and we wouldn't have had to initiate martial law if everyone had just, you know, calmed down a bit over the exactly. last two weeks. Like, it was getting ridiculous, sir. The amount of people we've seen roped up, dragged around, mm -hmm. boxing in the street, it's been just... And we've been, it's a shit show. And we've tried so hard to be polite and understand and explain ourselves rather than coming down with a hammer, but they just don't listen. That's it. There's only so much we can um, we can try and be nice to before we have to start being a bit of, uh, as I would say, assholes. But uh, yeah, it's a damn shame, oh. sir. It's a damn shame. It is. It is because I don't like being an asshole. And <laughs> but um, if I have to be, I'm going to have to be. But everyone seems to sort of be on the same book now. They've actually even tried to. Um, a few of the business owners have actually come to me requesting to have a bit of a town meeting to see what we can do, what they can do for us to help this uh, this martial law be lifted. And I said, well, you go around and spread word that, you know, this is what needs to be done. Well, what if we yeah. had that laid tonight in the courthouse? And we possibly could have. I think that's a great idea. Oh, hmm. oh, sir, look, behind you, Deputy Marshal Ames. The cavalry has arrived. Oh, beautiful. 
Let's go have a chat. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Deputy Marshal Ames. Do, 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 do. You should have like a theme song when he comes in. It's Ames. Do, 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 do. He's got no hair. Do, do. Good to see the sheriff around. Where do you go? Do we ding? Do we ding the bell? Maybe. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Da ding I ring the bell, George. Well, I didn't want... We, we don't get this barge in your office. You've done it every other time. Well, that's until I b until I saw this big bell. You didn't ring it right. Anyway. Oh, oh, How you going, could George? You, could you demo it for me? Uh, no. It might break it. Oh, <laughs> see, Sheriff, he's too strong. He's too strong for his own good. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well, yeah, you get in there, Sheriff. Sorry. Yeah. How you going, Deputy Marshal? Yeah, good. How's, uh, <laughs> how's things going all right at the moment? Uh, it's going all right. People are starting to comply now since we've um, been going and having a chat this time of them. Um, I had a chat with a few people, and they've been, uh, a few of the business owners have been quite uh, helpful with um, us trying to get some control over the, the town at the moment. They've um, been going around spreading the word to other business owners to uh, to comply for the sake of you know their livelihoods and their businesses running and being able to have you know, their groups and whatnot back. Um, but they're requesting having a meeting with the uh, the marshals and possibly the governor and, and, and myself to see possibly what they could do better for us to uh, to get them out of the shit, as so to speak. Well, I could, uh, first thing I can do is actually, you know, if they're seeing issues, Obey the they law. Can report it to yourselves. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if they, uh, you know, if you're just letting it happen, then you're not just a bastard, you're involved, you know. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, well, yeah, that might be something we can arrange. Um, I've told the, them... Is that the business people? The saying? business owners, yeah, are trying to get together so they can sort of... A few yeah. of them are worried that, they're, you know, being in martial law, nobody's going to want to come down. <laughs> uh, but, look, I understand where they're coming from, but also, at the same point, like, they've left it too late to be able to be worrying about their businesses if they're letting shit shows go through the town and, you know, taking vigilantism on themselves instead of coming to the, the department and whatnot. You're correct. Um... But I just thought, I'd, you know, I was just speaking to the captain here and we both, well, he saw you over my shoulder and let me know. So I thought we'd just come have a quick chat with you and ask what you think. Oh, uh, I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, but uh, I agree that uh, they want to have a chat now. It's a bit like, uh, you know, closing the barn door after the horse has bolted. But, uh, <laughs> you know, gives them a chance to uh, maybe, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, Think about some of the things they can do to help yourselves, mm. you know, because God knows the amount of times that I've been watching everything, you know, and the governor's seen things, you know, just down the street and the business owners are just watch and let it happen. It's uh, yep. kind of ridiculous. So mm -hmm. uh, I might think about actually, uh, you know, this might actually make them think about their businesses and their livelihood, which sounds like it has. It's good. So, well, I hope so. Well, apparently, I mean, how good are the walls in here? What was that? How good are the walls in this building? Well, yeah, no, yeah, not too bad. They're pretty good. Well, um, I've been told by a couple of business owners too that they have run out another business that was causing a lot of the dramas. Right. Um, supposedly there was a group here that were not really um, hospitable to the other businesses and whatnot, and then collectively they've um, asked them to relocate from their store in here. And supposedly they have complied and actually left. Um, they, the businesses around here are assuring me that um, now that they have left, they're going to be well behaved and everything's going to be reported to us. Um, but I guess time will tell. Yeah, well, you know, just because I think they're just, uh, you know, coming to you right now after what? I think they're trying to crawl up our hours. asses a little bit, yeah. Yeah, they're trying to cover themselves, which, uh, you know, I get that. Um, 
but it ain't going to end the martial law that quickly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Because <laughs> it hasn't been fair on your lawman either. Because uh, you know, people have been uh, getting harassed. Hell, I've even been kidnapped once. The governor's been kidnapped as well and taken away. And I believe that may have been the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, they uh, kidnapped me yesterday and said that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, they're exterminators or something like that or pest mm. control or some shit. Right. They're like, oh, well, you know, we're here to, uh, you know, get rid of the pests and, you know. I mean, they were saying marshals, but I don't think that was indeed. Uh, I mm. think it was just did it me, but uh, I think it was in general for the lawman because uh, it sounded like they were going to try and run the town or some shit, but you mm. know that. Like, a dog ain't going to hunt. No. So, well, um... Especially when, you know, 10 or 12 of them are just going around and fucking throwing people drugs in parking. You didn't, didn't miss it yesterday. I walked down your you know, Harkness and, uh, what's that, your boy Sledge went down. Yep. And we're walking down the street and there was about 10 or 12 of them down the street. And uh, the Rangers were around, so I said to them to come with me. But, you know, they're all just trying to, you know, just blatantly putting drugs in pockets and shit. No, 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 no. We're not having that shit. No. You know, that doesn't not happen. Going around with rifles on their back and then just, you know, mob mentality. Yep. Yeah, and I think they know they can sort of uh, run it over the, the West at the current stage because I think we, we don't have too many active active lawmen but we'll do our best at the moment to bring it in i've been chatting with a lot of them to uh try and comply and help us to help them so, you know we can do a lot for them if they come to us 100 percent, you know and people ain't going to come into a town when there's like 15 20 people just mm-hmm. mulling around in the middle of the street looking like an oh, malicious yeah um i've also you might be interested in this too i've also been given some information too that a lot of the drama coming out of like coming in from out of town has apparently been coming over by boat from the uh the road saint denis area oh really yeah so i've let the pinkertons know um i believe the chief inspector is that one covered but um if we're in town. We just got to maybe keep an eye out on the uh, the harbour sometimes there. See if, see if well, we can see any coming over. Yesterday there was like three or four boats just you know just sitting there at anchor and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Man. So it wouldn't surprise me if they're you know pushing over from the east because you know obviously the east have a, a full roster. Mm-hmm. Uh, how are you going for numbers? You getting there? I think. <sighs> I've got a lot of numbers. I've got a lot of names in my ledger, but uh, only probably four of them that actually uh, sign on for duty. Um, at all really yeah right well again uh if you're not happy with them you you know god give them a warning and say you know well, you, you've, you've said that you wanted to be uphold the law but yeah. uh, you haven't uh put on the badge recently you need to one of them be out there and uh patrolling and they need to you know yeah well one of them will be going on to um uh, suspension due uh, while we look into some uh, reports and stuff about him. Apparently, I have a deputy who's only two days old going around, uh, as to say, swinging his dick. He's uh, pulling people out of businesses and putting them in cuffs and unlawfully searching them. And um, yeah, just really yeah, well, being that a. Doesn't, that doesn't go well with, you know, community perceptions either. Well, that goes against what I ran for as sheriff to have, you know, I want my, my lawman to do just and lawful, you know practices i don't want them going around abusing power and whatnot so he might be uh he'll be under suspension and pending maybe dismissal yeah well, that's uh that's understandable it's uh, not good but uh you know we can't we can't uh dilly dally with that kind of thing yeah. we need the numbers but we don't need the numbers you need like, the numbers like you, need, you need quality not quantity you know so you need somebody that's uh got a even leveled head about things so just if I may, sir, mm. uh, just a thought I've had of recent days is, is there a, a sort of an expectation of how long they should be training down with the Rangers? Well, that's up to the sheriffs, uh, depending on what they need. So, you know, if you're not happy with uh, what you've been seeing, then uh, have a chat to the Rangers and just say, hey, I want some people to spend more time on this mm-hmm. and this and this, you know. We had but, three uh, good if ones. If you give them a bit of feedback, you know, it's that closed loop communication. Yeah, I went job. down and spoke to the Ranger yesterday, actually, about a couple oh, of fantastic. deputies, so... Who was the one you've got on suspension, sir? I uh, believe his name. I haven't been able to see him on duty or in county at the moment, but his name was. Uh, 
I believe he goes by Richard Gray. Oh, God. He... Oh, no. Oh, sir. I... I actually sent him away on a... I oh, think really? I think Sunday or Saturday. Um, okay. he, I had bumped into him a few times around the country, and he kept asking mm -hmm. about joining the law department, so I sent him on his way to the ranges down southwest, yep. and because uh, I really felt that he could, uh, would definitely need a lot of training. The next mm -hmm. thing I know, he only had, you know... I think less than a day of training, and uh, he was shipped up. Um, yeah, I, be it, I believe Harkness gave him a badge while I was uh, out on my leave. I spoke to Harkness about him. That when he came to me, like I didn't, re we didn't have any written record or any mm -hmm. heads up or any escort to know that he was actually, you know, ready or that yeah. he's actually finished his training. So I actually sent him away, and then I thought I spoke to Harkness to say this is someone we really need to be marked, like. Maybe not just let in straight away. Just, just first impression wasn't good. Okay, well that's good to know too. Maybe we could uh, put him on suspension pending a uh, review from the Rangers again and see what they think about him. If they can get sort him straight, if not, then it's probably not welcome over on the west side. No, yeah, no, that's that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Frank. Howdy, Frank. Frank, how are we? Yep. How's things been? All right. Yeah, they have been all right. I haven't seen you for a bit. It's, uh, I'm assuming you've been uh, doing your, doing what you do best. Uh, I was around yesterday when you got dragged out of town. Oh, you saw that? That was good fun, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was pain in the fucking ass. What they want? Uh, they were trying to run me out of town, and I think the rest of the lawmen. Right, okay. And then uh, as soon as they dragged me out, they threatened me. I was like, oh, fantastic. That's great. And uh, then uh, I believe... Uh, the town kind of went into a little bit of anarchy uh, because at the time there wasn't any lawmen around. Uh, yeah, I was here witnessing the whole thing. It was insane. This yeah. was last night? Yeah. Oh, it was yesterday uh, when I got dragged out. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, see, I, that was my day off. I did three days in a row and then yesterday was my day off. And, oh, that's a shame. But... Gentlemen, the main thing we need to just do, you know, uphold the governor's uh, decree, mm -hmm. make sure we get out there and show presence and uh, whatnot. I've, and now, uh, you know, I've spoken to the uh, the under sheriff over on the east side too, and said if they have a uh, a few extra spare uh, deputies on duty tonight, to just send them my way, and I'll pay them out of my ledger. Um, yeah. They've they've agreed to oblige, but currently they've only got um, sort of two on that have signed on for duty over there at the moment. So we'll see oh, what happens later tonight. No, that's yeah, that's understandable. Don't forget, to, you know, Ranger Wolf and. Uh, I'm about to go and send a telegram to the Rangers as well. They're, uh, you know, they're quite good hands at this. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, hundred percent. And it's all about presence because if we we're seen to not be fulfilling that uh, decree, you yep. know, then that's uh, <laughs> where they'll they'll try and come back and crawl. The cockroaches will come back out under from under the uh, under the bench. I oh, understand yeah. that. I've I've got one errand to run up in Strawberry and then I'm going to be dedicated to Blackwater tonight. Yeah, and I'm around as well, so I'll be coming out and uh, showing face as well just so they uh they understand we're not uh, we're not fucking around. Yeah, I've been around uh enforcing it since about an hour before the storm. Yeah. Um so it's they put that word they're actually quite That's a new one. That is a new one. They're actually quite um I was actually met with a little bit of resistance at first when I came into in the when I came into county and signed on for duty and considering it was only myself around, I sort of respectfully taught them and um we've arranged that um they're gonna oblige because that's what they've been telling me. Um, so hopefully they're going to listen over the next couple of days and we do see a positive outcome out of it. No, 100%. And, uh, you know, if things get better, then it might get lifted early, which is what mm. we want. Yeah, that's so, what they want. They're already coming to me going, when is this lifted? I said, when you guys pay attention? It hasn't even been 24 <laughs> hours yet. No. <laughs> you know, so, all right. But, yeah, that's, thanks for that anyway. Thanks for that chat. Oh, that's all right. Uh, you know, always around. Well, most of the time around anyway. And nah, the governor's right. around. I don't know if he's... I think he'll be. I think he'll be around uh, some point today. So. Beautiful. Well, uh, I've got to go and speak to the captain here anyway. I don't need to speak to Frank as well, so works out well. Oh, that's good. No, by all means. We'll get on out, and then I'll let. Can I speak to you for five minutes, uh, Hughes, before you go to run your errands? Of course, sir. Beautiful. Oh.
Good day, Marshall. See you later, Ames. Oh, thanks, gentlemen. And I'll, I'll come find you in a bit, bum. Yeah, don't worry, father. Well, uh, where he is? Let's, uh... Yeah, I had some more thoughts regarding the the new recruits matter yep. to run by as well. Cool, let's go, um, let's go over here where we can see pioneers and stuff like that. How you been anyway, partner? I've seen you've been doing a bit of work around county. It's good to see. Oh, it's been a mixed bag, sir. You know, just but mainly it just comes down to the, 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 the very colourful personalities of Blackwater. But uh, mm -hmm. actually, uh, I actually made a new friend oh, in, in country um, with a, a Miss uh, Cynthia Wheeler. Uh, we actually went hunting and that. And uh, yeah, I, I, do, I don't know. I don't know how highly she thinks of me, but at the very least, I've yeah. made a new friend, someone to... You know, um, you know, talk with and go hunting with when I'm, you know, taking breaks off, off the force and that. So that's nice. You know, it's nice yeah, that there's actually some sane people around. It's good that you you're finding that time too to actually have that bit of a release part. I know that uh, duty can get quite stressful sometimes, so it's good to have a bit of a time to yourself. Oh my God! Or else, or else it just it builds up and you get, you make and then you make rash decisions. Exactly. We've seen that in that time, haven't we? Yeah. Now I wanted to speak to you about something confidential. Is now a good time or? Sure, yeah. So I'm just going to lower my voice a bit. I don't see anyone around, but I don't know who's prime. That's the governor's house anyway, so we should be fine. Yeah. Um, I believe you may have seen my uh, notice board in the department there that I stuck up on the wall about something happening on Sunday. Oh, I may have missed that, sir. That's all right. Uh, there is something in there in the... Uh, if, yeah. It's in there anyway. On Sunday, I don't know if you're available or not. It's about seven. Oh, 30. this coming Sunday. Yes. Yes. No, available? I um, I will be a, uh, I will be available. Yes. I want to know your thoughts because I want to keep the, the only people who know about this is yourself, Harkness, and um, my Ranger Wolf. Mm -hmm. We want to do a transfer from our stocks. Yep. Um. But I want to finalize the details pretty much between you and Harkness minutes, if not, you know, 15 minutes beforehand so we can sort of get a jump on things and do it discreetly. Yeah, um, we don't understood. Have, we don't have too much to take, um, but I'm just looking at the ledger. It'd be, good, be, be, a, good, be a good top up. Um, I'll leave it up to, um, as I may have taught you before, I sort of um, would like to have... That responsibility if you're up for it in your capable hands of the uh the stock transfers yeah yeah that sounds like a fine responsibility i, I like logistics and yeah and that yeah so i want to leave the logistics up to you i was thinking of meeting um meeting a couple of people who are going to help escort us uh down by um a lake i'll provide you with that of course details to come understood yeah details to come maybe maybe the day before or something like that so it's sort of Hush, hush and fresh. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm thinking, I want to get your thoughts on it too, because again, I want to leave logistics up to you. Instead of taking a, uh, a cart down, I want us to put on our uh, heaviest duster coats that we've got and just sort of uh, line our pockets between sort of maybe three or four of us. Uh, yeah. I've but... been looking at the evidence. There's not too many big bulky things there. Um, there's no weapons or anything we're taking down. It's all just going to be... Oh, I have a number of confiscated weapons in my personal locker that okay. are yet to come over to the unofficial evidence locker yep beautiful well i mean if you want to we can take them down too um but i'll leave that up to you if you want to have a look through the uh the evidence locker later and maybe assign a couple of names that you trust to hold some stock um i'll be there too so i'll be able to take some on my duster coat as well really the only uh the only other west sheriffs that i've really had chances a chance to you know go on patrol with that mm -hmm. you know that gives me a, a good feeling is a Levi and Sledge. Okay. Apart from, of course, Harkness and Woodman. Yep. Of course. Yep. You know, that, that goes without saying. Yes. Um, but, but yeah, like that, re that gray fella, I just, I just, I had a bad feeling. Um, yeah. Based I on think, previous um, interactions. But there was another three that I inducted not too long ago. They all seem to have good heads on their shoulders, but I'm struggling good, to remember good. their names right now. <laughs> That's right. I had to look through my um my employee ledger too to get all the names and stuff. It just something that struck me with that is that 
sometimes when they come through, myself, I'm about to head out, or Hognus isn't around, or he's about to head out, or we're juggling too much. I was thinking, I don't want to go making too many hurdles for new recruits, but you know the way people can't just come into the department, they have to spend time with the rangers and you know, mm -hmm. meet certain requirements. I was wondering if, until they can go on patrol for the first time, should they have to do an induction with, like, yourself? Or something I where you can so. basically do an interview? Yep, I think so. I just feel yep. like we need another checkpoint, because... Um... I would like to personally... I've thought about this too, because I've, I've been watching a couple of the new deputies who've come through, and while they may know the basics of certain things, they um they haven't got the uh the real life experience. Yeah. Um. So maybe yeah, it might be a good um good thing to have like an induction with myself, and then you know go for a um a ride, and you know have a, have a shift with myself, and um you know maybe yourself and Hartness until they can get signed off by at least one of us, and then we can go. You know I don't want to make it another whole two weeks type thing, but if it takes them two weeks, man, it takes them two weeks. But... We got to be sure because you're hearing that exactly. about that gray fella. That's that's exactly what I was afraid of something like that happening. Um, and that just puts a bad name on us between the community and Blackwater. I mean, it's already sort of fragile as it is, and we want to be able yeah. to build those relationships. And I was just thinking, you know, as good as those three seemed to me when I inducted them, mm -hmm. I just thought, you know, I, I sort of felt like, I just felt, you know, this being my first time bringing someone in, I feel like I've missed some steps. I feel like I'm throwing them in yep. the deep end. Yep. That they could be, they could go off and do anything. I just felt, yep. well, I felt like I was spinning so many plates, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I yeah, I mean that's it's good that you brought that to my attention because if you're feeling that way too, then obviously there is another step there that we need to put in place to make sure we're getting the best value out of who we're getting and making sure we have complete trust in them. It's, and then I did bump into Wolf at the uh, execution of Mister Bunda mm -hmm. recently, and uh, yeah, he clarified that they had he did sign off on Mister Gray, but then yep. he did note that he would require a lot more training from us. But I don't think okay. that was verbalized or, or yeah i don't think it was verbalized right into or, us. yeah i think um even maybe another thing i might request from the other uh, rangers is they've got my the, my postal id and I'd, I'd like it if they could send me a bit of a spiel about them so at least when they send them up to me i can have some documentation of a brief history of them and, and what they're like their their, their strengths and weaknesses and stuff like that yeah we can work on it that way and i said that you know I we I need to I I couldn't sign this fella in because one I had, I had picking up bad vibes, and then I had no written documentation, hadn't heard from anybody, no one had escorted him. He could have been lying. He could have been as anyone saying, "Oh yeah, you know I've done training and just it's complete poppycock." So just having that. Yeah, that's one hundred percent. Having that sort of, you know, that definite approval would be good. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think I think Wolf said that he will make it so that we are able to see more of the uh, notice boards. That'd be excellent if we could. Just for a bit of uh, our own peace of mind, because after hearing, I've heard from three different individuals now about this incident with him, and it's not looking good from what he's been doing. He's oh, been, um, hell. Yeah. But hopefully I'll get to see him soon, and I can uh, have a chat and let him know that he would be... Uh, suspended proving or you know, just seeing if how the rangers can can work with him or how we can work with him and if, honestly if he's not going to be cutting the mustard um i'm just um i'm not looking forward to holding a space here for someone who's not going to do what we need no no i i say send them back to the rangers and if that yep. don't work out then cut them loose sorry 100 percent that's good, but yes, I'll um I might even send you. Actually, I don't even have your postal ID yet, partner. Oh no, I've been so slack with that, sir. You're right. Six. Very yeah. easy to remember. Yeah, nice and easy. I'll um I might send you a uh, a telegram with um some more details and stuff on Sunday night's operation. And uh, what was your ID, sir? There you go, 144. Got it. I'll note that down. That's no worries at all. And um, I've, I'm in two minds of whether we uh, we sort of go down in this out of uniform or if we try and make it look like we're traveling down for a training exercise together. Well, 
considering that, yeah, they, they're all about the brown dust of coats and mm. down in New Austin, I think it would be fitting if we dress for the occasion. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Um, I'll, um... Until we get I'll more send, people. 100%. I'll send you a telegram uh, with some details. You, um... Get back to me in the next couple of days, just finalizing a couple of things and what you think, and then together we can draw out a, a plan, and I'll, I'll make it announced to everybody on the uh, the day of. Sounds fantastic, sir. And we'll try and keep it under wraps. I've just heard a couple of concerning reports down there. That there's a lot of crime going on down there. There's a lot of misfits, um, and so there's been some ambushes and stuff down that way too. So that's the other that. thing I've sort of gotten the the gist of is that the rangers only have so much time for training because they're dealing with a whole lot of stuff down there. Yep. And they yep. just don't have the manpower to be training and dealing with it. Exactly. Well, that's good. I'm glad we're on the same page. I knew I have you as a, a captain for a reason. Oh, well, try my best, sir. Try my best. Who's that? Is that Ames? That is Ames. And yeah, I believe it's uh, Miss Honey pulling up in front. She's looking for Harkness for some reason. Miss Honey? Oh, did you hear she's uh, engaged to Alexi now? Is she? Yeah, they're uh, they're gonna tie the knot. Oh, beautiful! He was handing out black vodka to everyone as a just out of appreciation. Oh, of course I missed him. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's all right. I I'll, I'll I'll remind him that you didn't get any. <laughs> <laughs> well, there'll be some at the wedding. Yeah, there will be. I'll have to make sure I attend the wedding. Yeah, they'll the need the they'll need the head of the law department, the West Law yeah. Department, there to officiate. Yeah, that'll be good. Do you know a date? I don't think there's a date yet, but yeah, it's um, okay. very I'll sweet to, to hear. Sure. Oh, Woodman had a date as well. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. He, we're here with uh, this, uh, I can't remember her last name, Louisa. She uh, she was strongly suggesting that they go hunting again, and uh, he wasn't getting the uh, he, he wasn't getting the hint. So a yep. few of the other ladies may have uh, roped him up uh, okay. and told him the situation. So I, <laughs> I hope that went well, and yeah. A, um, I believe sweet. um I believe Frank and the Mar deputy marshal might be over there waiting for us. Oh yes, yeah. Frank said he in a few yeah. minutes he'd want to talk to you. Well, that all sounds good, sir. But yeah, I'm just gonna be heading up to uh, Valentine. Well, take your time. That's fine. I think it's uh, a bit under control here at the moment. I think it's just um, whether or not it stays like this in the uh, later <laughs> yeah. hours. It is it is still early in the evening. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll do my best to stay around a bit longer tonight. I've um I've been on. I've been on duty since about three o'clock. That's all right, sir. Oh, is this lady all right? I think that's Miss Honey. It's good to see no long arms on anyone's back at the moment. That's, that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah. She might be training. Oh, did you need to have a chat about anything, or...? Oh, uh, yeah, we'll have a chat, so... You want me to there, sir, or do you want me to go run this errand? Oh, you can run the errand if you like, or you can stay, it's up to you. Yeah, I'll send a telegram, run up to Valentine's Strawberry, and I'll be right back. Beautiful, no worries at all. Hello, Zozo. 20... Str 20 stream streak. That's insane. Thank you, Zozo. Sorry, I was meant to say something before, but we had, um... We had a quick meeting with, um, Ames here, and then... Chatting with the sheriff. Hey, George. Ames. Just uh, we'd been discussing all the martial law stuff, um, uh, and some stuff with some recruits and some other law business. So just had to pay attention there. Do do do. Do, 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 do. So for those that don't know, martial law has been... Has come into Blackwater because of all the... The, the excess shenanigans going on over the last two weeks. So we have a bunch of extra powers as lawmen we can act, enact to try and restore order over the next week in the area. Kind of like a Hail Divers 2 community mission. So, 
if people are hanging around in groups of more than three people, like loitering around, we could tell them to move along. Um, all the, and all of these, all of these points, if they don't, if they don't um, listen to what we're saying, we can find them, um, arrest them, and whatnot. So we can also do ID checks and such. Um, down by the things. tables. Oh. Yeah. Well, howdy, partners. Uh -huh, <laughs> Mr. Hughes. I was just uh, coming down to check my telegrams, but here you are, Miss Wheeler. That's me. Hello. Yeah, she, she came over here to loiter. At, loiter. You should I probably uh, search your pockets. Lo excuse me. I don't have anything to hide in my pockets anyway. If there's anything Cynthia's guilty of, it's of a uh, copious animal murder, but definitely oh, not loitering. I, I didn't get a badger on the way here. I swear. I was, I'm gonna <laughs> pretend I didn't hear anything. Mr. Hughes and I went on a small hunting trip and he did see me take out mercilessly quite a few ducks and I think he has a little bit of fear ahead in, uh, in regards to me now. Those poor little ducks. They have so much I need to off. eat. Yeah, but, but what about the ducklings? There was no ducklings. Did you think about the ducklings? I'm, so I'm sorry. Did you check for ducklings? Oh my goodness. You never know. Ducklings could be out of the were brush. There. You didn't check for ducklings either. I, you were just... I was... What about I the was fish shocked. you caught? What about the fish you caught? What if they're baby fish? Shit, I didn't think of that. Shit. I'm a monster. Oh my god. Oh, Alexi. Nah. I just wanted to let you know that Sheriff Bowman hasn't received his bottle of black vodka yet. Oh, okay. I mean, he didn't ask me for one earlier. I, I've been speaking to him a lot in the last uh, hour or so. He's had a lot of sheriff matters on his mind, but he's down at the sheriff's oh. office now if you happen to have a bottle handy. Wait, why am I giving him one? Oh, on account of the engagement. Oh, okay. Uh, because it's Bowman, I will do this. But <laughs> anybody else... Anybody else... No, I it's like, like Alexi joking. got engaged, so he should give everyone else he's, something. That... Yeah, don't worry. He's pretty chill about the whole thing. He's just... He's oh, just okay. he's just expecting an invite to the wedding. Howdy, uh, folks. How are you? Howdy. Pre Previous. This might be too many people now. Oh, I don't want to get myself oh, no, in no. trouble. Right. It's, uh, it's one, two, three, and a, and a lawman, so I think this is fine. Yeah, that's correct. You're fine. Uh, all right. Well, speaking of you, yeah, I was coming to take my telegrams, and then I got to run an errand. I was wondering, Miss Will, if you'd like to accompany me on my uh Uh, where's expedition. your errand to? Uh, Valentine and Strawberry. I'll come along. Someone's got to keep you safe. <laughs> not in, <laughs> not in front of the marshal. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's fine. He's... Jesus Christ, George. Shit. Shit, quick. Quick! Quick! He's my boss's boss! Quick! Shit! Oh god. I didn't see nothing. He'll be fine. Oh my goodness, you just... I... <laughs> Are you gonna get demoted for that one? You back to being a deputy? I don't know. I don't know. Depends on how many was fines I, I give out during the martial law. Huh? Was I, was I just complicit in the crime? No, nah, it was an accident. It was uh, it's just a simple accident. Just one of life's great mysteries. These things happen. Uh, such is life. You know the drill. Yeah, all right. I'll just, uh, I, was, I didn't see it. I didn't see it happen. That's right. Out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm heading back up to uh, hopefully buy some of these weapons that I was trying to do. Well, uh, do you want day. me to inform you what's been going on in Valentine already this morning? With the martial law happening in Blackwater, do I want to know? Well, uh, I shot at someone today. Why'd you? De in defense, in defense, I'll have you know. Self-defense uh, is fine. What happened? Somebody, I believe quite new to the county, decided to just keep opening fire on myself. And, and Harkness was there too. Um, we all had to open fire on him to get him dealt with, but he disappeared in the end. Oh, I see. Uh, taking a long trip, taking a long no, train we, ride we home. No, think he just escaped. He might be out there. Oh, he's out in the... Hound hiding in a cave he, or something. He could be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's alright. Main thing is y'all are okay. And Harkness would Harkness would understand. So you don't worry. They, I'm not gonna find some incident report written about you. Well, no, but I also um I walked into Valentine last night, maybe like 10:30, 11 o'clock, and Harkness knows this is But in fact, I think there's gonna be a report on it that is anonymous in my name. Uh -huh. Um where I walked into Mr. Gold's shop and three people rushed in with the uh, masks on and tried to take me out. 
And then I'm assuming you took them all out in self-defense. No, I'm not. Why do you think I'm vicious for? Oh, you got you got a quick draw. I do not have a quick draw. But these people, and I can confirm they were the people from St. Denny, the, the drifters. And they saw me and they went, oh, it's just Cynthia. Don't worry about Cynthia. Leave her alone. We're just waiting for Mr. Gold. Oh, well, that's going to help us connect the dots with these damn attacks on Mr. Gold. Well, I was also in St. Denny the other night before the execution, and they offered me money to bring them Mr. Gold. You've, you, you've told Harkness this, right? I have, yes. I'm, not, I'm anonymous. You, you don't know it's from me. See, that's the thing. I imagine Harkness may bring that to myself and the sheriff, and uh, we may uh, we may get you to... Oh, no, but then that'd be putting you in danger. I was saying, you know, if we laid a trap for him, we'd say, yeah, we'll deliver you Mr. Gold, and then there's a handful of lawmen no, waiting well, for Mr. him. Well, Gold, Mr. Gold knows about it, and he said that we should just work together and collect some money. <laughs> Shit, I... I... But... Uh, I'd also like to say that they called themselves as a posse. The Drifters is apparently their name. The Drifters. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, they may, what makes it tricky is that what well, they reside in Saint Denis. And it's hard without being in your jurisdiction, technically. Yeah. Well, if they if they're causing trouble in our jurisdiction, that's when we got a problem. But we can't. We'd have to communicate with the other department to uh, arrange. I think y'all need to arrange some sort of sting operation or something. I, I think so. I think I, that I might be. I want this it. violence in Valentine to end, but I also know some of the people in Valentine, they they ain't innocent. They go up there and cause problems too. It's just an endless back and forth, and I'm kind of tired of it. No, we don't need that. It's, we live in a civilized society. We don't need all this. What on earth gave you the idea that we live in a civilized society? We just walked out of a town that's in martial law. Well, if there weren't, if there weren't no attempts at civil, uh, civility, there wouldn't be a martial law enacted, would there? Well, I suppose so. Do the animals out in the forest, do they enact martial law? I, I don't believe so. That's right. It's what separates us from the animal. We have uh, the one difference between us and the animals is we have a governor. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I, I, unless there's, a, I don't know, maybe they got a pelican or something as their governor, but we don't <gasps> understand what they're I saying. Ah, uh, pelican head of government? That would be amazing. I just thought, uh, you'd, if you wanted an animal governor, you'd have to want, have one that looks like he's got a bit of authority. And a pelican, you know, he's got that you, big you bill. You think a pelican has authority? Well, I don't. Would you, would you pick a fight with a pelican? No way. They can eat other birds. That's right. That. They just eat all the other birds. Crazy. I don't trust them. I, I, tr I trust them less than seagulls. Oh, God, the storm. At least the seagull just pecking the coconut. The, the, the pelican, though, they'll just eat your coconut. Yeah, exactly, I guess. I'll be one sec. Ah, shit! Get down from there, Georgie. I'll be just a sec. Hey, Schneids. Hey, Looper. Hey, Rando. Touch can. A man with an automatic transmission or a handbrake goes so fast. Huh? Now, can I withdraw tonight? There we go. Excellent. The bank's working again. They're doing their damn oh, job. Oh, wonderful. Haven't had to do too much crazy martial law stuff yet, Looper, but the night is still young. Now, yeah, I was going to check my telegram, see if I heard any word on your, uh, on your, uh, uh, uh movements. Uh Oh, well, I did leave your telegram, actually, but it's more about you. I'm always reading them late. I'm always seeing you before I read them. I'm, I'm very slack well, with telegrams. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm very busy. I, no, I know you're too busy for me. Don't you worry. Don't, I don't mean it like that. I was just going to say is that all this martial law business has got me real worried about folk. You and is, you, especially yourself and like Woodman and all that. So all I was going to say is that I know I told you to steer clear of Blackwater, but with Marshall Law in place, I don't know if Blackwater is going to be either the safest place in county for the next seven days or the most dangerous. That's what I was trying to figure out. I actually came to Blackwater looking for you, and you know me, I haven't stepped foot in Blackwater in days. So I came in to look for you. Well, I was going to say, like, if you... Like, look, I ain't telling you what to do. I know you're on the path of trying to, uh, you know... 
you know, forge your own destiny um, based on on the, the hardships of your life so far. I know you're a strong, independent woman, and I respect that. So I ain't telling you what to do, but by golly, I would I would beat myself up if I knew some danger came to you. So, yeah, you make the call. If you think you should be heading back around Blackwater over the next seven days or not, that's, that's the lawman will be around. Hopefully right. enforce it most times. I don't, there's not much in Blackwater that I need you know, but I can see that if my Look out! Meta... Oh my Wait, goodness. Donkey riding son of a bitch. So, donkeys are nice. You can't judge someone for riding a donkey. I ain't judging the donkey. I'm judging the donkey rider. Abusing that poor animal. Yeah, they always sound like they're having a bad time. Um, I don't have much need to be in Blackwater, but I do potentially have an interview coming up for working in the medical field, which I believe might take place in like Blackwater or St. Denny or something. I don't know where that will be, but I, I can't say that it's gonna be, you know, out in like Valentine or something like that. So I'll be steering clear unless I'm required to go there. All right. And uh, I, I, like I said, I was only there looking up for you, looking up on you, because I didn't know what was wrong with you. Just, Just little on me. Yeah, well, I hadn't heard if you were alive or not, and you have a habit of getting shot. Uh, it comes with a job. I'm sure if I if, if if something fatal happened to me, I'm sure the word be on the street. If something fatal happened to you, which I don't hope it happens, but I, you know, I'd rather not hear about it from someone down in the saloon getting drunk. Look, if I'm bleeding out. From a bank robbery gone wrong, or you, God you knows what. You send me a telegram if you're that, bleeding out. I will crawl to the nearest telegram station. I'll top up one up best I can. All right. All right. Look, it may be, it may have a lot of spell mistakes, a bit of bad punctuation and grammar, but I will just, you know, it's the give me an A for effort, okay? All right. I'll hold you to that because it's you, it's you, and you know, I I don't have many people that I'm super close to, but. You and Jeffrey that are concerned about the most, but you're the lawman. You're the one always getting shot. Jeffrey just minds his business and runs his bakery. Shit. Sometimes I wish maybe I should go into the line of work of running a bakery or something. This whole martial law yeah. business got me, got me panicking. Yeah, it's certainly gonna be more peaceful down in Armadillo. Oh, shit, I've been hearing things down there too. What do you think you've been hearing things down there? What's I, happening? I just had a meeting. With not only the the, ma the marshal, but also but also Sheriff Bowman, lots of things are happening. So much is going on, and and the next week so I'm much probably you can't tell me exactly what's going on. Some I can, some I can't. But it seems I'm probably going to be chained down to Blackwater over the next week. So I don't even know if I'm going to have time to go to this uh, uh, fair thing they've got on the weekend. The Harvest Festival? That's right. I don't even think I'm going to have time. I think, well, well, that's happening. I think I'm going to be too busy walking up and down Blackwater. And getting shot? So I might, I've got a problem with my ears. You got all that Valentine mud in your ears. So I, yeah, I had yeah, a bunch of Valentine mud and armadillo uh, dust in there. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to be fair for that. All right. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know much about the fair either, so I'm not sure if I plan to be around for that. I, well, I don't know either. It's just, you know, the option would be nice, but I think I'm going to be walking up and down Blackwater the whole I, damn time. I was interested in that formal dance they said, uh, even though I have, you know, a general distaste for the life that I had, which I was constantly at these sort of parties. I thought one might be nice around here. Nice event to keep everyone happy. But uh, yeah, might not be that great. Well, look, I'd offer you to take you to it, but, but like I said, I'm probably going to be telling people to get the hell off the street in Blackwater. Yeah, I, under I understand. Excuse me, sir. Move on. We're having a conversation. Excuse me. Excuse oh, me. Leave him. He's fine. All right, I need uh, to buy my guns. It's your horse's big ass in the way. Hey, you leave Georgie alone. Georgie, Georgie's the best horse. Georgie is certainly nicer than Henry, I guess. That and uh, was it? No, no. Anyway, when you saw me at the uh, Blackwater uh, stable just then, I'd only been in town for two minutes. So I was just glad to see you, and then we could get right out of there. Cause I don't want to stick around. 
I'm, they're, I'm out of can't. they're out of bolt action I'm, rifles. You you synced up for that. I, uh, they've got all gone within a couple of days. They're all gone. You, you know what you're going to have to do? You're going to have to come talk to Mr. <laughs> Gold and see if he'll do a price match for you. I don't think he I don't think he does bolt action rifle. Hold on, let me have another look. Maybe might, I maybe I might. had a fella's look. Kakano, Henry. Kakano. Rolling block. Repeating. With no! Oh, for fuck's sake. I thought. I thought they had plenty of bolt actions left. Uh, what is the, the quip? The you snooze, you lose? I, I heard it's not my fault. The bank. The bank wasn't working. Yeah, the bank did eat your money. Must be nice just having hundreds of... How much was this thing? Uh, not, I think this one's 90 bucks. No, how much is the one that you're trying to buy? Uh, less than $310. Oh, damn, all right. Mr. Moneybags over here. I can't believe that. I was really looking forward to getting a bolt action rifle and they're, they're fresh out. Maybe one of the other gunsmiths does have one. Which, so, I know gold doesn't do them. They've run out here in strawberry. What other gunsmiths are there? Uh, there's one in Armadillo and there's the uh, one in St. Danny, Miss Penner's Rack. I couldn't go as far as Armadillo right now. Maybe I could justify St. Danny. Maybe you can give me your shopping list for exactly which kind of rifle you want, and I can go get it for you. You do that? I'd do that. All right. Well, hold on. I can't remember how much the bolt action is. Look, let me let me give you... You just give me what you're, you're uh, okay with paying, and then I'll see what I can find for you in a deal. I'll bat my eyelashes and get you a good deal, all right? Oh, don't go abusing that now. Hold on. Why can't no, I... I would never. Why can't I check my pocket? Uh, bolt action. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Uh, hold on. Uh, I think... Shit, I can't remember. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Y you're out there? Don't to hell. To St. Denis. We got, we're going to St. Denis? It's fine. I'll ask. I'll, I'll, I'll say sorry to the sheriff twice. He'll understand, because this is this is so I can defend myself during the martial law. Oh, so we're both going to, all the way to St. Denny. Well, you don't have to. No, no, I'm fine for the adventure. I, uh, I'm I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to imply that you had to come. Just, no, I, no, I've been kidnapped. Help! Help! I've been kidnapped. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Now give me all your bolt action rifles, goddammit. I have none, and I only got five dollars. Then what good are you? I got two rolls. Wait, do I have churros? What the hell's a churro? Supply. It's a log donut. A, a what? A log? You know, Did you say a? Long, a it's, it's a long Mexican donut. I'd give you some actually, but I am fresh out. I a log? I thought you said a log donut. A log? <laughs> kind of. I I'm guess. What? Well, well, a donut made of wood, or a, a donut no, as big as a log? It's, it's just a long donut. But isn't the whole point of a donut? That it's a, a, a hoop? I, I don't ask questions. I just buy it and eat it. I don't know what you want from me. I'm not a baker. They're that good, huh? Yeah. Jeffrey does a good job. I think I've had a... I think I've had a, a normal donut. But I've never... A, a churro? I don't think you're that adventurous of an eater. I had to basically force feed you cornbread the other day. What? Why mix... Who are we to play God? Combining corn and bread. It was, cornbread probably existed before normal bread. Cornbread is, is something we got from the Indians. You know that, right? What? That's how they made their bread. We took it. Why did they we, use wheat? Because corn is more plentiful to grow out here. 
Oh. It's easier to grow corn than it is to grow wheat. Were they trying hard enough? <laughs> what? Were they... Oh, I, I don't know. Maybe it was an attitude problem. Maybe they just should have tried No, better. no. Okay, you look at corn and you look at wheat. Corn has yeah. uh, has bigger pieces on it, right? Than wheat. It's easier to take the corn out of the out of the husk. So then you grind it up and you make a flour with it. That's what cornbread is made of. Look, I'll be honest with you. I've never really taken time out of my day to inspect corn or wheat. I, I don't even know if yeah, I can draw I, them. I forgot who I was talking to. <laughs> I, you don't think much about these sort of things. I I have a lot on my plate, Miss. I have. So, sorry, you don't have time to think about corn. I have so much on my plate right now. I know. And what, what I don't need. And you're escaping it. You're procrastinating. We're going all the way to St. Denny. What I don't <laughs> need piling up, piling up my plate is cornbread. Nah, it was all right. It, it was good. You got to admit it was good. Well, it is, it's fine. It's fine. Look, when you when you dine in the desert, and you got the options of nothing or cornbread, it's not a it's not bad. Come on, horse. It's all right. The sheriff wasn't expecting me back at a particular time. Just say that uh, you got into a situation that required your attendance, and it was potentially the fact that you kidnapped me. Kid I've never kidnapped you're anybody. You're attending a kidnapping. Never would never do such a thing. I am an upstanding lawman uh, with a Oh what, it's a what you... oh it's a turkey. I thought what that you... that looked Did like you a get scared by a turkey? That looked like a man man held a gunpoint on his hands and knees with his hands above his a, head. A turkey looked like a man at gunpoint. It was it was it was in my peripheral vision. I, yeah, see, you are a bit tense, ain't you? As a lawman, you gotta be, you, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, lawman, we don't see the world. I as, think you need more sleep. You're starting to hallucinate calm. Do you have any coffee? I actually ran out. I'm sorry. Shit. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, shit. What's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm freaked out. Realize I haven't had coffee in a while. Tea is better anyway. Tea. Tea. Uh. So hello, the hun, MT. Yo, hammer, on site. Howdy, everybody. I'm, I want to get a gun. I really. You watch. Oh shit! I took the wrong way. They better have a bolt action rifle. I swear to God. They might not. I don't know anything else. Like, I've been using this carbine repeater, which was issued to us by the, the sheriff, and it's fine, but it just, it just, it, it's just not the same. Carbine repeater is what I use to hunt buck. You do need something better for hunting people. What? Well, yeah, that's, that's a grim way of putting it. Look, I'm pretty sure that's a cornfield on our, on our right hand side. Oh, look over there, bird. Oh, look, a pond. I wonder if there's any ducklings. Hey! I hope they get to live a long and fruitful life. All right, now you're just being mean. <laughs> Howdy! I think he was actually farming corn. Not even being, not even being mean. He was farming corn. This is why I don't come out this way. Because no, of all the corn? Nothing but... Corn grown sons of bitches. I don't like coming out this way because of the gators and the people who keep trying to hold me up at a uh, gold shop, so. Oh, yeah, the gators. That's right. That's right. The gators and the drifters. Drive, right, if there's any gators, this fancy new pump action shotgun will deal with them. You got a pump action shotgun? You still want more weapons. You well, got to be armed to the teeth. Well, that's the thing, as a lawman, there would be uh, situations where we would be required to breach into a building. And uh, sometimes we're entering buildings that are very, very small, and we just don't have the room to be swinging around a rifle. So we need a. Uh, and uh, we need something that's got a bit of a spread, something we can use up close. 
Right. I, I hadn't thought of it that way, honestly. Let's see. You and your lawman, you got you see the world a whole lot differently. Yeah, you see turkeys as people getting shot. That's right. Well, well, it, let's say that turkey was a man being held hostage. Who, who's he got to thank that he gets to live another day? Well, how do we know the situation would have unfolded the way he was able to live another day? I reckon, I reckon old Turkey Bob and I would have been lapping over a bit of cornbread all night talking about life. Yes, sir. He would have been, uh, would have been like brothers. <laughs> all right. Well, at least that didn't happen. You didn't have to waste any ammo. Oh, that's right. I could, I could afford ammo. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I forgot your money bags. Not after I buy this bolt action, I'm no, not. No, you're gonna be broke like me. You ain't broke. You got that. You got that fancy new bow. Yeah. You're gonna be How bringing much in money all the. Do you think I have. Uh, at least ten dollar. I got five dollars and forty-two cents. How much? Five dollars and forty-two cents. Damn, Miss Wheeler, you gotta get out there more hunting. I've been trying. I, I get distracted by all the shooting going on in Valentine. Oh, what's this? You're all friendly with this baker boy. Why Why is he giving you a job? I don't want to be a bakery assistant. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to live in Armadillo. I'm sure beggars don't want to be what bakers either, but I'm sure they'd like to eat at night. Yeah, I guess. But he loves Armadillo, though. I don't see the appeal. What is that on that horse? Is that a turkey? Uh, that is... Is that a bear? It's something bigger. What is that? Wolf? Go right up to it. I want to see it. Better not be a person. Better not be. Oh no! It's it's a wolf. I never seen it's one that close before. All right, good. All right, where's this damn gun store again? Oh, uh, down. Yeah, this way, I think. I'd probably get more hunting done, by the way, if if I, if you weren't the. Uh, so prone to getting shot all the time. I, I that takes a lot of time to check in, write your telegrams, come find you, make sure you're in one piece, you know. That's why I've got Woodman. You you don't have to be watching my back. I haven't all the seen time. Woodman today. He's probably hunting with Louisa again. Probably. Those two can't keep away from each other. Really? Cause I, he seemed like he was running. No, that that was before he kidnapped her. I'm so confused. Where the hell's the guns? Henry Rapita, Springfield, Simi Bolt action, let's go. $350. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What's wrong? It's $350. Yeah. I've only got- Is that better or worse than what I've you I've only got? got $298 on me right now. Are you now. kidding me? Don't you have more money? I do, but it's in the bank. Why did you bring it all? I Calculated the other night off the strawberry prices. Why are you like this? You gotta prepare to spend more money. Oh uh, no! Oh my god! Is it all the way in Valentine? Yeah, that's where my nearest nest egg is. I still have another hundred dollars up there. Hmm. Now Let's look, go. come with me. Where are we going? We're gonna see if I have a friend in town. Oh, hell. And by friend, I mean someone that I hold at a distance, but who likes me a lot more than I, I could say I like them fully. So they might help me out. Is and it, in that case, I'll get a loan, I'll buy it, then you pay me back. Is it, I'm, is it probably a good thing I'm bringing the old pump shotgun? Yeah. Uh, how much exactly do you need on top of what you got to pay for it? Uh, one sec. I need $52. Fifty-two. We should be able to do that. Where's Dolly's lollies? Is it this way? Do Dolly's lollies. Oh, it's probably best if I stay hidden around the corner. If you're talking no, to them. No, you're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. Oh. Okay, but I'm gonna be thinking about my pump action shotgun. You underestimate how much they like me. Oh hell. Or at least Dolly does. We we arrested her husband not too long ago. Yeah, that's fine. They wouldn't do anything with me here. Okay. And the money's for me. I'll keep my mouth shut, which I should probably do more often anyway. 
Well, you might be happy because they ain't here. <laughs> yep, <laughs> empty. You can you can breathe a sigh of relief now. We'll have another ride around town. See what we can do. Someone's coming. Oh, hop on, hop on. Yeah. Howdy. 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 I don't know who these people are. I know, but anyone that catches a wolf like that, I admire. There's so many people here in Sydney. Do they, do they have martial it's law as well? No, it's just a big city. I don't know how it would handle martial law. It's just too much going on for martial law and St. Denny to work. How is it they, ha they have a bigger city, but they don't need martial law? People spread out. You get a stabbing on every street instead of ten stabbings on one street. Maybe it's not as bad looking. Oh, the French here. You sure you ain't got anything in this bank? Oh, look, I'll look. I don't think I do, but I'll look. I can't believe I didn't bring enough money. No! No, no, I do not. Damn it. That's fine. I can, I can, I can go back to Strawberry and back. It's fine. All right, you hop on for it. I got, because otherwise, if I don't do it now, if I don't do it now, you'll, they'll you'll be forget, gone. You'll and then you'll get in trouble. And then you won't have your shiny new rifle to fix you up. I just, it's, I just really, I really want a bolt action rifle. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Not enough to take extra money with you though. What? They, they, they do it for cheaper over in Strawberry. See, I calculated it that I knew the other night I would just need to withdraw $400 right over to Strawberry, purchase the two guns, go home to Blackwater. But then the bank wasn't releasing my damn money because of all the bank robberies happened that day. And now, and now, between now and then, they're all gone. They're just flying off the shelves. Everyone wants a bolt action. You said it to yourself. It's a good deal. It's fine. I'm happy to pay a little bit more because it's a good, it's a good solid weapon. Because then I'm good for you know if I'm chasing people that are far away, got the bolt action. If they're up close, got the pump action. And then if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm dealing with a co dealing with a criminal and there's cameras nearby, I've got the navy revolver. Right. Right. Shit! Oh my! Ah! You all right, miss? Ow! So I didn't take that corner too good. Yeah. You all right? I bit my lip. <laughs> now I'm hungry as well. Hang on. You need a bite. You need some. You got some. I got some chicken. I got one piece of bread on me because I'm poor. And now I'm. Uh, at least I don't have to take a bath yet. I'm just muddy but not sick. Let's destroy you, said again. I'm sorry. You, you got blood all over your shoulder. I. You must have really bit your lip hard. Now I'm gonna have to have a bath. Now they're gonna ask. Now it doesn't hey. really help the kidnapping suspicion. They're gonna ask. Nope. Now, Mr. Hughes, why do you have blood all over your shoulder? And I'm gonna say. I'm pretty sure I have a black eye as well. I don't think it looks too good. Well, for well you. that's well, that's the blood of Miss Cynthia Wheeler. Now you're thinking, what the hell? So, yeah, I, if this was a carriage service and I had hired you, I would give you one star. Look, that's fair. It's all right. I, things happen, I guess. Such, such is life, I guess. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Neither do I, but you sure do say it a lot. I've only said it today. Three times. Three times. Oh, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta you gotta think think of think of things to pass the time while you're having a bath. It's a bit boring. Yeah, right, you sit in the bath and you go, hmm, such is life. Well, I've gotta think about something. I think about what work I did that day, what work I did the day before, what work I got coming up tomorrow. And then I think about uh 
philosophical stuff. You, you're thinking philosophical questions in a bath. I just think about uh, having a bath and then going back outside so I can get back to work. Well, that's the thing. As a lawman, you got to look at the world a lot differently than normal folks. You, you, all right, so a lawman has to think about philosophy to be a lawman. I just think about what makes people tick. Why are people the way they are? All right, then why is... All right, we'll play a game. Why is Mr. Gold the way he is then? Well, I'd say probably greed. Greed? Yeah, you, I mean, his last name is Gold, and he wears a lot of gold. Look, that's the obvious part, but... Well, oh, oh no, here we go. It's, you know, but he's got seriously good discounts for everybody. So it's not like... Unless he's playing the long game. And he offered to buy me a, a free camera today, $30. Goodness. But mostly because he told me he wants me to take pictures of evidence around Valentine and help him give it to the law. So I guess that has an ulterior motive. You be careful getting into that business. Because you get too far in that side of stuff. There's only so much I can say to the sheriff to keep you out of hot water. Wow. Wait, how am I getting hot water for taking pictures to give you all evidence, if by it, the way? If, we, if it turns out that Mr. Gold is running a drug business or something and that he's the one in the wrong, you could be found you know, guilty of association. For, for taking pictures? That could, be, that could be used as blackmail. God knows what. <laughs> All right, then I won't get a camera. Damn. I'm, I'm just, I'm just I saying. I was gonna be in, complicit in a crime from taking what? snaps of. Well, take it with a grain of salt, ma'am. It's no, you're the law, man. I gotta listen to what you no, say about that. Well, you know, you could run into trouble just walking out your door in the morning. But right, you, that are you don't. Saying in general with Mr. Gold, if I over associate, I could get in trouble. What? It's, it's not just, necessarily about the camera. We hear a lot about Mr. Gold. He just seems to be rubbing every, literally everyone the wrong way. And it just, eventually it might turn out that he was the one in the wrong. I'm, I don't know for sure. It's just... It, the amount of times I hear him brought up in reports, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I guess. Nearly okay. There. Why is why is Dolly the way she is? Since she's a sweet tooth. She's a sweet tooth. All right, yeah. She's see. addicted to the sugar. Addicted to the sugar. Got to do anything to get that fix. And then the sugar ain't just candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's that bald son of a bitch. Yeah. Uh, wh why are you the way you are? Oh, now look, I alluded to that. Out hunt. All right, yeah, we said we weren't going to talk about it until we had uh, that bottle of wine. And That's right. Got, yeah, yeah. I ain't talking about that till I got a bottle of wine in my hands and I'm off duty. And maybe when martial law is over. That would be preferable because I, I need to be able to concentrate. Over the next have, week with Marshall. Have, Moore. All right, let's change the subject. Have you met Jeremy? You met Jeremy, right? Yeah, he's. Why he's an is Jeremy? Fella. Jeremy. Oh. Why is Jeremy Jeremy? Yeah, why is Jeremy Jeremy? I think Jeremy's Jeremy because he probably got kicked in the head by a horse. Agreed. Be right back. <laughs> hey, game train. Hey, gone, bro. Okay. Fuck. Me type good. Georgie, what are you doing up on the steps? I said wait outside. All right. Guess where we're going? Back, back to Saint Denny. <laughs> All the way back. Why, well, Miss Wheelie, you could be a detective. That is very intuitive. Well, you won't. You won't let me get a camera. How am I meant to be a detective? Yeah, you don't need it. Don't need. Can you, can you draw? What? Well, that, no, that. I can draw. You should. I understand. It's good that you're helping out these lo these these silly locals. And you know that's good, but you know there's a there's a difference between you know coming like a militia, and then and then you're getting evidence for them. It's. 
the evidence is meant to be whoever's attacking Valentine and protecting Valentine. I ain't gonna follow Gold around and take pictures of all these activities if that's what you're worried about. Well, just, if you're gonna do it, you need to get those photos developed and just don't keep a copy, get them straight to Gold and, and I don't know, maybe... That, I don't... The, no, the idea is I don't give them the Gold, I give them to you. Oh, you give them to us? Give them to you, not gold. You don't have to give them to me. That Woodman and Hotness can be trusted yeah, with all you, this. I say you as in you lawman. You're a collective you. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, well. Well, that's appreciated, but again, you got to be very careful. Yeah. Because that's the thing. Like I've said, us lawmen, we can't be everywhere all the time. You know, you could, you could uh, get into some trouble with some people. And then they're coming after you, and you're out up in a behind a waterfall or something. And then well, we ain't patrolling there. There ain't I, no martial law. You know law what? In... If people were actually hunting me, I would hide behind a waterfall. They can't find me. Well, that I'd, like that cave. I'd, yeah, I'll be in the cave. If you ever can't find me, just go look in the cave. I'll be in there. Shit! And you said you really wanted to change the scenery. I think that's as bad as far as you could go from what you yeah, grow I'll, with. I'll just go be a gopher and hide in a hole in the ground. Shit! Maybe the cave. Eat them rats. Uh, gophers don't eat rats. I'm not gonna eat a rat. The go eat not, cornbread? I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat cornbread. How are you gonna grow cornbread in a cave? I'm gonna sneak out every so often to buy cornbread. Damn gophers. Or still I'm gonna train the rats to go get cornbread for me and bring it back. I don't look forward to writing that report. I need to go in my head for a second. No problem. It's, you got time. <laughs> I gotta really think about what some of the things you said. I gotta think about philosophy. Saint Denis ain't on the horizon yet, that's for damn sure. Please don't knock me off this horse. I'm trying to buy a gun game train and they're all and the one I want is sold out in strawberry. <laughs> I just I'm trying to get some guns. He doesn't have bolt action rifles. I want a bolt action rifle. I didn't think of Rhodes. <laughs> but Saint Denis have two left at least. That's right, Looper. I will definitely, you'll see Hughes um, not on the ground as much when I've got these guns. Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. I am pleased we are still on the horse. That's right. I didn't, uh, I didn't stop and think about coffee. About co Ah! Ah! Hey, what's wrong with you? Coffee again? Uh, I, I thought about coffee. We really need to wean you off the coffee. I don't even have it that much. It's just when I'm tired, it would be really, it'd be really nice to have a cup of coffee right about now. <laughs> I hope Bowman ain't waiting for me. But it's alright, we got Deputy Marshal Ames, Sheriff Bowman, and some other fellas. And I think the, the Rangers are coming up, so it'll be fine. They'll be fine without me for a bit. Harkness should be around. Now, he's the other captain. I ain't the Harkness, only captain. Harkness is a... I've learned a bit about Harkness. <laughs> I think Harkness out of y'all is like a stone cold killer. He's... he's different. A boy, am I glad that Harkness is on your side, and not the, not a criminal or anything like that. Yeah, sometimes he'll say some things that is is a bit scary. Um, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that man has demons in him. I think. I I don't know what he's done in the past, but I really hope he can find. Damn gator! Is that a snake? Uh, that's it better not be a snake. That's a gator. Shit. I know you don't like them, so we're moving. Thank you. Best you, uh, yeah, move on fast, otherwise I'm gonna get off this horse and shoot him. I, I, I Sorry, that's, that's a crime. That's a crime. Better hope we don't run into any East Sheriffs. I, I won't be able to lie to them. Yo, Battle Tango. Agnes gets shot so much. The old Swiss cheese sheriff. I'm really sorry I cut 
cut so far in all your hunting time. I really did not expect to be making this many rat. Gator! Oh, it's gone! Oh my god. I swear I saw a gator on the bridge. I think you're losing your mind. Don't say it. I am wide awake and ready to face the day. Sorry, I was having a wee headache back there. I thought uh, uh, everything was going real slow for me for a moment. And then suddenly you're yelling about gators and I was really concerned. You're right, do you need to take a knee? I'm alright. I, I know eventually you'll throw me off the horse, I'll be on the ground anyway. Oh, it's not deliberate. If these if all these bolt actions are gone by the time I've gotten back, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so mad. See, look how nice and peaceful this is. It's only peaceful for a moment. It's not always peaceful. Out of sight, out of mind. Woodman running out of store with his three new bolt actions. Woodman could afford them too. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Please, please, come on. Yuzi needs an old, Yuzi needs a new bolt action. Bada bing, bada boom. Statue of a gator right here. Fuck you, gator. Oh, he's dead. Sorry. Some well, respect. Yeah, I got some, I got one up on you, gator. <laughs> some respect for the dead goes a long way, even our enemies. You got, you got the good? I did. Look. All right. Oh my goodness. Look Hello. at that. Whoa. Oh, 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 howdy, Lou. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I just Sorry. bought this fancy new bolt action. You, How you doing? have no idea the journey oh. this man's taking to buy this damn gun. I am hey, so right. much better now. I got one of these. I bought him yeah. for a bus amount. Stop pointing it at people. Very nice. Very nice. How are we doing today? I'm very well, sir. How are you? I am doing well, thank you. <laughs> it only took I'm 60 still not minutes. <laughs> Well, it's well, good to he see you back, the one huh? Strawberry, they were out of stock. So good to see you went, back, he, man. All of his money's in Valentine. He went to Valentine, got some money, went to Strawberry. Not enough. Yep. Then we got on the horse. We went to Saint Denny. Got here, didn't have enough money. We just went back to Valentine to get his money, and now we've come back, and now he's finally got this damn gun. Yeah, all right. So well, he's, ha he's happy now. As long as you got your uh, bolt action, Mr. Hughes. It'd be mighty useful during the ma martial law, I think, is his idea. Yeah, martial law. It's uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Have you stepped foot in Blackwater since uh, that was announced? I'd rather not, to be honest. Yeah, I stepped in for like a second and I was out of there. Yeah, look, to be fair, Blackwater's just too busy for me at the moment. Hello? Blackwater's too busy yeah. for me all the time. S sorry to interrupt. What kind um, of ammo does a bolt action rifle take? Bolt action rifle. I swear I just bought some. <laughs> you have to uh, put it in your uh, your gun belt, Mr. Hughes. Oh. I actually bought elephant ammo. Why are you trying to hunt elephants? Uh, so elephant ammo is for those guns that we have for the uh, jousting competition, remember? Sorry, Lou. I'm I'm in dire no, need of a the, uh, coffee. You're good, mate. Do you need money for a lemon? Huh? No, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Uh, Check it out. Get, to, get yourself some uh, rock lemon and you'll be good. I got one, myself one of those. I got the right one this time. Yep. So we uh beautiful. So I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to. Well, like I said, you still have the elephant rifle. You can still, you know, use that for your. Elephant rifle? Yeah, I know. It's just I miss having a bolt action rifle. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean I interrupt you before. You... No, no, you're good. I'm just listening to about listening about your uh your journey into getting this bolt action rifle. All right. Oh, well, please uh, continue. I, I'm just going to take a look at some other stuff. You're good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Mouses? You know, uh, you know, Mr. Hughes was the uh, first person to meet in County. Was he really? Yep. Howdy, Hello, howdy. howdy. Oh, Harkness, oh all the way out here. I got your telegram. Uh, Harkness, how you doing? I'll go get, um... Get, um... Uh, what's his name? The other guy, please. I, While you're I here, Mr. Hughes, 
We're gonna have a bit of a meeting. Huh? What? I was just Give about to. To, I was just about to oh. head back to Blackwater. You can That's borrow okay. him. I'm just gonna uh, go to the saloon and take a bath. So five minutes. I need to have a chat with you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, but that's know, that, stuck in, that is exactly why I've moment. made the long trip to Saint Denis, so Scott. that I could be here for this meeting. I'll be back, Mister Hughes. If things just okay. to work out. Um, wait one moment. Wait one moment. Oh come on! All right. Let's go get some handcuffs from the st station. Mine disappeared. I'm feeling a lot more confident, Harkness. I got a pump action shotgun and a bolt action rifle ready oh, very to go. Nice. All right, um, just come with me to the uh, church. Go oh, we're gonna be in the church, ma'am. Miss Wheeler? Yeah, sorry, I was looking at the map to figure out the bath. Yeah, that's fine. You're right. I'll, yeah, I'll we'll just we'll, we'll be in the church if we're not in the gun store. No, no one's gonna yeah. shoot me within five no. minutes. Stop worrying about not, me. Yeah. I'm fine. Come inside. Come inside. You can. Just, I don't uh, want you saying I was rude not telling you where we were going. So tell, tell her to come inside and sit at the back. Oh, she's gonna have a bath first. Okay. Sorry, it's very important not to talk to you guys in the worst. No, that's sure, right. Okay. I got time. Got nothing but time. No. no, church is locked. Okay, oh, let's okay. stand on the step. Oh. Now, I have a confession, and I'm going to whisper. I feel I may have uh, shot one of your deputies yesterday. Oh. Now, I don't know if he's a deputy because he was showing signs that you know he was not a part of the department. I got told there was a uh, guy uh, posing as a lawman. Uh, yesterday, when I rode through Blackwater, he had a uh, British-sounding voice. Now, I was trying to help a gentleman yesterday trying to buy some ammo, and this guy was following him. Now, I said, you know, I, I did my business in the in the gun shop, and I said, all right, fellas, I'm going to head to bed. If you need anything, sort it out. Went and hit behind the uh, wall there in the, the in the uh, gun store, and he said, "Oh, I heard there was a bunch of robberies. You know, uh, what's that about?" I couldn't hear the other fella, but he goes, "Do you consent to a uh, search?" I'm like, "Hang on a minute." And then he's like, and "Then I didn't hear the other guy again." And then he said, "It's mandatory." Now I'm thinking, "What the hell's going on here?" I come up and I say, "Are you lawman?" He says, yes, I am. I said, what jurisdiction are you? He said, I'm part of the West. I said, why are you conducting a search on this fellow in the uh, shop with no reasonable suspicion? He goes, it's part of a case that I'm working on. I'm like, okay. So I left it at that. They both walked out. I hear gunshots. I see the uh, Mexican dude in a, a hog tie. So I said to the other guy, put your hands up. He goes, you tried to rob me. I said, put your hands up, show me your badge, and then you're free to go. He, and you know when you show your badge, you flip your badge out. Mm -hmm. he, didn't, he didn't do that. He was just standing there. So I moved in closer. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and said, "Show me your badge again. If not, you know there's going to be trouble." So he pulled his lasso out and tried to tackle me. So I knocked him out and shot him. Where was this again? Literally oh, right, not right, right there. This is that fellow I was telling you about, Harkness, the oh, one that gave me a bad that, yeah. impression that I sent away. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he is. Like I said, all he had to do was show me his badge. I would have left him and walked away. But, oh, uh... Cool. Yeah, Bowman's going to be having words with him. If I he hasn't already. you guys know, because if he is part of the department, I'm sorry, but... No, he shouldn't, have, no. shouldn't have charged at me like that. He's done some bad shit, so I think he'll be gone. Well, so he's actually part of your department? Apparently. Right. Well, I'm going to have to bring this... all his training, so... What's his well, gonna... name? Richard Gray? Yeah. Gray, he said. Gray, all right. I'm going to have to bring this up with... Who's your Marshal uh, Ames? Uh, technically, yeah. Make it Ames. The other one. I think he's drunk in a corner somewhere. Dallas. Yes, I don't know who he is. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to bring it up with him. Hold up a minute. Uh, because, yeah, something's not... Yeah, it wasn't right, you know? All he had to do was show me his uh, badge. Oh dear. But no, don't oh. worry. If he hasn't been spoken already, Sheriff Bowman has got him on his list. Yeah. Well, that's, the, that's the last thing I want to do that, you know, late night in St. Denis shoot deputies. But, uh. What's he doing out here? Apparently investigating robberies. Okay, he can't come out here. You should know that. 
So, yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. I appreciate it. What time Luke. did you say this was, Luke? Uh, about 11.30 or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I, I just wanted to double check if he was a lawman. If so, my bad. But <laughs> he should have he should have, uh, shouldn't have charged at me like that. Yeah. You guys know my history of, you know, people doing that. And I don't take kindly to it. Yeah. No, it's not good, though. No, so... I just wanted to let you know. And, yeah. All right. Thanks for so the heads guys, up, Lou. All right. So enjoy your day, and uh, I'll talk to the marshal. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not going to hide yeah, anything. But uh, I just thought. Thanks for telling us. No worries. All right, gentlemen. All right. I'll leave you to. I'll leave you I'll to. I'll talk it. to you soon. All right. See you later. I'm going. Jack, I got to get Miss Wheeler home, and then I'll be heading straight back to Blackwater. Okay, I'll take a boat there. Then. I'll see you up. there. I won't be long. I'll see you I there. promise. Yeah, yum. It's very disrespectful Howdy. to me and Eli. See what I mean about his fucking horse? I swear, Harkness, I'm gonna, I'm going to murder you one day with the way you send your horse back to the stable. I have no idea what does that. I don't know where my horse is. What the hell's it doing now? Yeah, so I had a gentleman uh, accost. Myself and Eli, as we were riding out of Caliga, uh, very disrespectful, referred to Eli as, don't, what are you doing on my land, boy? Uh... And, and then I said, well, that's not very, uh, it's not very nice, is it, to refer to someone no. like that? So then I was referred to as, you shut your mouth, girl. Anyway, Ooh. went to ride off, he hogties me off the horse, grabs his gun out, Eli turns around, shoots him a couple of times, and then beats the crap out of him. Oh, there you are. Good. Well, uh, my oh, horse is very special. Yeah, right. Just yeah. running to the I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that, ma'am. I hope, <laughs> wait, uh, wait. Sorry. hope you have a oh, better day. Did you just say your horse ran into the river? Yep. <laughs> Speaking of that, Jack, I'll see you back there. Oh, I'll see you back there. Yeah, see, see you ya. soon. For hey, can we uh, stop the saloon so I can get a bite to eat? I haven't got any food on me. No, I un understand. And then after that, where 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 can I drop you off? Where where do you need uh, to go? Um, you mean where can you release your hostage? Yes. Well, I yes. I need to get back to Blackwater, <laughs> but if you need to be dropped off, you Valentine can drop me on off the on way. the outskirts of Blackwater or whatever's closest for you, Valentine, if that works. I if you where, where do you need to go? Uh, anywhere that you usually see me is somewhere I don't mind. Valentine? Yeah, that'll work. Oh. I don't want to be... Get, get down, Georgie! Get down, Boris. Get easy. So, uh, she's not used to the city. It's scary. What's, what's scary? The city. The big city. The big smoke. The Saint Denis Vegas. 40 for the trouble and the bullshit <laughs> to put up with. I don't think I could afford anything in here. Hey, get yourself something nice. Oh, are you sure about that? Look, I've I've, te I've kept you from a, a lot of hunting, and that way you could have gotten either some food to make to cook or you know money to make from pelts to buy food. So it, just just take it, buy yourself something good. Well, I appreciate that. With that money, I'm going to go have a bath. I'll be right back. All right. Also, Thor, what's it mean if my honor points is all the way red? Is this in the single player? Have you made Arthur Morgan do nothing but bad stuff? Also, Han. Oh, dude, yeah. Since the reset, Woodman is now lore. It's, it's, like, um, it's like Bizarro World Woodman. It's so, it's great though. It's been great. It's been awesome. So I've got my damn ammo. I've got my damn guns. I need to need to cook these fish somewhere. Ooh. I need to get back to Blackwater. Cat? What do they sell here food-wise? 
shit, I didn't mean to call my horse. Oh, this is where you get the cigarettes. Cornbread! Oh, creme brulee. Cowboy cocoa is cheaper here. Yeah, the, um, the, um, the big railroad through the Blackwater area is very new, and I don't think a lot of people really like it. So I don't know if it's going to really stay. Je vous salut. I don't speak uh, French, mate. You don't speak French? No, nah, he's talking French uh, at me. I don't uh, speak that. We oui, we oui, baguette. I don't uh, know what the hell he's saying. All right, you got yourself something to eat? Yeah, I got creme brulee. You bet that bet? All right, good. All right, I'll get you to Valentine, then I better get back to Blackwater. All that lack of martial law. Georgie. Georgie. Yeah, I best get you back to it. It's uh, been a while. And Harkness all the way up here? Well, yeah, I can't feel bad if Harkness just happens to be out here on patrol. Well, I'm sure the optics, though, don't look great if all of you are up e out this way instead of being in Blackwater. Oh, yeah, but, uh, important ca captain business. Yeah. Was it all that important what he had to say? Oh, it's a, 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 extremely vital. Extremely vital? That's right. It, this whole coming around here to buy a bolt action rifle was merely, merely a, 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 a disguise from the, the true intent of having a, uh, a, a meeting with Lieutenant. All right. See, well, as I a, feel like I'm being involved in this police work then. Am I, am I being deputized against my will once more? Nah, you're fine. Nah, I'm just pulling your leg. It, it was nah. He had, he had a he had a important information to tell us, but it was nothing that the sheriff hadn't told me before. Right. In our meeting, I, anyway. I take it this is the super secret information that Cynthia can't know. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's one of them. I'm afraid. Yeah, that that's fair enough. Look, I gotta be professional sometime. So why, what do you expect to be doing for the rest of the evening? Just do some hunting? Some hunting, some no doubt hearing some gossip, no doubt running away from gunfire. Protecting Mr. Maybe. Gold? I wouldn't say I protect him. He actually protects me, to be honest. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Look. He's always telling me, get in cover, I'll protect you, I'll put, put your hands on, I'll, I'll get you, I'll shoot at them, don't worry, Cynthia. That's very, glad to hear. He, look. The amount of shit I give him, he seems like a stand-up fella. That, that's for sure. Oh my god, it's so... I only just gotten out of the swamp. It's so long to get back to Valentine. Randall, I don't know if there's any Fortress Cola. I don't know if we'll ever see Fortress Collar again. I have a never-ending creme brulee here. Okay, I've eaten so much of it, but I'm not getting any empty. How much, how much was the creme brulee? Yep. Uh, it was like $4. Damn, that's a steal. A never-ending creme brulee for $4. I'm, I'm going to be eating good forever. Uh, my, next time I might have stopped by and grab a creme brulee. Oh, look out. I'm really, I love my job, but I'm really not looking forward to all this martial law business. Well, at least you've already had sort of a break before having to go do that. That's right. I can go in with a, you know, fresh perspective. I've got, you know, I'm well, well equipped. Yeah, it should be fine. I think even I heard that even the governor might be uh, gracing us with his presence tonight. I haven't met the governor yet. I'd be interested to meet the fella, put a, a name to the pelican, I guess. <laughs> were, you, were you at the, uh, you know, down near Emerald Ranch lately that, the other week? They had that race? I, I think that was like a few days before I got into county, actually. Oh, that's a shame. See, I, I came first in the. Uh, you, you won a race? I won a on race. A horse? But then you didn't I fall off or nothing? That's right, believe it or not. And then 
I well I I did not win the second race, and that was the real important one. But I I, I came first in the the first one. Well, that's mighty impressive. But, was, but yeah, the governor and the couple of the marshals was there to watch and everything. So that's a shame you weren't there. You could have could have put a face to the name. But it's good. He's a uh, ex-law, so he uh, he knows what we go through. You know, he's uh, he's been there. Well, that's good that he understands. So I'm trying to think that while this martial law may seem a little daunting, I imagine he's probably been through his fair share of martial laws himself. So it should be okay. Far from hunting, you hadn't much chance to do anything else out in the out in the out in the country. Really, um, get out there in the the fresh air. Bit, just, I mean, hunting's what wish, takes wish me everywhere. Just trying to hunt more challenging things when I can, and uh, sometimes been doing a little bit of little bit of wood cutting. I think the uh, the carpenters are starting to buy the wood. I had a we had a prank call come through to the Blackwater office over them new fancy telephones. And it was a right. strange sound of gentleman talking about how bad the uh, the Blackwater carpenter is. So I'm wondering, so they, they called you as a joke? They were, they were calling in a funny voice telling me about that something about how bad the Blackwater carpenter is. I... I it was very odd. Surely there has to be some sort of crime to misuse a sheriff's phone. Look at the train. Oh my goodness. There's actually a train running. Well, this is a good spot enough as it is. Uh, so I'll let, let you get back to Blackwater. All right. Yeah, I better go do some work. But you stay safe tonight, Miss Wheeler, all right? Yeah, I'll try not to get yourself shot. I'll try. Oh my God, it went you. I will try. If anything starts, anything gets out of the ordinary, you telegram me. I'll try and check them in sporadically. Right. Well, I think it's easier if I come and get you instead of telegramming. Yeah, Jeb is the easiest. All right, no worries. You Good be luck. safe. You too. Uh, the train. I better put the mark. All right. Time. Let's do some martial law. Also, fatigue, yeah, it's the server has been really busy a lot of nights lately, which is a blessing and a curse. And, uh, Han, the, uh, the, the governor is Smiley Joe, who you would have remembered from the law department. That that's bodes well, Looper, because, um, I'd love to get my other character set up to drive trains. I would just like, every now and again, I'd just love to do on, go on as Albert Groves and drive the trains around and, during the night. It do be like the festique. Look, I'm I'm very lucky where I get the... I, I get a bit of queue priority as an endorsed content creator in the Discord. Um, so I get a bit of a... Get a bit of a foot in the door, hey. Eh? Um, but if I wasn't, if I didn't have that, I would be looking at, as soon as I get home from work, getting in the queue. Like, the early, like, whenever you can after reset and, like, after 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, you got to be queuing up, I think, and hoping for the best. Um, oh, how do you get supporter? Um, in the Discord somewhere, there's a link to a site you can go to where, yeah, you can pay... Uh, a subscription which helps support the server and then you get queue prioritization it's in it's i think there's a channel dedicated to it i can't remember off the top of my head though that's right han the man with the white horse himself the trains are fun looper they and then I'd love to see, um, I'd love to see some train robberies that, uh, lawmen are alerted to. And they're like chasing down the train, shoot out on the train. That'd be so cool. 
Ah, the, the, the donations channel. Thank you, Looper. Legend. Oh, they got Saint Denis has declared marshmallow law. All sweets must be consumed on site. <laughs> it's a great game. It is a fantastic game. And like, like the single player is amazing. Then the online was pretty good. I remember playing a bunch of that with uh, friends on PlayStation and had had fun with that. And then the whole like modded RP side of things is it's full of surprises. No, Moist, no! Oh, you logged off for dinner, mate. You should have asked politely if you could have dinner brought to the computer, mate. Oh no. I'm only just getting back to Blackwater now, so I had to... I... I needed to get out more money and go buy a, a certain gun and this and that. Oh, I... I have been delayed. The wholesome pins are nice. That's great, though. It's not that bad, just a few hours. <laughs> It's all right, Moist. Don't you worry, Sheriff Bowman. Hughes, 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 and Harkness will uh, will restore order to Blackwater. Don't worry, we got this. We're definitely not going to get shot to shit tonight. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, go. Looks like Ames down there. The more sus my pins. Hey Tom Loy, how you doing, mate? Howdy, I'm back. Hey, how long Howdy. have you, you know, how long have you been gone? <laughs> Oh, well, like, I said it was going to be a short trip. Like 10 minutes, I guess? Yeah, it's been longer than 10 minutes. You and I both know that. How many minutes has it been? Since you've been gone. Yeah. Oh, shit. I want to say it's been at least, oh, maybe an hour or so, maybe more. Oh, time flies when you're having fun, am I right? Yeah, it does. You, you might have been having fun. Oh, I was definitely not oh. having fun. I informed the marshal about Mr. Richard. What he did. It's eight today's. Yeah, uh, Todd let me know about him and uh, he was doing, apparently, he was hog time people, you know, for no reason, taking weapons and such like that. So, uh, yeah, not good. No, not good at no, all. No, it's not. So, uh, yes, when you see Mr. Uh, Bowman, he, he's, he's around. He's just, I was just saying to, uh, park it. <laughs> oh, it's got to hurt. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I was just saying to Harkness that uh, Todd was telling me about that, so... Uh, no, I was saying something else. What was I saying? Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Meow. That's okay. Okay, that was a cat. Is that a cat? Uh, see, this yeah, is my, my train of thought. The ladies go around meowing like cats and getting kicked by horses. Uh, something uh, in the water? Yeah, I think that so. Might be. Oh, no, that's right. Uh, yeah, it's Mr. 
uh, Sheriff Bowman's just uh, back at the homestead getting a getting a meal with his oh, uh, good. his family. And then he, he he said he'd be back around, and which is good. So yeah, that. just make sure he's aware of that information. Oh, will do. Because uh, I believe from from memory we were talking about this individual. Yeah, but I don't think we had investigation all the black investigation at Saint Denis. Miss Pender's gone to work. It was funny. Yeah, he ain't doing no investigations as a goddamn deputy. I ain't. I, no, 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 no. Especially not out in the east. Yeah, let alone in the east. Jesus. God damn it! I had a bad feeling about that boy. Yeah, same. But the uh, the new gentleman that. Wolf Broad. Cyrus, I think it is. Yeah, it's good. It's Cyrus really Bowman, good. that's so confusing. When you look at the login sheet, it's two, it's two C Bowmans. Huh. What kind of name is Cyrus? I know, you have to ask him. He's over there with Alexi and uh, Wolf. Oh, is he? Yeah. Go introduce yourself. You haven't met him? No, not yet. I'll see what happens when you go off uh, wandering around the countryside doing errands. Oh, I can't hear you over the thunder, sir. I mean, you can't hear me over the thunder. You know, I think I, I have a feeling you're just on a date with that uh, lovely lady. That Pardon? You were escorted. You well heard me. Do you need me to yell? I'm uh, yes. Th thank you. This is a nice new bolt action rifle. I said you were on a date. Not yes, and a pump action shotgun. Just just in case I need to go breaching any dolls. That's right, sir. I'm I'm a uh, really see how he changes proactive like that. Yep. Yeah, he knows what I'm saying. He's just trying to ignore me from saying that he was on a. He took that lovely lady on a date. Allegedly, he was Sir. escorting. And you don't have the thunder to bloody excuse yourself now, there, Hughes. Who's this guy just walking through? Move along. Don't you know we have a, a martial law in effect? Come on, get out of here. Yeah. Come on to you. It's all right. Oh, yeah, we're, you're just going to move someone along that's not loitering. It's not. Uh, he in was a group of more than three. He was pre loitering. Pre loitering. Yeah, nice he was, for he the, was um, building up to it. Mr. Joe, so, let us know. So why about don't it? you want to talk to me about your date, Hughes? It wasn't a date. You're getting a bit bashful. I heard it in your voice. It. I can't remember. You can't remember. I needed to go get out, so I had to. I had my. I had my nest egg in Valentine, five hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and I knew I would need three hundred eighty-five dollars or around that, so I went and withdrew four hundred dollars. I knew that they had both the guns I was after in Strawberry, so I headed there. Got the pump action shotgun for $90, which was fine. But then, since the other day, they went, they, they've run out of bolt action rifles. And so then, uh, uh, you know, uh, Miss Wheel just happened in the area and had a very, very useful intel to my current objective, which right, was, you well, know, check the out west. the St. Denis gun store. It's the West, sure. And uh, sure so I it. headed down to St. Denis to perform some reconnaissance to gain some intel on whether they had bolt action rifles or not, which I was... Uh, able to ascertain uh but then i was uh, regretfully uh, uh it was revealed to me that i did not have enough money on me so i had to make a trip back to valentine to withdraw the uh, final uh numerical value of 100 dollars from my bank account draining the last of my nest egg then ride all the way back to saint denis to purchase uh this here bolt action rifle which will be instrumental in the liberation of blackwater Okay, that sounds like uh, quite the story there, Hughes, but uh, did you at least buy the lovely lady like a meal or something on that trip? Sounds like a long trip. Surely you got thirsty or hungry? I, I gave her $20 so she could buy herself a nice creme brulee. Maybe, you know, next time you're in St. Denis, maybe take it to him, uh, uh, you know, the theater near the sheriff's office down there. That might be a nice place to, you know, go. Uh, I, uh, I will strongly consider that. Thank you, sir. Partner. Oh, I heard something about Deputy Richard Graham. No, it's, what about uh, him? No. George, oh, I think you're blushing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Damn it, it's hot oh, today. Alex. That yeah, sun is just, you know, that sun is out in the sky. Oh, nothing. Up, up there in the sky. Howdy, Mr. Wolf. Um, oh, Captain not, Howdy. How are you? Ah, oh, it's just so damn hot, sir. <laughs> it is <laughs> no, so damn not. hot. Hey, no, it's uh, not. Wolf, this did is, you know this our boy nice. Hughes here went on a date? Shit, is that the oh, bank? I could have... <laughs> Ames is so funny. 
Ozya, if I'm pronouncing it right, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner! <laughs> the comedy is great. Howdy. Hi. Hi, George. Is that is that Kenneth? Oh, you remembered my name, George. Ken, it is so great to see you. <laughs> Likewise, George. It's a pleasure as always. What a friendly guy. Look oh, at look. that. No, nothing but good vibes here in Blackwater. Yeah, so I've heard. Oh. Oh, sorry, I was just creating a little bit of distance. Heard wrong, man. Yeah. Well, I don't want to keep you as up. You know, I'm sure you got a lot to yeah. do. You know, out here no, in our uh, martial law world. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Uh, we got a call from Bowman earlier to just swing by if it's quiet around our joint. So mm -hmm. it's been yeah dead silent for an hour, so we thought pop in, see what everyone's well, up to. Well, not George, really George, you now. getting bullied by the East Sheriffs? No, we're just uh, swapping uh, war stories and... I look like you're getting pushed around by horses. No. Nah, oh, it, I was just getting to get a bit of distance, you know? <laughs> so, you know, we're just, uh, you know, what, heading up and down the main street, you know, checking the alleys, heading around the yeah. outskirts, check the uh, the, like, the blacksmith. What's with the Lee, George? You were on a date. But anyway, I'll keep the I was, control. You all enjoy oh. it now. I was on... I was on a very important mission. I'll have you know. Hold on, give me a sec. <clears throat> All right. I think he's doing some intense thinking. Oh, look, Ken. Oh. You know, Ken, Ken's probably got a lot on his mind. He He's a thinker, you know, and sometimes it just overwhelms his brain. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yes, I was thinking very no, hard. Please. I did not want to ignore you, George. No, no, don't ever apologize, Ken, to me. Is All no right, problem. what is this? Like, what is this? What is what? What the fuck is this? Martial law. You're sucking up to his. I... So who was who was the secret mission with? Mm. That was uh, to meet Lieutenant in Saint Denis about very important. That right. Sheila Intel. has no gun on. Has a gun on? Yes, a long arm. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> go, go get him, George. Illegal. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go deal with it, and if uh, right. if they open we'll fire, you come cents. running. Yeah. yeah, sure they were. Too funny. Oh. The gun's gone. The long arm is gone. <laughs> they're just still watching. I bet they saw me coming over and they're like, quick, 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 get the gun off, get the gun off. Quick, 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 quick. All clear over here. Flushed out all the rodents, yep. Hey, that's my straw orbs. Oh. I'm gonna hold your waist, woman. Hello? Hello. Come on. Thing recently. <laughs> False alarm, <laughs> Tessa. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. I'm gonna give you my camera and then turn around. It's so fun. Okay. What's your number? Um. 92. Okay, just use it and then do it like 180. It's so fucking funny. Mm.
I can't, I like... Can you not see me? I can see your hat. That's face. Oh. oh, when I do, I can, like, come right up to someone's face and just, like, <laughs> like stare at all their, like, paws. It's so oh, funny. Jesus Christ. Who the hell? What are you doing, sir? Sir. Who, me? One, sir. sir, what are you doing? I'm just uh, taking a look, performing reconnaissance. Of the, What's your uh, number, the Miss? Blackwater Courthouse area. Oh, my number. Oh, nice. 28. Thank you. Lovely. I have One ascertained that there's the people weather. around. Oh, and there's even more people. We've got two people there, three there, four over there, one there, one here. Who's the new law guy? Am I? I've... Um. This is. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, we were, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Musical Marshall. You know, no, I'm thinking that uh, the next time I go and get a rifle or a shotgun or any upgrades, I might have to get my uh, see if somebody wants to escort me. It sounds like quite an adventure. If you get someone to escort you, to get a gun. Yeah, I heard. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's the way uh, to go, I guess. Yeah, that's Service. smart with all the long oh, yeah. rounds. I've been very thankful all the times I've had Hogness or Woodman. Happy birthday, Kenneth! Oh. Enjoy my rack. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Y'all heard that as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think uh, I think there's two lawmen that are getting you know hit on tonight. Anyway, George, hey, Ben. Oh, yeah, now that I've got a new pump action shotgun and bolt action rifle, I just feel, feel like I could take on the world. Oh, good. Fantastic. Oh, I tell you what, I feel like pork at the moment. I don't know why. Ooh, a nice yeah. pork bed. Yeah, pork okay. crackling, yeah. Ooh, some crackle on you the know, side. Yeah, there some was some green a, beans, mashed potatoes. My, my old man used to call them pork ends. You know. Pork ends. Yeah. Pork ends. I don't know why they were pork ends, but anyway, that's what he said. Is there any part of the pig that he called a pork out? I think he, I think he called it porking <laughs> out when he was just eating pig for like a week straight. Yeah, I would assume so. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be as big as a oh, big body. He was a, he was a large man. You've seen the assistant governor? Yes. Yeah, no, he wasn't as big as him, but, uh, woo -hoo, boy. But, uh, <laughs> he was up there. Tell you what, that boy hasn't missed, uh, you know, the dinner bell in quite some time, has he? There are some folk you can say, you know, you can never call him late oh, for, you know, you can call him anything, but never late for for uh, for dinner time. No, his hearing must be good. He can hear when the dinner bell goes off and when the, you know, the ladle hits the bottom of the soup bowl. Quite impressive skill, to be honest, but, uh, you know. Gosh, black water is nice. You know, it, it, you know, it it's is. good that we can just kind of just stand here and, and enjoy, you, you know, black water for what it is. Yes, pocket. exactly. Yeah. You know, Fucking you. run them up, harass them, folks, yeah, kidnap them, yeah, shoot them. Right, we ran to that last night. Oh, yeah. My, Joy was a small little stand in there. He just walked off and didn't tell us anything. Oh, no shit. He then was he... right in front of me when it happened. But then, then he walks out and goes, what the are you guys doing here? The marshal got kidnapped. Oh, Kenneth just story. get punched. Yeah, but he probably just Kenneth getting it. his horse stolen. Is Kenneth getting dragged? No, but he got his horse taken, yeah. By the lady. Oh, oh and there she's on the back. Is this young love? Is that what that is? I don't... Is that like... To sure? I, I, I don't, don't understand it. I don't know. I heard that was uh, Mr. Kenneth's birthday and... Ah, I think it's just a little tomfoolery for his birthday, I believe. Oh, all right. If this is if if this is what you call uh, you know courting someone, I, I don't want any part of that. I'm sick and tired of people ripping me off my horse, let alone you know someone doing it just because they want to show affection or some shit. <laughs> Howdy, all. Howdy. Howdy, partner. This hey, is a... your patrol's going. Uh, it's been pretty quiet since we started, to be honest, ain't it? 
Yeah, it's been pretty good. I've done a bit of walking. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, no, Cyrus, isn't it? And... Yeah, that's the one. Nice to meet you, Cyrus. I'm Captain George Hughes with the West oh, Palmer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Right. It's, uh, great to have another another lawman join the ranks. This is uh, this is the one I brought up, uh, Captain. In uh, <laughs> uh, you know, with a bit more. Uh, th this one here is going to be better than the last one. Let's just say that. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's good to hear. All right. <laughs> Hey Jack, if that gun goes off, it's going straight in George's shoulder. I'm just saying. That won't go off. Oh no! You wouldn't believe Marshall I had a uh, recruit uh, come down, and uh, <laughs> he came. He came to Hughes first, and then Hughes sent sent him down to me. I completed his training and sent him back to Hughes, and then Hughes sent him away and didn't believe that he was trained. Now look, just, weird, just right? the way this gentleman spoke. Uh, you yeah, do understand, before. but uh, yeah, he arrived uh, for training down in New Austin uh, with no shoes. Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I didn't actually. Fuck you, man! Oh. Seriously, go, go fuck yourself! Don't be a fuckwit. What's this? He's, he's cut. Mm. Want to be searched? Oh. Want to be? Oh fuck me! We What's go. going on here? Fuck. What I'm happened? I'm getting searched because of the martial law. Well, um, yeah, that's that's. That's exactly not so right. Much chatter, not so much chatter about illegal doings. And oh, oh fucking illegal. Right? Leave my husband alone. Chatter about illegal doings. This is bullshit. Leave my husband alone. It's oh, martial God. law. Oh, let's it... go in then. Come on, search me. I don't need fucking... to. I can just search you here. Oh. No, do not search my husband. I do I'm... not give consent. Where's that? pockets are full of crickets. No, let me in. Let me in. We're just checking his pockets. We're not going to strip search him. His pockets have been searched. Let me in. Man, just uh, step away from the door. No, let me in. That's my husband. She's a distressed wife. Let me in, John. Yeah, and it's Marshall. John, are you all right? Let me in. Let me in right now. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah, I can't get in because your wife is... All right. Yeah. We'll let him out. Do your search. He's been... It's all good. I just can't get in there for some reason. John, just open the door, sweet. I'll let him out. It's all good. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you. I'll uncuff me for God's sake. a bit funny. Yeah. Uh, step back Sorry to make a scene, point. George. He was just being. Oh, Cam, did you see an ID? George is always making did you sign a scene. ID? God, East Sheriff's over here thinking they are joint. Did, did you sign an ID? I think I've seen more yeah. than three yeah, people in one area, and most of them are sheriffs. John, uh, breaking John the law. Over here. Oh, oh, here. Sorry, Cam, what was that? Uh, yeah, ID was on uh, John Black. Okay, uh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. No, don't worry. I'm, make, I'm making sure this time. I never doubted you, Cam. I just. Yeah, I'm. This is my first martial law night. Just, just check. Yeah, yeah, no, worries. no, same here. So. Why did they try to? I appreciate y'all coming over. Yeah, no worries. Listen, this is not your, your jurisdiction. Search, what so? Happy with your search? I think so. Why? You gotta be careful next time, Kenneth. Well, it, uh, that feels like a thinly veiled threat. It is. Threat. It Look is that threat. mustache off your I'm face. I'm threatening you. I feel like we all just need to calm down and accept that it's martial law. I am so excited to be here with all these sheriffs. I'm my so favorite. excited. I'm so fucking excited. Um, I love sorry. a man in your uniform. Um, oh, you were yes. in more a than a group Yuri. of three, and that's against the law. No, no yep. it's not. Yeah, it is. Martial but... law. Can't be in more uh, bigger groups than three. Sorry, sir. Can you cite the law where it says that yep, the law it's enforcement in the cannot... No. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa! Sorry, what? Sorry, sorry, no, sorry. anyone no. but Ken. No. Come on, not Ken. Ken, are you Shut okay? Up, George. George, we have beef. You better back the hell up. Whoa, we don't whoa, have beef. Whoa. We have bison. We got lamb. We got lamb. <laughs> we got lamb. <laughs> ah. hey, 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 hey. No, George, that's it, George. You cannot Let's go. George. We're settling this no, right no, now. No. That one. We got no beef. No, we're okay. settling this. That one I'll give you for free, but anymore we're going to have a problem. We got bison. We got bison. Leave George alone. Leave George alone. It's a nice gun you have on your back, George. Ma'am, I'm going to need you. Oh, there we go. Sorry, George. What the hell? George, you hear me? I will come and no, kill you. No, don't listen to her, George. Okay. Well, that, 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 her. that feels like a very veiled threat, ma'am. That feels Jeez, like no. a thinly veiled I threat. Kill you, you, I'll watch kill you with let's kindness. Go, go. Yeah, that, kindness. That is... I feel like that might be a threat. Now, look, ma'am, I need you to disperse with your twins. That's that's three of you, okay? My twins? That's my husband and best friend. I'm glad you uh, clarified with you kindness. Kiss the girl. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> We don't have me, we have bison. Why can't I think of these lines in real life? I'm so slow and dim-witted in real life. Bison is the new piece. Ghost wagon. <laughs> Ken, are you alright? 
Just de-stressing, George. Uh, it was a, it was a lot of yelling this and one. screaming there. No, it was. Ken, you did. No one should have to go through that. It was, uh, oh, it's yeah, just it's weird. Yeah. Oh man, what a Ken, man. Ken, is there anything we can do for you? <laughs> no, George. That's so I'm, weird, I'm isn't it? Take a knee. Take a knee and, and watch and some then, uh, Harkness gun look trip. At this, exactly. Look at this guy with look his at fingers. It. Oh my god. Look at what that. He's spinning a fucking shotgun. Does Jesus. that not? Does that not just de-stress you? That does. That, oh how God. does that he do it? That almost makes me feel like I got a full brain free of stress. He, he Jack, oh. Jack practices it all the time. He, he just does it. I can't do it because of martial law, hey, but howdy. I would if I could. Oh, thank you, yeah, Alexi. Good, Appreciate that. Oh, hey, howdy, partner. Actually, need to talk to. Have y'all seen the uh, blacksmith? Too. Oh, very nice. <laughs> um, that handsome <laughs> man with a blue shirt and an apron. Oh, dear. Oh, perfect. It writes it's itself. It writes itself. Oh, you can do it with your uh, rifle oh, as well. Oh, shit. Ah, this is good. All right, Jack. so weird. I think it's been a minute since we've checked the other side. I'm going to I'm gonna walk around the oh, good. damn good town. Oh, good. Sorry. That's a good idea. I'll get Mr. Cyrus. Oh, what is Lil doing? It's martial law, so obviously you didn't get the memo. Sorry, I still go for a walk with um, George. Why not I do yeah, this right. side? Yeah, I just feel like it's been a hot minute since we side? went down the other side of the you town. So we'll just we'll take a walk. We'll hey, come back. Of crap. Are you guys up? What? No. So how do you find the the west, the west so far, Mr. Cyrus? Uh, I don't want to use the Q word, but it's pretty quiet at the moment. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> martial law will do that to you. It no, you should have seen, seen it before the martial law came in. My God, I feel like it's a new town. It's still oh, a little really? silly, but it's a bit better. Oh, well, that's good. It's a little. It's it's better than before. See, usually, your average your average night coming down Blackwater. You look down here. About ten people are congregating in the middle of the street, blocking wagons, blocking horses, boxing in the middle of the street, lassoing each other, breaking windows. But look, but look at this now. It's just locals. They can just go about their business. They can come down to the theater, go grab a bite to eat, and relax. It seems peaceful. It seems tranquil. I like it. I I dare say I would I would be inclined to agree. It does feel a bit tranquil right now. This is this is feeling like a civilized town. That's I was I like uh, taught in my training to definitely be aware. Uh, I think you referred to it as the calm before the storm oh yes no things things can drop at the drop of a hat it's uh that's right that's why we're all you know go out on patrol as a group have each other's backs and uh I'm, I'm not the best example but yeah definitely anticipate that storm if you ever feel like you're in too much there's be too much danger you're outnumbered always you know grab yourself some binoculars grab a camera document but again i Wish I practiced what I preach. <laughs> so take it with a grain of salt, partner. No, I will. I'll, uh, I'll definitely be uh, looking out and uh, relying on my, my brothers. Sometimes I fuck around and I find out. I was going to say, do you find out? Oh, oh, I find out. That I do. That's good. The little market here looks all right. And then you got the, the blacksmith. There's, there's sometimes you can find a bunch of people around the back here. Yeah, I've been popping my head into a lot of these doors on the patrols for a while, but... Oh, love to hear it. You know, we recently had another recruit come in, and, uh... Oh, yeah? Let's just say his first impression did not fill me with a lot of confidence. Oh, no. But I'm, I'm feeling, I'm sensing the opposite with you, Mr. Cyrus. I feel like you got a good head on your shoulders. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Thank you for that. Sound like you got a solid understanding of the job, and you... You got the confidence to solve problems on the fly and make things happen. Well, it's going to take a lot of practice, but uh, I'm hoping to get there, that's for sure. Oh, that's all right. Out of pine, I'm going to need you to take that long arm off on account of the martial law. No problemos. Uh, would you happen to... Uh, could we uh, see some uh, ID, please? Might I ask who you are? My name is Captain George Hughes. I'm with the uh, West Law Department here, and here is uh, Deputy Cyrus. And the reason you're asking for my ID? 
Well, as someone that uh, upholds the law in these parts, that's the, the, the first reason we have. And then also on account of a martial law being in effect, enacted by the governor. That will be present over the next seven days. Okay. Yeah. Trains come. Thank you. This is what I was waiting for. The Mr. train, because I am. Mr. A Garcia. Oh, well, nice to meet you, Mr. Garcia. Thank you very much for that, and thank you for uh, uh, taking off that long arm. Appreciate it. We just uh, we want everyone to be perfectly at ease over the next week here in Blackwater. Uh, that, that is no problem. Um, I'm actually a hired gun for the, the train. I was waiting for it. Oh, wonderful. Well, it, um, this is very good timing we're here because I've, I've, I've been very excited to see the trains coming to town. I don't think I've actually seen one before. Look at this. Welcome to our maiden voyage. Oh, beautiful. Uh, oh, Miguel. There you are. Oh! Uh, partners! Where, where's this train ahead? Uh, we're exploring the southern rails. Oh, sorry, sir. I just... I don't want to go Miss all Daylight? the way, but I'm really curious to see the view from the top of that train bridge. Is there any chance myself and my, my deputy here could come up just to see the view from the train and then come back on horseback? Yeah, 100%. I just... Oh, thank you, Conley. We've, so I don't actually know where, quite where I'm go. going. I haven't explored the tracks huh? yet. <laughs> no, no, I just... Oh, doing, there's a, an oh, amazing good, train bridge up time. ahead. Oh, and I just... Hello, I oh, haven't well, had the... My I've been too nervous yeah, to go up on my horse or on foot. I I come down and start. Oh, no. uh, uh, jump aboard. Uh, free nice change. Change. Oh, yeah, just just a little way. So yeah, next time we'll definitely, uh, yeah, I'm definitely well, pay you. We're with the law department. Sorry. Captain George Hughes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Name's Edward Jones. I'm not thinking of Deputy Cyrus. Deputy Cyrus here, new to the new to the oh, normal pink. No more pink. Oh, we'll have an excellent story to tell the rest of them. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Oh, oh okay. I've been looking forward to this, Cyrus. We'll jump on the board. We're here. Oh, now. this looks mighty fun. They 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 only just recently uh, built these uh, the train tracks sure down is. here. <laughs> I didn't know where you went. Yeah, I did notice, uh, notice when uh, up, my horse was going over the, the track and it uh, caught a shoot. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be careful. Yeah, the horses ain't used to them around here. And, and uh, that's pretty much all I can no, tell you. She was a bit startled for a while, but uh, she's gotten used to it. It's gone. And then there's a train oh, ride. Well, the, the train bridge. Looks like it goes mighty now. high. I'm very excited to see it. We'll just yeah, go a little bit of the way uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll head back on, on horseback. Thank you, guys. I, I know, Rando. I was I was it's expecting nice a no. Nice to see you, up nice in, uh, to see you Lexi. Caliga one day. You know what, me? I'm always there teaching everybody to do the drive through you know? Oh, you're getting our passengers here too? Um, yeah. James. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry, sir. It's our um, passengers are trying to get on board the train. Oh, is it actually working now? Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's good. Oh, do you need us out of the way? Uh, uh, yes, please, please. Oh, sorry about that. Is it all right if we get our long, long arms out, uh, oh, this officers? Is my oh, yeah, once we get rolling along the tracks, feel free to get your long arm back out. Coming to a, coming closer. Sorry, <laughs> sure is, sir. sure is. Have you uh, no, I have not. Well, what's your postal ID again? I might have to come see you quicker, you know? Well, we're going up that big ramp. Perfect. Ah, uh, yes. Mr. Edward. Edward, da? Hey, Ed. Do you have enough coal to get up this ramp? <laughs> Do we have enough bloody juice? More than yeah. juice. <laughs> you might need to stop in the mechanics. This is so, I'm so excited. This is a beautiful looking machine. Ah, oh, spasiba. All right, I will contact you uh, very soon. It's good to see you. Well, well it's going to get its test soon. Oh, perfect. Yes, I like Jack. He's a good man. <laughs> yeah, the Johns boys. Good people. Uh, you too. Good luck with the track. Hopefully it's uh, 
completed. <laughs> no, no, it's supposed to be, but in my eyes, it is definitely not. Yes. So we'll go, I'm just. It's going to be interesting to to watch you leave. That's what Daniel. Miguel, I'm just gonna check the train for stragglers. Oh, oh boy, here we go! Bit. I'll check the front. Oh no, Miguel! As fast as my horse. Mr. Garcia, are you alright? Excuse me, ladies. Uh, you'll be more comfortable inside. I am fine. Oh shit! Oh no! Sorry! Sorry! Oh! Sorry about that! The bridge? Sorry, I'm okay! Sorry! <laughs> Don't apologize, it's alright. Sorry! Yeah, you're lying on the ground. Oh, I lost my foot and... Oh, fair enough. Sorry, I didn't mean to start everybody. Sorry about that! Sorry. That's alright, I went chasing after you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, you're one of the good ones. Oh. <laughs> Our first patrons, and they've already fallen off the train. No, I, th <laughs> that's just me. That, that's that's just a me thing. I might have to get you to sign a waiver next time. Uh, I owe you one, Mr. Jones. I owe you two, I think. <laughs> God damn, what have you? Wow. See, yeah, we've never had trains go out this way. Uh -oh. oh. No, it's fine. Wow. What will they think of next? This is amazing. I don't know. I don't know, Cyrus. But I, I feel like this is the peak of human engineering. Say goodbye to horses. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that view of this bridge. Wow. Wham. Oh, look at that! It connects up. I feel so high right now, I can see Ansberg. <laughs> this is awesome. Cyrus, we might uh, head back from here, I think. I think we are. That sounds like a plan. That was quite the view, Mr. Jones. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. thank you. We'll be uh, this is all mine. We'll be sharing the word with the locals of Blackwater and the department to come, come take a ride for the first chance you get. Yeah, 100%. Thank you. Thank you again, sir. No, no. No need to thank me. It's my job. Amazing. Oh. All right, let's get back to Blackwater, Cyrus. You'll have a great evening! Adios, amigos! Stay safe. Wow. Amazing.
Just wanted to be careful going through there. Some of the people are uh, a little scary looking. Oh, yeah? One wrong look and they might all jump you. I'll definitely be wary. Haven't, haven't really come down here on patrol. I should probably remember to... See, we always just jump, you know, go from here to Strawberry, then to Valentine, to Emerald Ranch, and that's, that's, that's generally our bread and butter, if, if there's nothing else urgent. Yeah, I was going to say, I think that's pretty much my route. It's a, you know, it's a nice route, and then just try and, uh, you know, deviate to the, uh, some of the stations around the country, like, uh, what do they call it? Bacchus and that? Bacchus? Bacchus? Um, but, uh, if you ever get on patrol with, a uh, Deputy Levi Sykes, now, he's got a real good, he's got a real good mind for thinking how, how people that might be manufacturing drugs may think of places where they'll be growing them and such. Oh, like, yeah, okay. Like, near rivers and lakes and such, like, off the beaten path. He's got a great mind for that, so... Yeah, if you ever get a chance to go on patrol with Levi, great stuff. I think maybe I've stuck to my route uh, because I'm still learning the districts. Oh, it, it takes a bit of time. Now, you got we got a few more to remember, but at least the positive is that we don't have to, we, we don't have to remember the ins and outs of St. Denis. Oh, no, exactly. My God, that place is a maze. Yeah, because I'd never want to step on uh, another another county's uh, du jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. No, that's right. Yeah. No. Whenever you whenever you go over there, you just you know you'd be polite. You know, let them know you, why you're there and ask them oh, what you can 100%. do to help. Like, it's it's fantastic to see a couple of them come over to help us with this martial law. Oh yeah, that's been amazing with the rangers coming. And and that's the thing. If they were having the same sort of problem as Saint Denis, we I'd like to think that we would happily uh, you know, return the faith. I would like to think so, yeah. We got some people in the street. Let's take a look what's going on. Mm hmm. There's a horse down. Oh, shit. What the hell? Jeb, is that you? Good pa. Yes, that is Jeb. Go to Valentine and buy my My God, Jeb, it's good to see you. Four dollar. You too, Mr. Hughes. Oh, Jeb. Mr. Clay, could you walk with me over here for a second? Oh God, what have I got on me? Oh my God. Oh my God, George Hughes. That's that is me. In the oh flesh. My god. Oh my god. god. I believe there's some uh, loose bricks under this horse. Oh, I, I can't put my arms down. Oh. Uh, think about go. EC. Stand up here. Well, I'm not going to step oh, behind no. that horse. E Spacey? Oh, oh, oh god. Um, George! I think it's. Oh! Listen to mommy. Yep, there you go. I'm mommy, by the way. Mommy? Mommy? Dotty? I'm sorry. You can Dota. Is you can huh? Dota. Is that like <laughs> French? Or like um, Dota. Dota. Is that South Dota. American? Uh, it's more um Irish, I think. Oh, Dota? it's Irish, is it? Or Irish. Sorry, a gang issue. Is that what I said? Wait, oh. is it a gang? Where? Jessa always talks. So oh my god, did somebody oh, say so gang? Gang, gang. Oh no, gang. oh no. Oh, no. There's a gang, there's a gang, there's a gang. We're being what? ganged. Oh no, smokes. <laughs> At least it's just that, right? I'm an innocent woman. We alright, Jeb? Yeah, yeah, we're all good. I was just, uh, you know. When Searching there's that... me. Yeah, well. We, we, we you alright, Jeb? Find an idea yeah. in them pockets? Yeah, Oh, he did not, actually. Oh! Mr. Clay, where's right. your ID? Yeah. Right! Right! Mr. Hughes. <laughs> gonna need, uh, gonna need some ID there. Clay, is it? Whoa! Oh, holy. Jeb's got an arm on him. I think... I think it might... I think... I think... Why... Why don't... Amazing... Yeah, why? Amazing idea. What if the three of us walk on yeah. down to the courthouse? 
And you can set up your ID, Mr. Clay. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, not, only, not only see the architecture, but get an ID. Yeah, wow. there you go. I'm ready to do that, Mr. Clay? Huh? So okay. what's that? We're going to walk down together, me, you, and Mr. Hughes, down to the government building. You're going to set up your ID. Isn't that great? Damn, what a what a great little day we're going to have. There is, I am very lazy, though. Well, the good thing, we're I walking really, together. You know what, Mr. Clay? I can even front you the five bucks if you All want. All right, me. escort me down what there. A stand -up, yeah. What a stand-up guy Mr. Jeb is. Mr. Clay, do you know how uh, special this occasion is for you to be receiving... Getting assistance, getting an ID in the west from Jeb from the east. Oh, uh, uh, it's, 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 Do you I know how many choice. stars aligned for you to have this experience today? <laughs> yeah. You, you flatter me, Mr. You. Jeb, I'd like to uh, speak to you about your Mrs. Second. threatening to stab yeah. me in the face. We see you again. Wow. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. okay. People are getting a little ornery with this new order. But yeah. I'm glad to see that you're cooperative, Mr. Clay. I'm always cooperative, Jebby boy. Well, I wouldn't say that when you had that bank robbery that you're still outstanding for. Hey, I did my dues. Have you? You paid your fine? Yes, it's paid, actually. Yeah. Okay, well that's good. That I'm is glad fantastic. to see that you're turning a new leaf. That's right. What are you going to do with yourself now? What sort of job? Maybe might join the sheriff's office. Oh, watch out. With an ID? <laughs> The possibilities are endless. <laughs> endless. That's right. <laughs> All right, don't get too close to the desk because it'll ask you for something else. But you go ahead. It's all the same. About here, yeah? <laughs> it's in the the door Blackwater this... NR office is what you're looking for? It's in the door with this shotgun. That's a nice idea oh, you're the setting up there, here? son. <laughs> And what you need to do is you need to fill out your heart, your weight, your birthday, okay? Even your eye color. Yeah, and your eye color. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. Hold, just, we're going to really get to know you. Uh -huh. Alright, yeah, if you open up your... No, it didn't uh, work. In the... with what the... with you... the big... What do I need to flex once I've right everything in? With the big K on the you shirt, just, you, smokes? You should be able to just flex your enter muscle and it should give you one. You're gonna have to refill it out this time, though. If you jump down. Yeah, that's me! Yeah! The... Don't let it fool you, the camera was very kind Is that, that day in making me used? look more... Slender so I than I've I actually am. <laughs> the camera was very kind that day. Yeah, that was me at um, South by Southwest Sydney last year. Um, I was a stage manager of one of the theatres there, and then in my downtime, I was off um, helping friends out and hanging out with people and that. I'll be back there again later this year. I'll be heading down to Melbourne for PAX, and then I'll be in Sydney for South by I Southwest. I can't get it to work. I click, I flex enter, nothing happens. All right. I think you, I think you, you double click your left clicker muscle in your inventory. All right. There, I'll look over your shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there yeah. you go. I double clicked it in my inventory yeah. with that no, no, muscles. No, no. I yeah. can't get it. That's hey, Mr. Clay, I'll have a look over your shoulder. You know what I mean by that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Okay. And I'll be going to Sydney later this month. I'm going to uh, Supernova. And then I'll be going to SmashCon 
in Sydney next month as well. Doing like, for Supernova, I'll be doing AV. And then for SmashCon, I'll be doing some MCing, which is exciting. So just trying to, just trying to get involved and help out at every convention I can, just because I love, I love doing event work. Um, and it ties in with what I studied film and theater and stuff at uni. So I love, I love doing AV, stage management, and you know, with my, with my radio voice. You know, I love doing MCing and stuff. I hosted trivia for like four years, so I'm just trying to do a bunch of stuff I'm, I enjoy and I'm good at. Feels really good. It's a good time. I'd love if it was my full-time job, but... Yeah. I do. I'm. I'm in dire need of a, of a haircut and a beard trim. I. I look very disheveled, lately. <laughs> very disheveled. There you go, Mr. Clay. Well done. Well done. Oh, Perfect. look at that. There you got that. I didn't know you worked let, at the stables. Let me have a gosh darn look. There you go. But show Mr. Hughes. Oh, look at... That's Cl beautiful. Clay Montana. Blackwater. Oh, look at that. There you go. Love Good it. Good job. Love Thank it. you, Mr. Clay, for Thanks. being so cooperative. That's all right. You. Thank you, guys. Make all sure right, to I'll tell your going. friends. Yeah, I've been telling them all. Yeah, tell them all. Mm -hmm. Must be sweltering in that coat, Mr. Hughes. Actually, now you mentioned now we're out of that, uh, out from under that ceiling fan. Jesus, Scott, I feel like I'm in the, I feel like I'm in the desert, Jim. Imagine this be different to Saint Denis. George, I've got a question for you. Oh, how? And Jeb. And Jeb. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Uh -huh. So you know how people come up to you and they're like, "I got beef." Oh, here we go. Yes. Okay, you got beef. Why is like... it not like I've got chicken nuggets or I've got? lamb with you so or... it, you know actually miss daddy i thought about this the other day really we were doing See, a I'm thing called that oh well something a little different but close so we're doing a yeah. thing called a steak out the other day and oh. i thought I wonder why it's called a steak out not a chicken out <laughs> or a <laughs> what's everything why is everything got to do out? something with cattle uh, yeah what, yeah maybe why it's because cows it are the most angry of farm animals i don't know I have you met my fucking are. horse and we'll be like holy shit move along <laughs> well, I miss it's, George. it's all I connected. I think I might leave Blackwater permanently. Oh, don't do wow. that. I'm kidding. I love you, George, with all my heart. Oh, that's uh -oh. very kind of you. I don't admire her, George. It's very nice, but I already Can might be. You know, uh, Jeb, are you taking your your lady to the the dance? Yeah, Jeb. Uh unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'll be around. I'm not going to county either. Yeah, unfortunately. But we've uh, attended just about every other event together, haven't we? That's very happy for you, Jim. Oh, wow. Yeah, she watched me and cheered me on on that a race singer, that me and you were in, Mr. Hughes. Oh, that was a fun Someone time. It. It, was. <laughs> it was. It was. It was very fun. Come look, on in the middle. Look, I don't know if I have someone exactly to, to invite to it. I'm just Not glad to, I'm just thankful to be making a new but friend look, I'll accept outside it. of the farm. Miss Cynthia. Huh. Have you been spending time with her? Yeah. Hmm? What? Me? Miss Cynthia. You should ask her. Oh, there you go. Oh, I, do, oh, I don't know about that. Why not? Oh, give me one good reason. Well, I, I Has this woman been searched? I think I, I think I floated the idea to her just early today, but I don't think she had a very strong Miss, reaction to the idea. Last. Well, yeah. women like a man who is direct. Yeah. So, I, I, just ask her. I understand that, but I... If there's one thing I'm scared of more than getting shot, it's rejection. Mm. Okay. Well, there's only one way to beat that. Shit. Got practice. Well, I'm, I might. We'll see. Here, Just... Okay, ask me for something right now, and I'll reject it. Can I see your ID? Absolutely the fuck not. Why would you ask yeah. me that? We well, I'm, take you off the I'm, a, I'm a captain in the, in, in, in the law department. I don't know if that works very well, because he, you know, he's, you know, he's got to ask you for something. Like, Mr. Hughes, you got to ask yeah, you for something that's any, not, oh. like, law related. Can I see? Oh. There you go. Oh, thank you, Miss Lil. 
Thank so you very much. You gotta ask him more something like. Uh, oh, we fucking search you know, here. can you do a handstand? Yeah, it might be like that. That's not rejection, though. We need to ask oh. something from me. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Reason. Can I have a hug? No. Interesting. Oh, God. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the pain! <laughs> oh, no! I've not seen it. I've not seen an ID. Yeah, I'll, I can pet your arm. How do you feel about that? Oh, okay. Oh, he's, he's leaving. <laughs> no, oh, oh. your horse wished you bad. Did you stay? It's okay, Mr. Hughes. It happens. Uh, I'm just gonna brush my horse. You, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Mr. Hughes, yeah, yeah. could I actually talk to you about something? Actually, we'll all relate. <laughs> it's only if you give us more. Right, you come up here. Just, just brushing my horse. Are you yep. kidding me? Hello, oh, Mr. Hughes. Just, just Hi, someone needs an ID. You're getting just one more brush. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good yeah, horse. Yeah. Uh, Really, you don't have too bad. Hey, Mrs. Phenom. I wanted Fino. to check in with you. Do you have any record of uh, reports from a Mr. Creed in regards to Marvin and Dolly? A Dolly? Shit. Let's head down to the department. Let's have a look. Okay. Hey, dog. Can you come in? What did you say? Creed? Minister Creed. He's a. He works at the. Creed. Guns. Creed. Creed. C R E E D. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what's so up? So he look? works at the gunsmith. Howdy. Hey, Mr. Gene. Uh, oh, he howdy. At... How are we? He... Oh, we just got word there's a robbery in Annisburg. Oh, shit. Do y'all need to head back uh, soon? Uh, I might, might have to catch up with you, George. I'll go check with you on this year. That's all right. While you're gone, I'll Take have a look for that name. And right. next time I see hey, you, Mr. I'll let you know. Mr. Gene. Yeah. All right. Howdy, how are we? Back on your horse. Oh, hey, Jeb, we're going to go check that out, mate. I'll be Just right back, gentlemen. I got some. I got to take a look at some uh, through the filing cabinet for a report. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, sorry, partner. Now nah, you're right, Cyrus. I'm just, uh, I'm just checking. Going to check through the, some reports for a, a name for the East Department. A... No worries. I'll lock up behind me. I appreciate it. All right, let's take a look, cause just just to just to be a a shining light example of RP. I'm not gonna just look at the Discord reports out there. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in the department. Set an example. So let's go the West Department, cause the incident reports for the the department is in the Discord. So let's let's go here. Let's have a look. Creed. Nothing. Nothing about. A creed here. Now it doesn't look like anything there, so then let's check. It might be an arrest report. Uh... Oh god, I don't even—I didn't catch his first name. Um. Dusty pan. <laughs> That's a report for my other character. <laughs> it's Albert Groves. That's the, the wagon incident.
Hmm. No, it doesn't, doesn't look like we've got anything on someone with the last name Creed. What's happening over here? Add it. Hi. I don't know who that is. His gun shop, so Mr. he goes, so how am I his boss that's now my boss and it's a little bit of uh, an inception, you know? Yeah, yeah no, uh... uh... Wolf, that must be that picture on the, uh, on the wall behind you, employee of the month, that's what it must be! <laughs> well, you know, now you've got something to work to, Ranger. No, oh, see, now look at that, all I need to do is just keep kissing Walter's ass and I might make it one day. <laughs> Careful now, partner, your lips might turn gold. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's just a name, I doubt he shits it. Well, <laughs> well, it sounds like he thinks the sun shines out of it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You know, folks are just getting a little bit crazy, I think. You know, with this, some of this martial law, you know, everybody, I think, you know, that is really kind of pull the reins on some folk, you know, and uh, we, we, we'll see, you know, how, how long this uh, this quietness will last. But I think, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna realize very quick that, uh, you know, we all ain't to be fucked with, you know. Of course, I was uh, having a good laugh because I'm like, it's it's kind of funny that uh, Blackwater got put under the martial law before Valentine did with uh, how many shootings per day that place has. Yes, well, you know, with Valentine, unfortunately, you know, with shit attracts shit, you know. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, and there's also, you know, there was less people frequenting there as well. That's the other Oh, thing. no, of course. The good thing is, though, is, is uh, you know, that, that could be the next port of call. You know, if if Valentine it gets is to the point where you know Lawman can't even you know traverse you know without uh, you know being outnumbered you know seventeen to two, uh, you know then uh, yeah you know it it could happen there. Look, I can only shoot so many times before I got to reload. It's it's a challenge. <laughs> yes, Captain. Especially absolutely. with uh, how stressful it is these days. Yes, things get very stressful. Oh, Lex, uh, you've been on a. You know, you've obviously got your partner back there. You've been on a few. You, you, you know, you've been on a few dates. You've been courted before. You know, you've <laughs> courted your lovely, lovely lady. Here we go. Uh, fair to say, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hughes might need some advice. I think he's uh, he's uh, courting a lovely lady I, at the moment. I would no, just fr just friends, just uh, friends. So he partner, went on, a long, no... went on a long ride. They <laughs> rode from here all the way out to Valentine, then to Strawberry, then uh, I've to, I've uh, ridden with uh, to, out to Saint Denis, then back to Valentine, then to all... Saint Denis. The, the rumor is a long, easy. long ride. They're, they're definitely engaged already. I've all, ridden all with Woodman is... to Callagher <laughs> Hall, <laughs> and that ain't already. shit. <laughs> 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 so you and Woodman, eh? No, I'm just saying, Woodman and I have, have ridden out that far and <laughs> oh. back, but it's it's purely platonic. I, no, I but you didn't. You didn't. Let's be honest. You didn't ask Mr. Woodman to escort you. So I wait. didn't ask for an escort there either. I was there. Yes, you did. When did the uh, dipping the pen and company ink uh, go out? Whoa, wait, whoa, you're whoa, using whoa, your. Whoa. You, wait, what? Woodman's ink? What? Oh my God. What happened? What's happened over here? The fuck happened? Nothing that I can see. Yeah. Shit, oh, fuck. I'm here in a gun shop, but it's distant now. I swear to God, it better not be people shooting the bison again. Oh. You guys have poachers out this way? Yeah, the bison up on the field up there sometimes get hunted. 
It's despicable. I, I heard a rumor that there's a there's like a gray bison or something out near Valentine. I mean, if you catch them at the right time, yeah. Well, that'd be like the old the oldest one. Oh. No. Of the devil. Ah, so George, yeah. I, I mean, uh, look, I can offer many advice, but I think the man of the hour would be definitely be Jebediah Cross. Now, this is a dating machine in, in terms of the, once he, <laughs> ah! the kind of dates he comes out with uh, make, makes me look bad. I'm not no fanging way. for a date. I'm just happy to be making friends outside the law department to do to go do something that's not getting shot at for once. Hey, I do things other yeah, than getting has... shot at. I do paperwork. You know, I'd go, like I'd go up, you know, New York. Uh, no offense, Mr. Hughes, but that does sound like a date to me. I, there was no, there was no mention of the D word. Yeah, sorry, doesn't sorry. Matter. It doesn't have to be. Uh, he's, he's courting. I believe that's the proper term. Oh, yeah. Courting. Oh, sorry. You're right. You're I'm... courting Woodman. Yes. No. Oh, sure. Yeah. That, that, yep. I love, Just... I love Todd Woodman. Right, we all heard here first, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, but uh, yes, I wouldn't take any advice from Woodman. Uh, the, the shoe mentioned of a, a date around him uh, swiftly brings out the milk jug and the, he runs. Yeah. <laughs> milk jug. Maybe he just yeah. needs a little bit of a stronger feminine influence. I mean, I'm not going to lie, uh, even though I might come up with date ideas, as Mr. Alexi says, if it wasn't for Miss Lily, like, you know sort of chasing me down at first. I don't know if any of that would have happened. Hang on. Be Did you, you get chased down Woodman? and then tied up and she said, you're going on a date with me, honey? No, yeah, it wasn't I quite mean, that aggressive, it, it but almost. Hang on, I believe the words were, uh, uh, Mr. Jeb, do you have a girlfriend? Well, you do now. Oh, well. I mean, yeah, if he was on <laughs> duty when he was hogtied, does that technically count as a, as attacking a lawman? Or? Not if he liked uh, it. I wasn't on duty at that time. I promise you that. <laughs> Not if he liked it. <laughs> we have never attacked him while he was on duty or nothing. Yeah. Never, <laughs> never, <laughs> never. Oh, ma'am, ma look, if you do it uh, and, and everyone knows you're, you're a cop, well, I'm sure we'll turn the other way. You know, that's fine. Yeah. Just, just be, just be gentle. Don't, don't leave too many bruises. <laughs> Seems to be a no, trend. Enough you, from the criminals. You should have seen it. Pits. That Louisa and that they hogtied Woodman, forced him out yeah. on a date with Louisa to go hunting as well. Wow. I think it's a, yeah. it's a culture thing that the, 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 the woman has to the hogtie the fella. <laughs> So, yeah, all, I mean, so what you're saying is all we need to do is wait for that woman you're following around to hogtie you, and that's it, right? Well, that's the thing. You know, if she happens to hogtie me, then great. You know, off to the dance. If not, great. then yeah, that's great. fine. Just great. ask her about it. Yeah. Not, not waiting for the rope. <laughs> yeah, I'll beat you. Wait, you are. He's waiting for the rope. <laughs> Don't say that too loudly, George. Some of the boys uh, will get you to test them gallows over there. I, mean, oh, I love uh, a good hanging. Just shame. I, 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 I couldn't see Mr. Bunda. You know, it was a, it was too foggy. I couldn't see Did him. Did you see he's been resurrected? His no. name, he's, he's going by the name of Commodore now. What? <laughs> Mr. Bin Man. That's not. Uh, Mr. Bunda, he's very dead. Oh, I saw him walking around checking bins. He's, and he says his name was Commodore. Okay, well, yes, he's extremely dead. I know that much. Yeah, yeah, Jack no, was I there. Can, uh, I can concur. I was well, I mean, sounds Bunda like a man, but I mean, if Bunda was trash in a previous life and then he is resurrected as this Commodore, an actual sense. trash man, it makes a lot of sense, you know. Uh, no, he wouldn't have been. If you believe in reincarnation, <laughs> he wouldn't have been trash a trash man. man. He would have been like a I don't know, <laughs> sea snail or sea cucumber or something to get eaten. Like <laughs> or can't do much to defend itself. It just has to sit there and take it. But if you see yeah. a, a very tiny. Uh, old man uh checking the bins make sure that's, that's the commodore interesting what's a uh, commodore mr board is very very dead the commodore is uh, studying law that's what he's telling me uh, yesterday oh yeah he found a, a, a book the law book in uh, one of the bins and he said he's studying i was looking for that book i'll know oh. it dropped it somewhere <laughs> hey, i was gonna say might uh, mr fernandez might get some company soon i think yeah he did say he's awful lonely in that office yeah. Oh, this right. delicious apple pie. Oh, does Mr. Fernandez get the big office, though? 
which one? The main, well, the governor's in the main office. Then. Yeah, you could just beat the governor and take it. It's not hard. Well, you know, just... people, yeah, that's fair. All right, well, we should, uh, that's enough of a break. We should go have a walk around. Now, noting how many of us are, the captain's again up to you, but uh, you might consider just making sure you check in on your other jurisdictions as well, other towns, just that's to make true. sure people haven't just migrated up there to be jackasses. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go find Wolf and I'll, and I'll chase his coat tail. Jack, I'll how are you feeling? You itching to, you're you yeah. itching to head out on a ride, or do you want me to go? Yeah, might as well. Up to you. Up to you. Oh, yeah, I don't mind. I'm happy to walk around here or ride out. Up to you. To everyone else, I'm because I had to. Me. I had to run that really big errand before, so oh, I okay. think I think you get first dibs. Oh, <coughs> all right. So you'll ride. A bit of dust up my nose. Yeah, may as well. All right, Jack. Take whoever you want, and I'll I'll hold the fort here with a, with with the old ball and chain. Let's go visit. Let's go visit bloody Walter. Sludgy water. Ball and chain. Oh, you're talking about me. And that's right, Mr. Ames. We're gonna. Yeah, sounds good. Am I going to escort you around horses. town? Oh, if, if you to... could kindly escort me down the uh, the candlelit street of Blackwater, Mark's I'd appreciate it. it. Yeah. Can I get one so of you guys nice. my uh, binoculars? Because it's seeming to stuff up my probably, pockets. I probably could and maybe... grab a bite to eat. Hello? Might stop by the back. Oh, oh, sorry, never mind. I see, I, I see who sense? I'm looking for. Adam, oh, Adam oh, you got some ID on you? Oh, not yet, actually. I'm out. I had to Valentine so I could buy some. Well, you could. Uh, did you know you could get it done right here in the courthouse? Oh, you can now? Yeah, come on. Come on oh. over. Hold on. Can I speak to Alexi real quick? Oh, uh, the ID. Well, you I can just, talk to I'm him. Have, to... Two birds. Alexi, Alexi can, yeah, can come with us. Can you go see how, how much this is for me so I can go get of myself course. ID? Thank you. What's your name there, partner? My name is Bobby Harlow. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Mr. Harlow. My name's Captain George Hughes. I'm with the uh, law department here. Oh, nice to meet you, Captain George Hughes. Oh, likewise. I'm with the citizenship here. Oh, what do you do? For, you do anything for work? Not really. I'm just a fisherman, I guess. Oh, that's that's uh, an honest profession. You, see it. you want to be uh, looking for the Blackwater NR office in here. Uh, oh, okay. And yeah, you want to fill out, you know, your hair color, eye color, height. Oh, right. Yeah, Five dollars. You got five dollars? Yeah, I got seven dollars twenty-three cents. Uh, you came prepared. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Gerald uh, very much likes uh, his work. He gets excited. He stands on his desk. I. He's good at his job, but he needs to get off his high horse once and again. Once. He needs to get off again. his high desk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he doesn't speak much though. No, um, he's too. But he works hard, so you know we can't complain. To, no, I don't really mind having him around. He yeah. uh, keeps to himself. Sometimes I want to know what he's thinking, but then I think, do I? Maybe not. A man that likes paperwork that much might be sick in the head. <laughs> Bloody Bundy here. My name is Bobby Harlow. <laughs> yuck, yuck. <laughs> so funny. <coughs> uh -huh. The NPCs is. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's so funny, Luba. It's it's a crack up. I don't envy him having to do it for entire streams, though. Yeah. Oh goodness me! It's getting late, and I need to have coffee. Oh, don't shit! I I'm, I really need one too. Wait, can you get him here in town? Yeah, general stores got. Uh, uh, he says the the fellers tell me that the age is higher or lower than usually. I don't know what that means. Have you put the? What year have you put in? Nineteen. Oh wait, actually, hold on. Come you're on, right. it's nineteen hundred. You're right. You're right. What the? Come oh, on. No, it's... no, no. Yeah, yeah. Right. He needs to put his birthday in, George. Not today's date. Yeah, I put in. No, he's putting that I he was born in, I... after this year. No, no, I put. I was born this year by accident. Oh, yo, yo, you weren't born yesterday. No, no, my, I'm just a little <laughs> slow. I'm only a fisherman. It's all right. That's why we're here to help. How old are you? 
I'm 24, so 1876. That sounds about right. I got blue eyes. I got black hair. Okay, I think that's it. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. It just... reckons my information's wrong. What what part have you missed? Uh none. Hot weight hair or eye color. Uh. 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 Oh there we go. What'd you miss? Oh, it's cause I wrote down uh, kilograms and oh, we'll, centimeters. We'll wait. Yeah, turn over here. Oh, I see. All right. All right. You want to show right. me that now? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, let's later see, see it. it. Bobby Harlow. Oh, beautiful. There we go. See? Simple as that. All you right. Got $5 well, on you. That was real expansive, but uh -huh. thank you. That's a good well, you only ever need one. You got $5 on you. Thank you, Mr. Two, Harlow. Unless they steal it from me. Let me check. All right, Ames. I got five dollars. That's uh. Right, head out. Yeah, I'll finish off. We're doing coffee. a hell of a job. I think we've earned ourselves a coffee. Oh. So four eighty three. Well, what is that? What's that? Uh, is that a pump action shotgun you got there? Lever action. Lever action. Damn, that's a that's a nice looking gun. Yeah, well, uh, it'll get rounds down range quickly. Sometimes you just need to get a little bit more far, right far, you know, over someone's head to keep their head down. Well, things seem to be going well, which is good. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised with how civil Blackwater's been tonight. Everyone seems to be a bit more polite than normal. Yeah. That goes a long way. Everyone can just... 100%. Everyone can just be decent to each other. Oh, I... I forgot I had to stop by the bank. I got no money. You spent all your money on them rifles in that date. D Bolt <laughs> action and a pump action. Not going to say what I could have said. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look at that moon. What a great night. Look at the great weather we're having. You know, George, if you were off duty, uh, you could have taken that lovely lady up to the, you know, the, the hills, picnic blanket, get some food. Oh, no. And, oh, it's all about the job, sir. You know, it ain't all about the jo job, Hughes. Got to God dang it, Gotta man. earn that pay. And it's martial law. I, I can't. Yeah, I know. I can't just, go taking you know, a big break. Sit, once, we, once things settle Whoa, down. Whoa, easy there. Consider it. There's a... Sorry. Once things, once things settle down, you might consider it. So, that was a, take it from me, there's a lot more to life than just doing this job, that's for sure. Oh, come on. Paperwork is fun. Oh, paperwork. Yeah, but, you know, if you have time, you know, if, you end up finding someone special you want to spend time with them. You don't if, just want to... If I don't put in the work now, how am I going to have a, a fancy martial job or something one day? You can't do it. It's, you just need to, you know, there's a fine... It's not a fine line. There's a distinct difference between working your ass off and, uh, you know, becoming an unlovable brute like myself and... Uh, oh, you're being too hard on yourself, sir. Have you seen it? Do you know why I don't know? Nobody, I don't need to shave. Nobody needs me to. I, I don't you talk about. All right, I'm just going to be in my head for me. I'm going to get me some uh, provisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, Shell Bunny, thank you for the raid. Howdy, Raiders. Howdy, partners. How was the rest of, um, how was, uh, how was the rest of Valentine and, uh, and that, um, I literally have just been down in Blackwater this whole time. But it's actually been quite civil, um, surprisingly enough. It's actually been, it's actually been, it's actually been quite nice. It's uh, been quite nice. Are you back soon? But you want to stream over? Well, I appreciate you bringing the raid over here. Um, for anyone on my end, um, if you like the Cynthia Wheeler character, 
Well, there you go. Go ahead and give uh, Shell Bunny a, a follow there. For when she streams her perspective as that character. It's, um... No, it's, um... It's been... It's, um... It's wonderful. It's wonderful making friends with... Meeting... Like, every year, I'm... Every year, I meet so many more great... Um... Um creators content creators in the anz space which is fantastic and then you know living rurally then being able to play games with online games with my friends and meet new people it's a it's a great old time so it's great i am a big nerd texan i am a big nerd <laughs> go hunting with women why don't you that's no, good it's um the whole cynthia wheeler character is such a great um, um, uh, dynamic in Hughes's comings and goings lately. Like it's such a funny, it's such a funny side thing. Apart from the law, it's 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 hilarious. The conversations in that are, it's it's very funny. Oh, I should probably save the money and buy food from the actual thing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You just went off to go hunting, um, and then yeah, they came back and you just literally had two guns pointed at him. I'll buy. Some, I, I bought some coffee and some water. I better buy food from the the yeah, local the store. Got to got to support yeah, local business, you know. No, one hundred percent. But I tell you what, the cigarettes are freaking expensive and they don't last long. Oh shit! Four dollars a cigarette. Four dollars a cigarette. Well, How much are cigars? I haven't seen anyone making them. That's Howdy, a, sir. That's Maybe a nightmare. Yeah, oh, 100%. Glad you're having fun on the server, Shell Bunny. Oh, gotta wait. Very lucky you came back, Looper. Very lucky. Oh! A five stream streak! Thank you very Howdy much. There, sir. Appreciate it. How you doing? Yeah, not bad. Uh, just Appreciate reminded, it. Uh, martial law in town. Just make sure you take your uh, long arms off. I need to cook these fish. Oh, of I course. Sorry, I, I haven't cooked the these goddamn about... fish oh, yet. Right. Um, what do I want? I, I can't seem to... <clears throat> Give me two... I'll step outside. Hang on. No, that's all right. Four dollars a cigarette. <laughs> Look at that. Chicken's 2.5. 2.5. Uh, yeah, let's just get some more chicken. Let's get more chicken. You can't. Oh, I can't carry more chicken. No problem. No, and that's yeah. Shell Bunny and Raiders. If any, you know. Enjoy your night. Do what you need to do. Uh, I always lurkers are always super appreciated here. As as primarily an introvert, sometimes I appreciate not talking too much. So, but no pressure, to anyone. Never any expectations on the old Twitch. Just happy to be having fun with friends. I, Ash, I am so guilty. Um, yeah. There'll be a lot of days I will I will go to stop by Woolworths it's on the way home, and I'll grab a I'll grab one of those chickens, uh, yeah. and I'll just go home the, and eat uh, that. <laughs> That'll be my old, dinner. Uh, you know, the, what is it? The bachelor's boss. handbag. Oh yeah, Mr. Fucking God. <laughs> I'm so fucking guilty of that, Ash. Yeah. Oh, I got yeah. me some. Uh, what the Shit, hell? what was that? That came from which way? I don't know, I barely heard it. I can't tell! Alright. Maybe... Yeah, let's fan out. You reckon this oh. way, Jack? This way? Get the, get the chicken, eat the skin, then throw out the rest. <laughs> I can I I have so much trouble telling where gunshots come from half the time, Jack. Yes, yeah, same. Jack, how are you finding the uh, martial law so far? It's been pretty yeah, peaceful. It's, not too so bad. Far, it's very it? peaceful. I can't believe how I can't believe how good it's been. Yeah, same. Blackwater's not that bad either, really. I don't think I've ever seen that ash. Apparently Walter Gold's our boss. Our boss? Apparently he's, he's got us in his pocket. How? I have no idea. 
Well, because he does gun discounts. Something I have no idea. If he's our boss, he should be paying us. That's that's concerning. There he is. We've had, we need to have a chat to him again. Howdy. You, you, did you hear that gunshot, Cyrus? No, no, I didn't hear anything. Uh, yeah, I was we, down by the docks. Yeah, we I heard something. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, we couldn't find it, but I think everything's fine. Yeah, okay. That's the other thing that's been good. Like, everyone, people that have been hanging out in Blackwater have been doing it more in this public area here, in front of the courthouse, which is good. Right? Like, yeah, don't do it in the street blocking wagons. Do it out here. You got this whole park here to run around, get some exercise. Silly people. You can heal. You can still hear me, Cyrus. Yeah, I can. Oh, phew! I thought. I'd... Oh, what happened? What? What? What happened? What did I miss? I'm not sure. I followed the. What happened? Ah, uh, someone's broken the pipe, man. Oh, look at that fellow in the canoe. He's been shot. I need to move this guy back to his spot. Who could have done this? Who broke the fucking boat now? Yeah, right. Is there any uh, way we can save that boat? I can uh, go for a swim. I need some cardio tonight. I'll give it a go, Cyrus. All right, let's go. Do it quick. Stop to drift away. It's all last two minutes. I can drop him. Is that out? No, oh, in my Good on eyes, you, were, you weren't carrying anybody. There he is, he's back to his spot now. Right, I might have to, when we leave the area, it might, might uh, sort itself out for me. Now, if I remember correctly, that boat from the delivery, that might need to go to, uh, to Rhodes. To it's Rhodes? Break, it it says, says Rhodes, but it, it's a bit closer to the... Coast, yeah, I think uh, people stuffed him. Been there. A lot of people do it on purpose, apparently. What the hell's the point of doing that? So no one can do it again. That's despicable. Well, those people that do shit like that need to need to have a bit of a time out. They can join me on these fucking scorch traps. Yeah, go him. send him. We'll send him down your way. Get him in the mine. See how they enjoy yeah. that. Oh, I'm sure Wolf would love it. Our budget is fucking blown right Did out. Me, mate. <laughs> hey. That's what that is it? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hardest work. Oh, Got yeah, no money left. Hard work. Oh, we're no broke pay. as a fucking joke out of there. <laughs> yeah, why not? Wrong. Now. Oh, yeah. oh, I mean, look, on paper I'm getting paid, but at this point I may as well just Thanks, Cyrus. leave a funnel straight, right. the, straight back yeah. into the ledger yeah. of this point. Yeah, that's true. That's a shame. At the moment, I do it for the love ra rather than the payment. And, uh, look, unfortunately, with the shit going on out that way, I'm starting to lose the love of it. Yeah. So I made a dickhead. You have no idea, you know, the amount of people you have at gunpoint... And I, I can understand the hesitation the, and the want to try and shoot, but being on the other end, you realize just how fucking annoying it is. And like, even even if you're outnumbered, you'd think that having a having your best friend at gunpoint, or even like your you know your your partner at gunpoint, would be would be the consideration enough to maybe drop the gun. But no, no, these people I'm dealing with out there, they. Well, one, they don't half the time they don't follow the rules, and then when when they do come back, and then they remember things they shouldn't be. It's uh, it's a fucking pain in my ass. God damn it! Oh. Sounds like it. But, I, I mean, I, I can understand maybe slip slip in judgment, but like when when you when you wake up out here on the pier or uh, on the bed on the ground out in front of the train station, and you you, you see that little that local telling you yeah. You know, the last 30 minutes might be a bit foggy for you. It seems a bit of a warning enough, don't you think? I feel oh, like damn. maybe when people enter the country, wherever they may come from, maybe they should be made to have to read, you know, the rules of this country and then answer a questionnaire to ensure that they have read most of it. 
Yeah, no, no, I've I've read I've read into some of that. There was a, there was another county not too far from here that has something similar to it, where they've got a, a nice little questionnaire. I can't remember the exact full name of it, but it starts with a W. It, it does seem to be very uh, very popular. Uh, yeah, it, it does have a similar questionnaire. It, tells you, it asks you to go through some of the rules and ask you to uh, define what certain terms are as written in the rule in the guidelines and all that. Almost like a immigration test or a citizenship test. Yeah, along the same lines, yeah. I mean, hell, it wouldn't be too difficult just to read a goddamn document every now and then. Hell, I'd, I wouldn't be. I'd sign myself up for it for all the for all the department stuff. I just love reading this thing, this stuff. They're born differently. I like reading rules and regulations. That's fair. Should we go visit Walter? Yeah, I'd love to meet my new employer. I'm you bet you come up. You want to meet him? Is he? He's out here, is he? Ah, he's up in Val Valentine. Ah, Valentine. Could always go meet him. He's your boss, so show us where your paycheck is. Yeah, maybe he can start footing the bill for, for New Austin. That's I'm, a good I'm, idea. We need, we yeah, need Jack, maybe take him and one. a few others up. Yeah, I'll have is ready. You want to take Cyrus as well? I if you're okay by yourself here. Oh, I've got, a I've got Ames. Hey, Ames, that's true. Yeah, yeah we'll this. be fine. We'll hold the fort till you get back. We're out this way, don't we? Uh, isn't it required for for uh, the patrols out here? Oh, it's been good. I'm sure a little, little bit of time. You just head off, do that, come back. I mean, you know, if we're quick and we hit strawberry yeah, one away, we issues, might, yeah. we might we'll, take two uh, birds you know. and one stone. Yeah, that's yeah, true. 100%. Yeah, Ames and I'll be fine. What's the worst thing that can happen? Oh, if don't we, say we, that. No, yeah, don't say that. It'll be fine. Don't say that, goddammit. You've jinxed it now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm not... I can't go anywhere. Last time I heard that, bloody armadillo rough through the gunshots and shit everywhere. Yo, Taikawa. <laughs> yeah, bit, just, just, a, a, just a touch more... To. Oh, we got jam as well. Nah, we'll be fine. We got jam. Go Watch in. Let's do it. Yeah, right. I can stick around. Yeah, Jeb, we're, we're gonna hold the fort while Jack takes a, a group up yeah, to Valentine real quick. Yeah, to go have a look at the other two, uh, you know, Strawberry yeah. and Valentine. Strawberry and Valentine. Sure they... Jeb's yeah, here to save the day. There, you know. Yeah, just move the their circus to another town. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pack up the big top and uh, head on out. Yeah. yeah. That's all right, no worries. Happy well, to stick around. Actually, Wolf's donkey's still here, so... Oh. Mule. Huh. Well, I haven't yeah. seen the rangers around for a little bit. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. Okay. Hey, who's All that? Right. Who with the shotgun? Oh, they're going to the dark. Are they leaving or are they? Who the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, some people don't have trouble grasping the fact that it's. RP. I think did he catch did he catch a boat? I don't see him now. Yeah, I feel like he did. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. But yeah, let's check. We better check the main street. Yeah. Checked a couple of people's ID and searched them and just, stuff. Does that anyone know so who the lady in yellow is? Oh, that's uh Miss Honey. Oh, that's honey. Oh, that's, that's uh, Miss Alexi's, Honey. Uh, better half. Yeah, oh, that's right. I I didn't click. It did not click for me. She's a sweet lady, actually. I helped her get her ID just after you helped Mr. Bobby Harlow. Oh, look, look at how good is this? We're getting all these IDs sorted. Yeah, I agree. How you doing, Miss Honey? I'm doing well. You know, the three of you walking up like that is awfully intimidating. What? No, I just said to the boys, they're just coming down to see the, uh, you know, the most talented uh, rider in all the Blackwater. Oh, well, yeah. shoot, I'm, I'm hardly making the performance of it right now, just in No, no, no. no, no I, I, I have to admit, you look after your horse better than most. I, I see you always brushing and feeding. I do it with other people's Hello. horses, too. I don't like seeing them dirty. Oh, yeah. That so... sounds like Miss Lily. She's constantly brushing my horse. <laughs> so, Miss Honey... Mm -hmm. We're hearing all about your engagement to Mr. Alexi. Uh huh. So how did that waiting. come about? Uh, well, um, there was a night of uh, uh, drinking that may or may not have happened. What, black vodka? 
<laughs> you could say that, yeah. Right. Uh, and we all went up to one of my favorite spots to take a picture, and that is where he asked. Jam. Well, that sounds like... Well, I'm very happy for you. Thank you. When's a, when can we expect a, a ceremony? Not for a really long time. I imagine it costs a bit of money. Ah, uh, it's not that. I like a long engagement. Well, I'm, yeah, that's good. But, uh, but what what does a... So you're you're a horse trainer, are you? I am, yeah. What what does what does Alexi do? He is the horse trainer who steals all my sales. Oh, you're right. You're competitive competitive uh, businesses. <laughs> no, he just uh, talks to everyone and talks over me, so I don't make any sales from the stable that we both work at. Do you think that's a a Russian thing or a or a man thing or a bit of both? I think that's an Alexi thing. Oh, right. yeah, I think that's an Alexi thing too. Does it get worse <laughs> the more black vodka he has? Uh, no, I actually think it gets better, but I think it's because I talk more when I've had more black vodka. Well, maybe, maybe you should just have a little emergency supply, you know, nearby. You know, you think, oh, welcome. Got, yeah, we'll talk about horses, and then you quit. just keep on second. Good, 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 and then oh yeah, let's let's talk horses. <laughs> Well, I um, I do, I know a lot about horses, and so sometimes he makes a sale and then consults me on the sale, which oh. is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I I understand that he's he's more of a talker and a salesman than I am. I I just like the animal. I'm not much of a salesman. No, uh, I, I think yeah, I I feel like if someone's coming to get a horse. You don't really need to, like, if you can provide them all the information and everything they need, you don't really need to upsell it or anything. They're already coming for a horse. Right. Yeah, no, I, I just, I just really like horses. <laughs> I just don't have the uh, knack for people, unfortunately. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I sometimes feel the same way, ma'am. Don't you worry. <laughs> no, I think that's good. Well, look, if I, if I was, if I was in the market for a horse right now, I would be wanting to go to speak to someone that's passionate about him, knows a lot about him, rather than someone that's just wanting to sell me a horse for the sake of it. So, now I hope this day doesn't come soon, but when my dear horse passes away, I'll be sure to come on by. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. I've actually been... <laughs> I'm, at this point, I feel like he's avoiding me. I've been trying to talk to Harkness because I told him that... Um, you know, the... Oh, God, I see Tessa with binoculars. <laughs> oh, Oh no, do we look like a posse? Uh, oh, no. I don't know, gentlemen. You guys are wearing Hello. different colors. I'm wearing a different color. Uh, is Lily handcuffed? I, I don't know. Yeah. What is I'm Jeb sure doing? I'm sure Jeb can take care of that. Yeah. Jeb, not out here. God damn it. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been trying to track Harkness down because I had talked to him about getting his horse trained and... I don't know about the establishment I work for as much, but I am more than happy to provide discounts for law enforcement. All right. Well, he should be back. He's just running a, a group up to Strawberry and Valentine. He should be back soon. I'll remind him if I get a hold of him. Oh, God, please don't. I think that you'll be about like the fourth person to remind him. That's oh. all. <laughs> I think he's avoiding me. I, I don't know if it's just because uh, he doesn't have the money. I just wanted to ask him if he still wanted to do it eventually. Or if he wanted to go through Alexi, because that's who he spoke to originally. Oh, well, maybe maybe I'll, I'll be uh, subtle about it. I'll just bring up, you All know. Right. So Jack, you know, where would you go to get a horse train? And I'll <laughs> and I'll gauge it from there. Yeah, it was funny too, because um, I've spent a lot of money on this horse to get it fully trained, and then Alexi used this horse, mine, to make a sale to Harkness. Oh, oh, is this the kind of horse that Woodman and Harkness bought? That they've been uh, raving about. Not this about. particular breed, but once you get them more trained, I mean, the I know most law enforcement have Norfolk, which are oh, they, excellent horses. Every time we go riding, Woodman and Jack are always at home. George, make sure you get this one when you save up the money, and then we'll all have matching horses. I'm like, I, I, <laughs> I don't. Okay, I'm, I was about to say, I don't get paid enough, but I just bought this pump-ass shotgun and bolt-action rifle today. So <laughs> that's a damn lie. 
Well, it is it is a big investment, but I, I do think it's worth it. I do think the Norfolk particularly is suited uh, to law enforcement because so they're real calm. Uh, oh, I sold one cousin. to my friend James, and that horse doesn't spook for anything. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, I'll, I just, great. I just wanted to say? get some firearms, you know, particularly because we've got the martial law happening. Uh, oh, so okay, the okay. next thing now is saving up in advance for when I need a right, new horse. Ride, so I will, ro uh, Norfolk Roadster, yeah? Yep. All right, I'll keep that in mind, and I'm sure Woodman will be around to bug wow, me as well. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will. He's good at that. And then the law discount, that sounds fantastic. Okay. Food for yeah. thought. I'll make a note. It's hard. So uh, me, George, uh, we better leave me a sunny to uh, do some more donuts, and we better get, keep walking around. And... All right. Well, Enjoy nice chatting you, Miss Honey. About to ruin the coolness. Thank you, ma'am. You have a great day. You too. Oh, okay. A couple of fine looking folk over here. Oh, for fuck's sake, here we go. Fucking aims. <laughs> but not too big to, like, put Howdy. your whole body in. Howdy. 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 How are we going? Oh, no. I'm, good. I'm well. We're just, uh, I'm in the middle of a survey. I'm survey? taking a survey. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Survey. About yeah, a survey. trash cans. Trash yeah, cans? Yeah, I'm the Commodore. I upkeep the bins of the county. <laughs> you do the bins? Yeah, the bins. Get the trash, man. Yeah, I make sure they're fully stocked so people can go digging for treasure. Stocked? Yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah. I think he puts things in the bins for people to find. Yeah, exactly. Is this it's where we adventure. hear about one man's junk is another man's treasure? Exactly. You took that you literally? It. Yes. Sir, so does your question have any, uh, does your questionnaire have any more questions to ask me? Yeah, there, there's one last one. If you could put a bin anywhere, where would you put it? That is a great question. I think Valentine actually needs more bins. Maybe one down near the, the pelt trailer, because I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, okay. I will take that in front. Would you like a prize? For taking the survey. Yo, yeah, both the cars, Like rat hey, mate. or no, 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 no. What, what do you do? What do Yo, you enjoy? Yo, and crew. I'm, I'm a small game How y'all doing? Okay. Bing bong. Oh, mate. Thank you for the resub. 34 months. Thank you, mate. Hope you're having a wonderful day over in, there over on the other there, side there, of the planet. Oh, no. Thank you for the hours. Hope you're well, so mate. Coming great you, handy. You, you, you're, I want to value your time. I appreciate that. This you're, guy's you're doing welcome. surveys of bins. Day. Thank you. You too, sir. Yo, Percy uh, is. Gentlemen. Thank you much, Lee. Oh, you have a great day. Thank you. I'm going to be inspecting the bins around town, so don't mind me. All right. If you see anything illegal in them, let me know. No. Well, actually, let George know. He should deal with that. Oh, his oh is, that, is that your name, George? Yeah, uh, Captain George Hughes, at your service. Oh, I'm the Commodore. Nice to meet you, the Commodore. It's, it's a pleasure. All right, I won't keep y'all. I'm just, I'll be in the bins. <laughs> All right, you enjoy that, sir. It's lovely you. to meet you, Mr. I'll Commodore. I'll be in the bins. A pleasure. What a nice gentleman. Strange, but nice. Well, I guess first name is actually the, I wonder, anyway. <laughs> I guess everybody. Did he actually give you arrows? Or? He gave me two arrows, which I, like two bundles of arrows, which I actually really needed. I, uh, I was running low. Oh. Huh. There he is. Working, he's working away. He's whacking. How's martial law going for y'all? Oh, good. Everyone's behaving themselves. Which good. I they noticed. Fly, it seems not... calmer here than in Valentine, so I thought I'd come and hang out for a bit, even though I haven't been in Blackwater for days, but I feel safer now than I ever have before. Yeah, no, we, uh, that's why I feel the, uh, you know, the team are going up there just to have a bit of a poke around up there. Just, you know, part of it was, I was like, oh, if they're not here, they've moseyed on somewhere else. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, it does make me curious about where everyone's hiding because Valentine's a little quieter than I expected with martial law happening, but it's still, you know, it's Valentine. It's active enough, but uh, I haven't seen anyone making a mess of strawberry because I do sort of like a route around on my hunting trips. And uh, maybe I'm wondering if they all ran east. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. Well, actually, I'm not sure if you know uh, know this man, but, uh, you know, George loves hunting trips. Uh, George he's and I been have been on an ex extended hunting trip recently. An extended? <laughs> oh, my. Well, we only ever gone on We spent a few days up, up up north in the east, and uh, 
I took him to some waterfalls, some caves. We we found a beaver dam. We killed. We also killed a few beavers, sir. We did. You killed what? Just because good or? Oh, uh, of legendary quality, sir. So. Oh, there's a there's real big ones that live up the top of the, the head of the river. Yeah. Well well, we don't want them making dam up there, I guess, but, uh, well, there you go. Well, never mind. Well, there you go. I guess you're already Mr. Mr. Hughes and I are very well acquainted. Yeah, well, George, you didn't tell me you're going on a hunting trip, but, uh, I don't know. that's great. Jeez. Oh, just when I'm off duty, sir. No, no, of course. Like I said, you need to take time for yourself. Don't always have to have Well, it's, it's, it's actually quite difficult to get Mr. Hughes to take time off of work. Oh, I am well aware, ma'am. It is ridiculous. I keep telling him he needs to take a break, you know, go see the site of St. Denis, go see a show. You know, they got that board bill uh, near, the, near the station, like I said. Even George. if you come by Valentine, there's a tent set up where they show picture shows. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a picture show. I have. They're all right. There's not too many of them. Oh. But uh, worth having a look at at least once so you can tell everyone you've seen one. Yeah, well, George, it's always, you know, things are quiet. I'm pretty comfortable. If you want to take a trip, I'm on my, by all means, my friend. Things are got things handled here. Oh, I'd, I'd hate to abandon the abandon the department during martial law week, sir. No, no, George. It's uh, you know, if we ever if we do need you, I can uh, I can always get a hold of you. The got enough east uh, eastern sheriff down here, you know. Like you said, you said you wanted to take time off. I'm offering it to you. Oh, well, uh, is, is there any good picture shows happening now? Uh, not, not at the moment, no. But, oh. uh, I mean, I'm sure you can find something to do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to presume that you'd be spending this off time with me, but uh, there's definitely... We could hunt or something. Those hunting's always good. Uh, I, I'll tell you, I've been missing a lot of shots today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, shit. Well, oh. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe George, I'll give you some... you have my permission to go out hunting up to Maybe I'll give I, some words no, of courage. I, I feel terrible. I feel like we're forcing him to take time off. No, I could, I, no, you don't have to feel terrible. I'll just tell him to take time off. That's fine. George, you're taking the rest of the, uh, you, that, that's, you know. You sure, sir? Like, Harkness isn't back yet. No, that's fine. Just, you know, consider it an extended patrol. You know. I mean, will he be on duty, technically? He can go up to... Um, I should probably go off duty and get out of my get out of my uniform so that I'm not a target. That sounds for... like a fantastic idea, George. How about you do that? Okay. Are, are you sure I'm not imposing here? No, I man, that is all good. Anything? No, that's fine. Don't worry, that's all good. George, you enjoy, my friend. You have a good uh, have some time off. Oh, okay. All right. You so well, I guess we have. You work hard. You, you're never taking time off. We so have organized a few new IDs with people. Like we've we've really uh, turned a corner here in Blackwater. Uh, I don't have an ID. I feel like I should figure that out. You got five. Well, there you go, George. That's oh. your last thing to do. Then you oh, go it's Mr. Ah. Mr. Barlow and Mr. Lexi. Who, Mr. Is? Who is Mr. Barlow? Oh, ha Harlow? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Bobby Harlow. Sorry, pun. It's been Barlow. a hot minute since I've seen your ID. I couldn't remember it. Oh, here I show you to you again. Oh, appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dick, can I have a private chat with you, please? Bobby of Harlow. Course. There, uh, there we go. Back. All right. Of course, man. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Harlow. Sorry, I, 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 I don't know why I thought of Barlow. Yeah, I don't. That don't make sense. I never heard no one with last name Sorry, Barlow. My, my 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 mouth sometimes works before my brain. No, Wait, that's the other way around. Enough. No, no, that's that's right. You 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 you. Your mouth, your mouth is moving faster than your brain. All right, all right. Well, all right, sir. Well, I'll, I'll go down. Um, I'll go clock yeah. off. And uh, yeah, George, I'll, you. Uh, I'll be right yeah. back. No, hundred percent. You're all good. No worries, sir. Yo, Jake. Hey, go, man. Damn, a girl can't even zone out for ten minutes without ending up in a new stream. <laughs> How was Bose's stream? I see. I saw he's been doing a lot of Pokemon lately. I've been I've been um, double checking my um, uh, emulators to um, play through Pokemon Soul Silver again. Oh, is that Zoe Kane? Yo, nutties! Oh, dude, Blackwater has been so good tonight. It's actually been it's like it has already been so much better. 
Like, and that's- I'm not even being sarcastic. Like, the improvement of Blackwater tonight compared to other nights is... Is, um... It's, um... It's a sight to see. It's just had a much better atmosphere. It's been, um... It's been that good that, um... Ames is, um, telling me to take the rest of the night off. Alright, I think, I think they're just having a... a mix up there? <laughs> it's like, it's been great! Guy getting, like, hogged, like, dragged around. <laughs> like, uh... Oh, uh, oh shit! Oh. Do do do, and we'll go the. Uh... <laughs> what is this? Thirty-three rocks. Did Zoe Kane leave this here? Is that something Zoe Kane would do? Oh, I haven't checked my telegrams tonight! Whoops. I've been forgetting to check my telegrams, like, all night. Whoops. Howdy, Crow! Shit, I haven't <laughs> checked my telegrams. That's why I've been here the whole time. Oh. Well, how about this? How about this? Only check. Oh, the martial law is being just, yeah. There you go, sir. Look, I'm even out of the uniform. Look how, look how. Look at you go. Um, I'm a mountain man. You're a mountain man. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a man of the land. Yeah, well, uh, no, you enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, things are good, you know. Spot of hunting would be good. Yeah, you, again, you've been, you've been, uh, working hard, you know. Let's take some time to yourself. And, uh, I'll enjoy yourself. Shit. Have you had a, have you had a break today? No, I don't take many breaks, you know this. Well, I um, suppose you got you know, it's nice. Do what I say, not what I do. You know, do as I say, not Ooh. as I do, George. That's what I said to a deputy George, earlier. George, are you currently off duty? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Cynthia, martial law. <clears throat> I'm gonna kill you. And no. I'm gonna be don't oh. kill me. This oh is, no! Uh, this is not advice. Don't kill. Don't kill George. No, look. I'm just. I'm just a simple hunter. Alexi, I'm gonna parts. make it look like an accident. All right. Uh, but Marshall, if you could uh, just look at this beautiful building behind us. Oh no! All right. Oh I'm no! Oh about no! I can't put my arms right, down. <laughs> you gotta e mm. think about EC, E space C. Oh. Oh yeah, my that's god. A uh, right, judge, oh, that's a there. beautiful judge, building. Judge, judge, just follow me, alright? We're gonna run. Oh, shit. Bye bye. Why are we running? That's the deputy marshal. He, 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 he li <laughs> Yeah, the deputy marshal is in cahoots with Alexi right now. I'm not. I just. I can't believe the conversation I just had. Anyway, I need to get an ID card. Yeah, we've been uh, we've been pulling up a lot of people on that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really know I needed one. Well, it just it makes it easiest for us in the long run to identify people because sometimes you know people is that a dog on the train tracks? Yep. Oh, I saw a train before, and that we saw the train, and then they uh, they choo chooed at me. Yeah, uh, myself and a new deputy. Uh... Cyrus, we were able to ride the uh, the train uh, what? I ride out of Blackwater. Long, you know the long bridge across the plains. Yeah, I want to ride the train. Yeah, we were able to ride along there. The view is spectacular. I want to, I want to ride the train. I'm really nervous about that dog hanging around on the tracks. I, the dog is fine. Dogs are smarter than us. It better be. Uh, ID card. 
Do I need money for this? Oh yeah, that's no. at the courthouse. That's five dollars. Oh god damn it! We have to go back over there. Fuck. It's, it's fine. What are you, what are you on about? Uh, never mind. Look, another dog. See, look now that everybody in Blackwater has calmed down, all the animals are coming back. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Feels like a real town again. Are you sure you're out taking time off work? Well, and it has been awfully quiet. Um, the right. martial law has a uh, has become has actually it's I'm if I knew how successful it would be, I would have recommended it to the governor a week ago. Yeah, next time, can you do it, in Valentine, please? Well, I I think that's probably the plan. Uh. You know, do it here in the, the the capital of the of the west side, so to speak. Wait, and then hold up. Out. Hold, hold on a minute. Oh, don't don't tell me you're gonna check the bin from the because of the commodore. No, sir. Somebody has already searched the bin. Broken pickaxe. Oh, broken pickaxe. Clay and everything. Some clay. Some coal. Oh, newspaper. <laughs> oh no! Oh dear. Yeah, if you yeah. were the deputy marshal, I'd be doing it to you as well. Oh, I'm very okay. deputy. Please let me up. Oh, it what's this, man? Yeah. Lucky oh, I'm. I need a bath. Lucky I'm off duty. No, no. Can I speak to you for a moment? Why? What what happened exactly? Oh, uh, we had a private conversation earlier, and he told me how much he loves being hogtied. You should ask. This will be one of the East horses. <laughs> Sorry oh. about that. You've met Jeb, the deputy marshal. No, uh, the the oh, lawman you spoke Ms. to. Cynthia. Yeah, yeah, I have. Miss Cynthia, is that you? Yes. Uh, my partner Healy wants to speak to you for a moment. Oh, I have to say it. Okay. Yeah, you do. Um, well, Mr. George Hughes wants to go on a date with you, but he's too scared. I of, did not um, say that. Rejection. Why? Why is that? Oh, that's you, so Joe. I'm just I didn't even here. We're trying to get an ID sorted here, Jim. I'm just here, here to get my ID oh, card. Sorry. You need to ask her I'd out right now because I've made it awkward. So you should ask her out. Bye. We're going hunting. So now here you got to put your your hair color, your eye color, your height. Uh, job? I don't know. Is Hunter a job? Or is that like a... Is that a hobby? <laughs> I am not as... I am... I don't think I'm as invested in that side of the RP as others. I'm more content just going on the hunting and stuff. What was, um, what was Bunda having trouble with, with the, um, uh, the ID. He didn't put the. He got the the year wrong. He put it as this year, and then um, oh my god! Well, it has been a hot minute since Hughes has fallen off a cliff. It has. It has been a while. All right. I think I did it right. Well, a few people were having trouble with it. Uh, are you able to show it from? Oh. And, uh, yeah, everything checks out. Uh, nice. We had one fella, he put, a he put his date of, date of birth as this year. <laughs> oh, he was a baby. Yeah, I'm thinking that's, yeah, it was, a uh, it was ridiculous. Sorry yeah. about all them, man. We were talking about earlier about the whole, like, you know, the, the festival coming up and the dance. And I was, you know, talking more about it, like, how it was with you where it's like, I don't even know if I can go and this and that. And uh, 
Everybody. I just feel like people are imposing a lot on us that um, it's just uncomfortable. It is. Look, I and I told him I'm just I'm just at the very least I'm just happy to make a new friend and do and just talk to somebody that's not in the goddamn law department or on the other end of a gun. Yeah, uh, you were the person who was kindest to me when I came here, and, and that's important to me. And I don't. Yeah, I'm just confused. No, don't. No, nothing. Yeah. To, they're, they're all just. They have uh, to spinning tails. Uh, yeah, they're all bored. Well, I guess that's what happens when we take away all the crime in Blackwater. Then everyone tends to gossip. That's right. They, they, they're they like, we got to find something to do. Do you still want to spend time together or put the rumors to rest and just let you go? No, no, I'm still happy to go hunting. All right. Let's get out of this stupid town. Oh, look, it's not stupid anymore. No, it's stupid right now. It's filled with stupid. Oh, look, they're only kind of stupid. Have you got a horse? Yeah, yeah he's coming. Where is There he is. Yeah, my poor horse. Oh, I better bring... Where the hell? You still got that bottle of wine? Oh, shit. Uh, I think that's in... I think that's in the bank. Let me look. All right. Oh no, here comes Ames. So I think I've got, I think I've bolted all the alcohol. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, there's the black vodka. It was the other one. Oh, yeah. I need to offload all that shit. Ooh. I'm just gonna send Henry here to the stables. I ride with. That's oh. fine. Is that Yuri? Real? I'm telling. You. No. I can't tell. It's... I can't. I can't. I'm not saying all Russians look the same, but I'm having. Oh. Oh. Get out of the way, martial law, goddammit. Gee, there was this an optical cause? Right, where's a good spot for hunting? Because I was saying. Man, just ah. just keep riding, just get out of here. <laughs> While you were in the bank, I got approached again, and I just threatened to kick the ass of the yeah. lawman. It's ridiculous. It all happened because I got back into town, and uh, Harkness had told the the marshal there that uh, I went on my little. little uh, tangent getting guns and then I had an escort and then it all just it just all spiraled out of control yeah bunch of crazies so did you have a, a spot in mind is there a, a particular legendary um, animal you're hunting now the next one was gonna be the legendary coyote in uh, that's in armadillo but we shouldn't go down there it's not exactly I don't know. People see beauty in it. I don't really see as much scenic landscapes in Armadillo. Well, you just you want the you want the coyote pelt though, don't you? Yeah, but Jeffrey hasn't shown me how to get it yet. Oh, we, um, you'd be going in blind. Yeah, give me one moment. I'll just check my. That's fine. See, I, I, I haven't I haven't learned anything about any of the. Do you want to head up to the Wapiti Indian Reservation? I haven't actually been that way yet. Sure. Get the opium. Did I just hear a, a big cat? Did I hear, something did like I hear that. a puma or something? Just keep moving. I can't get you to keep moving. Oh! Not if I ride into a that cliff. Was, well, that was a snake. Okay. I dare say it was actually getting. Might I say too quiet in Blackwater to die? Yeah, Sarah had to find something else to talk about, I guess. Literally, the the most I've had to do is escort people to get to get IDs. The light. 
The light, it burns! So what's... So is there a... Is there another animal of great worth up near Wapiti? Uh, I... I don't know. I just thought it's the furthest point away that I could think of straight up. Now I've been meaning to go up there because uh, we've had the... Uh, the Native Americans making uh, threats about people that hunt the bison, which, you know, is all well and good, but they want to scalp. Yeah, they sure do. And uh, it would be preferable if they would let us arrest them first before they had pieces of their head removed. Sorry if I seem distracted. No, you're fine. Yeah, just about everybody... Oh, can't see the road. Shit! My bad! If you're out. Nah, hey, you're alright. You got everyone. Bloody Let's just say I ain't taking kindly to people acting like my parents trying to set me up with things. Oh yeah, that would be... They're, taking, they're trying to take the control away from me that I only just regained. No, that's right. It's... Yeah. I can see that. I mean, it, it, it ain't like me to threaten to kick the ass of a lawman uh, when when you were in the bank and it was Jeb. Oh, oh but not, not Jeb. Well, he's, yeah. He did at least respect that and walk away. I think he took my threat quite seriously. I can't believe that. I literally... They all got carried away thinking that, you know, just because I'm escorting someone on the way to, you know, in a disorganized fashion, buy some guns. It's, yeah, no, they, they're taking it way too far. And then I was just inquiring about the dance and all this and that. And then they're all gossiping. I think Alexi's saying to me that everyone's been talking about us hanging out apparently we are the talk of the town even though people have much better things they should be talking about well they should all be talking about getting their goddamn IDs and and who's shooting who I mean St. Danny and Valentine have enough drama for everyone to be a part of they don't have to Im Im impose on my life well, that, well don't worry it's everyone was talking about Jeb the other week and then you know, enough people talking about, you know, they talk about Woodman, and then they talk about this, they talk they about can, that. They should talk about Woodman and Louisa. We hogtied them, throw them in a field, and they loved it. And then that's they, and, what, and then they saved me. About. And, and, then they, and they, they had the time you. to save me. That, yeah, that's the thing. But, ma'am, if at any point you get uncomfortable with all these rumors going around on account of us going hunting and, and that, you just let me know, all right? Like, I, I don't mean to go imposing or anything. I just told them all that at the very least. I'm just, I'm just happy to make a friend outside the law department. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to make a friend. Period. There's too many, there's too many people that, you know, I see Harkness and Woodman and all that. All the, you know, they're great, but I see them all the damn time. And then the other people I see, they're always hot. They're throwing ropes at me. They're shooting me. They're robbing banks, and it, it gets exhausting. But you got a good head on your shoulders good to talk to I, I appreciate that no, I'd never come up this way I don't even know I don't even know this way let it, it's a bit cold up here look I brought this jacket I've oh well, this way leads up into the mountains up there I haven't been up there I think I've been past why Peter but I did not I did not take this way Last time I was up here, I got chased by a bear. Oh. This well, is as far as I've come on this side. Well, that's why I've still got that pump shotgun I went on the effort of buying. Uh, oh, yeah, that would uh, that would definitely deal with a bear. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. You got, you got a lot. 
It got a lot more colder real quick. Yeah, it was very sudden. Is that what PD over there? The yellow lights, or is that something else in this? Uh. No, no, I think I was literally looking at the Valentine from here. All right. Oh, you can Never actually mind. see it from here. You can. I can almost smell the gunpowder. And the mud. And the mud. Yeah, there was a lot of talk as well. Well, when they were, when they were all taking moments to stop pestering me. They were talking about that, uh, yeah, I imagine Valentine will probably, if, if anywhere is going to have martial law next after Blackwater, it'll be Valentine. Yeah. Is it bad that I'm hoping for that? Well, I don't think so, considering all the stuff you've said about it. I think, I think it could, could have a bit of a reminder that if everybody could, uh, I don't know, stop... Stop killing people's dogs and maybe wear a shirt. Can't be much further, is it? I haven't gone the wrong way, have I? What was that? I don't. I don't think so, and I don't. Georgie, you're right. Silly horse. Gotta be right up We're here. almost there. Damn, I, I did not mean to take the scenic route. It's kind of nice, though. Oh, God. The, the, the fellow that drives the train is awfully nice as well. Uh, uh, the, yeah. The company that came through was uh, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones? So considering the view I had across the plains of Blackwater, I think yeah, if I if I ever have to go on another errand to buy a gun on the other side of the country, I think I'm taking a train. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, let's go. This is got. This is got a bit. You got it. Hope they're all right with all this snow coming in. Oh, hey, chickens. Hi. All right. Look at them. We have arrived. All right. Let me. I have, I have no idea where I'm going from here. Do you want me to take take lead? <laughs> That's probably the best. I'll probably run us off a cliff. You think he is with the army? Oh, please, not so. I hope you show our people respect while you're here. Oh, they're talking. I don't know if these people are ex exactly happy to see us. It's all right. We're just passing through. Yeah, not meaning it. I, I look. I. I try. I, I hope the <laughs> what, bison are all right. But it's fine. They're not gonna hurt you, not unless you did something wrong right now. I, just keep your hands on the horse. I just want them to know that I would... Well, I have taken a bullet for the bison. You have. It's not a... It's not a... Yeah, uh, yeah I have. I can still feel it. Oh, Feezy. It is just a matter of time until there's another Hughes and Ames going down a... Like a, a, a river or something incident. <laughs> we had that one when we were chasing Squizzle Mountain Man. And then there's the one where we're up at the glacier. This is cool. It's like frosty, but water is still uh, not frozen over. Oh no, I don't know. I don't know if I brought a fishing rod. Oh, that's all right. I got a gold pan. Oh shit, well, I yeah. I got a gold pan, and then I you used a gold pan, and I got a headache. You could try your luck. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, it's let me see. You know, we're off the beaten path. You know, I hope you're a lot. Not a lot of people come up here and do panning of their own. I wonder if I'd have better luck catching the fish like this. That's how I catch fish. Oh, that's so much easier. Look at you, professional now. 
Wait, how do you grab the fish? What? How do I? Oh no. Oh, I got it! Or something. Well, I think it might be a God little damage. damage from the from the arrow. That's a big fish, though. You hear that? I don't. Hear what? I heard the sound of a grizzly bear. Not oh. not close, but it oh, definitely shit. echoed. It's fine. I I got chased by one earlier. It was uh, the closest I'd ever been to getting got by one. Where do you reckon it is? Oh, hopefully not at the reservation. <laughs> surely, they, surely they can they can deal with it, right? Yeah. They can would. you climb on even though you got the fish? Oh no! I don't I know. If I... Sitting on the fish is a good idea. I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice. That's all right. Now all right. I. Now I know I can catch fish like that if I'm ever having a bad I, yeah. fishing day. Do you even own a wagon? Nope. Oh, I have a wagon. What, what kind of wagon? Uh, just a small one. I don't really like using it, though, because um, I just find it clunky, kind of restricting. Oh, that's a shame. I like to get my small game and put it in my pockets and my satchel. Oh, Instead yeah. of pulling around giant deer and ram. I think I heard that uh, a lot of people going out mining will take their wagons. Yeah. And then I there was a lot too. of people stealing from wagons. Yeah. Well, that cold wind's coming in. Oh, yeah. I just thought we should follow the river down and see if we can find any waterfalls. Yeah. And hopefully it's out of the snow. <laughs> Go south. Look, I think we're in luck. There's one right here. Oh, wow. Whoa. That is that is a big one. I wish this fog would clear. Can't quite. Got the bridge, the distance, and everything. Good old Georgie could have sent us straight to our death. I, I think she's had plenty of practice with my reckless ride that she uh, makes sure that I no longer topple down these. Is that a snake? I think it was. Not happening. I think it's you need to relax. I, I, I don't have any, any venom. Oh shit. I do. At least, at least one of us will survive. God damn. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, it's probably the best thing that you're driving. Oh look, that one leads down and there's another one. Like yep. A, it's like a double. Oh, like, what's, what the bet someone's gone out on that that rock sticking out there and they've dived from it? That sounds fun. You want to dive? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know I if I if I was met with an untimely accident, I imagine I'd get quite the talking to from Deputy Marshal Ames. I'm pretty sure if you met an untimely accident, Deputy Marshal wouldn't be able to contact you anymore. I, I think he'd find a way. I, I think he has. I think he has his ways. What? He's not bigger than God. That might be the governor. <laughs> I don't think the governor is bigger than God. The governor's a pelican, you said. Oh, that. Don't <laughs> underestimate a pelican. They will eat you all up. What do you reckon? You reckon there's something behind this waterfall like that other I'm one? I'm wondering. I'm wondering. You want to try? Hell. We might be disappointed. Look, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather try doing that than diving off the top. It's so loud. Ugh. I knew it, Feezy. I knew it. Careful! Uh. 
Alright. That's a shame. Disappointing, but it's pretty. Yeah. And like, look at the view, like the bridge. My God. If only a train was going by right now. If only we were on the train going by. Yeah, I did not see. I only saw it that one time it came through. Then I did not see it again. I guess they. I think they went all the way down to New Austin. Ah! Ha 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 ha! Okay, George. You're a. I'm okay. <laughs> sorry, Georgie. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm apologizing to Lars. I should apologize no. to you as well. I'm sure she'll give you a clean slate. If it was me, she'd probably kick me in the face. I don't know if we can get down this way. We might have to cross. I'm, de I'm determined. Come on, Georgie. I suppose if anyone knows how to traverse these steep inclines, it's you with the, uh, you went in that cave. God damn it. No, you know, never mind. I've been beaten by a rock. It's fine. It, you know, commend you for trying. No! Oh, damn it. Alright, let's take it this way. We might need to get off and call her at the top if we can get out. Oh! I, you know what, John? I think we might be stuck here. Might have to cross the river. Yeah, well, the cross, it looks like there's a path on the other side. Yeah, let's try. Oh god. Let's see if she can swim. Ah, she's there we the go. Van. That's it. We're fine. We're fine. The only bad thing now is if there was a bear waiting for us. And no bear. Excellent. Oh, that's better. What a great valley. Well, it's not so cold down here, but maybe Much I should have brought. I, I've got a bigger, a, a bigger coat than this, which, uh, which is sadly made from bison fur. Now I didn't kill any bison to get it, but they were selling it, and I thought I'd put it to good use. So I wear this big bison coat with a bison headpiece as well. So I dress up like a bison when I sometimes go out and watch over the herd. So. Dressing up like a bison is a hobby for you now? Well, you know, I, the aim is that, you know, I'm in disguise that maybe hunters... Okay, well, will... what? Hey, hold on. What if a poacher shoots you instead of an actual bison, then? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Oh, that's very nice. And see oh. the train bridges? I think oh, I hear a bear. A... Oh, he's on the other side. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, he's coming for us. Oh my! That that traveler's gonna have a nasty surprise. Better off ain't us. Oh, careful! There, there's some rapids down there. I was just thinking how beautiful that spot was. That's a fantastic spot. Yeah, the bear thinks so as well. What kind of bear was it? Grizzly? That that was a grizzly. It's all right, Georgie. This way. Well, look, we can go hunting if you want. You want to hunt a bear? I've. Well, I, I'm I'm indifferent, but if you if, I mean, if you I, could sell I the hunt, pelt. I, I I can, but I hunt mostly like a white-tailed deer at the biggest. Maybe yeah. sometimes a buck. Come on now, remember I, all that trouble I had to go to to get this bolt-action rifle. All right, next bear we see. All right, deal. And if I die, you ain't you know gonna how, die. Wait, you know how I've said constantly, if I, if something happens to me, it's not. If we go hunting and I die to a bear, you're shooting up, then that is your fault. Shit, that's. So what? Uh, it's the one situation you have to be guilty, all right? I hope this bolt action rifle's worth every dollar. Jeez, boys. Now this is a view. That. Oh, if you if you if you squint, you can't tell that Valentine's there. I can't even see it. Oh, you had to point it out, uh, didn't you? Yeah, I, I, no, you ruined I, it. Um, I had to look this way. My this bad. 
My yeah, bad. that's a nice Valentine free view right that's there. That's right. Yeah, you look just over there. You got a rope bridge. That's the only sign of human life. And then that is it. Uh, There's definitely nothing to the left. Just over there. Uh-huh. It's a steep drop. That's where I had a shootout with Squiz Taylor. I was like down there and Squiz Taylor was up here. Back on in the early days of the server. That was a hell of a time. So, you know, you, ha you, you did bring that bottle of wine, right? I did. You, you think if we open it for my sake, you'd also be willing to tell me your whole deep, dark secret? Why why I get so... Gloomy? An anxious. <laughs> Gloomy, all right. We'll put it. Depressing. All right. Look, yeah, I have... I, I, yeah, look. Look, I, I, always, I save all the alcohol I purchase and I've been gifted. So I've been just saving them. So I, I always forget to drink when I'm off duty, so I've still got it. I, right. I brought you some of that uh, black vodka from Alexi. Oh, really? The black vodka that I poured in your bullet wound? I didn't get to taste it. Well, I didn't want to go hogging all the drink. And then you got nothing to nothing to drink. That'd be that'd be mighty selfish of me. The only thing I'm gonna be selfish about is chicken. That, I'm gonna have all the damn chicken. What's the best cinema? Just don't get too close to that edge. That's it. Oh, there goes the bottle slide. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that's comfy. I okay. got. Oh. Always like, how would I sit? Or like, what's a realistic sit? Oh, it's good to stretch the old legs. Sit down. Right, where's that? Where's that bottle? Was that good? I actually haven't had any black vodka yet. That it's it's like getting kicked in the head by a horse, but it's nice. Sit four. Oh god, I I know what this one's gonna be. <laughs> oh, that's oh, my legs. <gasps> What's wrong with your legs now? I just couldn't. I had a cramp in my leg. You got a Charlie horse? Is that what you call it? Yeah. Ch why is it a ch Charlie horse? I was just... Like, there ain't nothing horse about it. I always thought it was like pins and needles or something. Because it's like getting poked with lots of pins and needles. But I appreciate the bottle of wine. That's, yeah. It's just it's a shame of the circumstances if you wanted to give it to me. I, it was hard to hear that, you know, I was the first person to ask any questions. You know, I'm... Yeah, like everybody in country should have a chance to have some questions asked about them. Yeah, it was a. Uh, I wasn't having the easiest time. Yeah, the the only thing people were asking of me is like the sort of person that I wanted to find, as if that is all. You know, it was hard to get off the train, and that immediately be what people wanted to know about me. Oh, that's a damn shame. Well. Well, I'm glad I I'm glad I had a positive impact on that because you know not not just you know in the law department we're we're trained to you know you know you know they, they have they word it not not be friends with everybody but be friendly with everyone because you know we don't want people you're to you're not friend because you're a law man. No, that's not. That's not hey, what I'm saying. Wow. I'm sa despite the fact that I, I just you know, I just try to give everyone a fair go regardless. But we have been trained in that regard. That that's not getting getting off the point. So yeah, like I said, I didn't want to go. You know, I just I just get worried about you know friends and and my colleagues and that. You know, with you know sometimes you know seeing people get taken hostage and whatnot. It's it especially you know there's been some people that I've known, know through people that have been hostages in bank robberies and such, and it, 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 it's hard to think that they could have, they could, they could be taken out at any time. And we, you know, we're out there, we're trying to do everything can, we can to negotiate with these people. But sometimes, there was one time, they, they shot, they shot three hostages. Right. And it's a, uh, it's the, it's the challenges we face on the job every day that, you know, when we hear about, when we get word from people that, 
there's a bank robbery or whatever going on. It, it, it could be, we could be riding to meet the demise of someone we know. And it's, and it's hard because, uh, you know. So you, you worry. Well, did I tell you, did I tell you what, what I used, used to do when I was younger? What the, really? That you were a rabble rouser? A little bit. Ran with a, a mischief maker. Ran with a bit of a bad crowd, and uh, you know nothing, nothing major, just a bit of petty crime and this and that. But things were escalating, and uh, it, you know, growing up, you know, not in the best sort of household, and you know, I didn't come from money and status and all that, so it seemed, it seemed normal at the time. Right? You telling me you ain't a debutante either? What? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm just saying because you know we're a bit opposite, I guess. Yeah, I, I would. I would say so. So you know, it seemed normal at the time, but then things were escalating. Some of these other fellows were wanting to, you know, they were getting more violent, and you know, rather than just using a knife, they're using they're now using a gun. You know, this is where I came to get acquainted with the. You know, this is why I feel comfortable with, like, a pump-action shotgun, a bolt-action rifle. It takes me back. Well, not that I want to remember that, but it's what I'm used to. It's what I know. So, I try to, like, dressing like a bison. Silly, silly as it is, I'm trying to take something something bad, turn it into some good. Right. Yeah. But, uh, it just, one day, it just, it just, we went... We went too far, too quick, and uh, I don't think they were really, really thinking about what consequences could happen. And then we weren't really thinking about, you know, we weren't out to hurt anybody. We were looking out for ourselves, but then nobody stopped to think about the people around us. They didn't, they, they, we just didn't cross our minds. Now, I just, I just, I guess I just, you know, like I was just inquiring with everybody today about the, you know, there's that fair coming up and there's a dance and all that. And some, you know, all those things are nice, what n normal people are used to. So I guess, I guess sometimes I just want to feel some kind of normality or, I don't know, just feel like if things are better than they were. It's, a, it's just, it's kind of a... Kind of, it's one of those things that's hard to talk about without a, without chugging a bottle of wine. A good thing you have a bottle of wine. Oh. <laughs> so what were we running with all these, I was running with all these other, these idiots. Believe it or not, I had a, I had a wife at the time. You know, we were, we were, we were young and dumb. You know, rushed into things, and all that. You know, the lifestyle was real, real fast, and she just got caught up in all of it. Didn't think much of it, and I didn't think anything bad would happen. She got pregnant as well. It makes it it makes it even harder to talk about. But one time. I didn't think that, I didn't think that they, I didn't think they'd get caught up in it. And, well, that was that. You don't have to go into details. No, it's, yeah, they. The worst part was it was, it was out of my control. There's nothing I could do about it. Even when I wanted to. Sorry, I need to go in my head one second. <laughs> Yo, Dill. Thanks for the work, mate. <laughs> bit of juicy, bit of cliche George Hughes backstory. Gotta go in my head for a minute. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> Looper.
Time out, time out. Second, everybody, let's take a break. <laughs> Fazy. It's funny. Online modern gaming. Oh, it's like, I don't even, I don't know how to RP is all like, oh no. I'm so used to just, it's just the RP is, um, the RP is all like, oh no, I've fallen off a cliff. Oh. I'm sorry. I know this is a terrible time. Um, I gotta, I'm just, I have a lot of feelings and I think I need to just get some space. Um, I'm sorry. It's not you. I just, I'll talk to you about it another time. Oh no, you're all right. Yeah, it's it's urgent. No, no, that I I should probably get back to the department anyway. No, I understand. It's all right. Bye, George. <laughs> I think that's like an IRL thing. Like gotta go like dinner or something. Like <laughs> how do I That's funny. <laughs> no, that's all right. No, that is all right. It's just, it's so, it's so funny that like that can happen in things like that. That is not all good. <laughs> it's like imagine like um um uh what's a what's like a really intense movie? What's a really intense movie? It's like, oh, I need to go. <laughs> like, ba like, uh, let's go, like, uh, The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. And it's like, the Joker's like, oh, man, I, this is bad time, man, but I gotta go. Oh, I've got, I've got you. The Garden Precinct. No, nah, gotta go, man. Like, something's come up. I really gotta go. Damn it, Joker. My planet needs me, I have to go. <laughs> that's funny. But that, no, that's all right though. Cause that, um, that is essentially like I, even before the reset, I was always like, oh, you know, what did George Hughes do before all this? And I always had it in the back of my head, like, I don't know, he was in like a dumb gang or a militia or something. And then, I don't know, he had a wife or something, gets killed. Because a job goes wrong, you know, that old cliche. And then that's why he's got that real urge to, you know, fight for justice and that. Um, that is, that is literally it. That is, that is literally, um, that is literally the amount of thought I've put into it. And I was always like, I'll think of more. If it, if, if, if it ever comes up naturally, if it ever comes up naturally, I'll think of, um, I'll think of something to add, but, I, but then I was like, uh, I don't know what to add. Oh no. <laughs> no need to apologize, Shell Bunny. No need to apologize. No need to apologize. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like it's such a like classic like Diablo RP thing. Like if, you could like edit that where it like goes like black and white. And there's like sad piano music. Like oh, like oh no, we're learning about poor George Hughes's past. And they're like sorry, gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is, that is good. That's fucking funny. <laughs> oh, 
time for George to get drunk in the saloon. Ames, you won't believe it. I was... I was for, forced to have a bottle of wine, talk about my past, and then just... And then just up and, up and ran away. <laughs> uh, that's funny. No, that, that is, that is, yeah, that's always been like the very loose, vague, good shoes background. Very cliche, extremely cliche. But I was always like, that's the driving force. That's why George is a bit, um, silly. Um, and clumsy and, and all that, and a bit cuckoo. But then, you know, wants to, wants to really... <clears throat> You know, do try and make sure stuff like that never happens again to anyone. So that, that that's the long and short of it. <laughs> Ames, you wouldn't believe it. She ran off on me. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> well, well, well. That's funny. Uh. It's almost, it was almost like a Saved by the Bell, because like I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to go into that side of the RP either, really. Like, it's much easier when I find it, it's like, we've been out doing whatever, and like another lawman will get shot and they're wounded. It's really easy, like, in the moment to react to it. To be like, like oh no, you know, like, Iron Jaw's been shot, is he gonna die? Oh my god, or like, Lieutenant, oh my god, he got, he fell off the cliff, or, you know. And then, like, telling a story about a thing, I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. That's it, Looper. I'm literally, I'm like, stealing it from this and that. <laughs> might do, while I'm all geared up for it, might do a spot of hunting in tall trees. Yeah! But no, that's good. It's, um... There's been a whole range of things with, with the, the server reset that has provided, like, extra extra challenges, I guess you could say, with the RP to sort of try and find ways to, um, um, take it further. Um, because every now and again, I'll watch some of, um, I'll lurk in Hex Steph's RP streams, where she, she plays on Wild RP. And, um, over there, they are, they come across a lot more serious. There's a lot more there is so much more talking in that. Um, and like I can I be, like I see she really gets into it. And I'm like, damn, I don't know, like I've always been like that like that's great. I really think that's awesome that they can do that, but I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. So like having these other Is that Lou? Oh, hey, now, come on, now, none of that. What's going on here? Come on, now. Easy, fellas. It's unnecessary. It's all right. It's all good. I understand the locals can be a bit... They can be a bit much, can't they? Oh, man, they, they, wanted to, they started on us. Otherwise, we wouldn't have done nothing. We're, we're civil people. All good, all good. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm, a, I'm a law man, but I'm off duty. I'm just passing through. Just, you know, just make sure everybody's okay. He seems to be limping away okay. Yeah, he'll go home and probably be a bit more, be better behaved tomorrow. Yeah, see, he's got to recover from catching these hands. Oh, damn it. Ah, well, you fellas, yeah, just, yeah, just want to make sure everybody's okay. I'm going to keep heading on my way. Yeah, oh. That's so cold. Man. Damn it, horse! Is that a beaver? No, it's a raccoon. Is that a beaver? Oh, 
Oh, that's right. This leads up to the mountain. Where's that? I like... Oh, it's up there. I always... I always think that straight out of Strawberry in here is this part. But I always forget there's this big mountain in the way. See, I like this area. I want to do more hunting around there. What's the time? Maybe maybe I'll do some hunting in tall trees because it's closer to Blackwater. Because it is 20 past 10. Um, let's go... Manzanita Post and then somewhere out from there. He's just come into Strawberry and they're just hanging a guy. What are you doing? Don't do that. That's illegal. Don't do it. Scrat, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner. Does any does anyone even run this business here now? Or did, or did I hear right that everyone moved to Blackwater? I'd like to see Strawberry lively again. Oh, every clip for you. Oh, it's Yuri. Yeah, what's Yuri? It's Yuri and Bunder in that. I don't think they recognize me. So then they can't hound George and be like, Where's Cynthia? Like, my God. You damn gossipers, get out of here. No, uh, no, it's down there. It doesn't a, a cougar spawns. I'm assuming not now. I sh it should be dead. Isn't that the one Hammer always is? That what he calls it fluffy? What am I doing racing in? There's, like, there's literally things to hunt right here. Oh, that's a horse. Alright. A spot of hunting. What, what can go wrong? What can go wrong? Nothing, nothing bad. Nothing bad is going to happen. Nothing bad ever happens to George Hughes. Oh, fuck! I don't think I hit the head. Nothing ever, ever, ever. I... Can you track it? Oh, what? Did the arrow go through it? Oh, shit. So I know in the single play you can do the like the track where it shows the line of where they run. But I don't think it works. What is that? What the fuck is this? Why is there four dollars here? What the fuck? Did someone die here? 
<laughs> oh, is that they did, would have died here, Luba? <laughs> I just happened to come across where someone would have died. Imagine if I came across their 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 body, like th th that timing. Can't see shit. I reckon. I reckon bear attack. I reckon. I reckon I do. I don't think I. Oh, it's all. I think we found the horse of the person that died. What have I stumbled across here? The fuck? Whose fucking horse is this? The fuck? So what, they were riding around, or they got off their horse, and they've died and their horse is just still here. And then they're what, they've respawned at a doctor. Huh, I'm just having to stumble across this. If only I got here sooner, maybe I could have found them when they were down. Interesting. Yeah, I heard I heard a bunch of wolves. I that yeah. Wolf attack? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I could ever make a character that's like really devoted to hunting. I don't think I'd have the patience for it to do it all the time. I don't want to shoot now, though. I don't want to shoot now. And here, dear, nearby. If Valheim taught me anything, it's what a goddamn deer sounds like. It sounds so bizarre. I don't understand how deer make a noise like that. But my god, in Valheim, every two seconds, or whatever the noise, and it's like, shut up! All the deer hanging around your base. 
you could hunt G deer in GTA 5? <laughs> Give me the $4 deer. He leaves $4 and come and gets you. Leaves like a little pouch of money out in the forest. Like, come and get it. And they're like, ooh, look, $4. And he's like, ooh, ha, ha, ha. Now I've got you. I have you now. Oh, we got a turkey. It is very eerie, Feezy. Oh, the fog's gone, though, so it's a bit better now. No worries, Battle Tanker. I'm looking forward to having a good night's sleep tonight as well. I'm feeling... I'm not feeling, like, super tired. I'm just feeling... nice and relaxed, where I'm like, you know, sleeping, sleeping in them should be pretty good. Sleeping would actually be pretty nice. Just to bank those extra Z's so that I can be extra productive at work tomorrow. Oh, and that's right. I've been, I've been binge watching all the X-Men movies again. I'm up to, um, I'm a bit annoyed that I did. I'm, I'm, I went off on the side to watch X-Men Origins Wolverine and I forgot how much, to, I don't know, it's just not as good, I feel. And then I remember not really enjoying, um, the, the next one, the Wolverine either. I was like, eh. Like, it's Wolverine goes to Japan. I'm like, eh, it's all right. Just didn't feel really invested in it. Like, don't I, I like Hugh Jackman, and I like the Wolverine character, but I just didn't, just didn't really care. Logan was good. What, well, Log Logan? I didn't think, like, Logan was perfect, but I still, still think it was... I would much rather watch that again than X-Men Origins or The Wolverine. 100%. Right, Looper? It's like... Like, there's some good ideas in it. But generally, it's like... I was like, I don't really care. Like, I'm sorry, Hugh, but... I don't care. Um... Yeah, last one I watched was, um, X-Men 3. Yes, it is, Scrite. Yes. Yes, it is. It's got the... Yeah, it's when he's on, um... Ah, uh, he's on, um... He's in the Strike Force X or whatever, and he's got the, the Sabretooth. It's the Sabretooth that's his brother, like, half-brother. And it's like... But then, like... As you, the further you get into all the X-Men movies, it's like the continuity just goes out the fucking window. Where, um... It's like, is this the same Sabretooth as the one in the first movie? Which I think maybe... Maybe, like, I don't know. Because I know, like, the comics and that, there's the history. Because, like, in X-Men 1, I, I noted again that... The Sabretooth character, he's very... Like, he's always, like, 
he deliberately takes um, Wolverine's dog tags, and then when Magneto takes them at his base and leaves them on his desk, he um, Sabretooth goes the effort of grabbing the the dog tags again before he leaves the room. So it's like I guess they're like, oh yeah, we'll keep it vague. But then it's like, oh you know, different actor, different look. It's it's confusing. Oh, that's oh the first one was played by an, a wrestler, was he? It's just con continuity. I find I just I really respect good continuity in movies and TV shows, and that. Oh, did I get it? No, I've never watched the cartoons. Um, I don't... I don't remember... I don't remember having... access to watch the car... the, the cartoon as a kid. Um, but I've heard the new one's really good, so I think I will go back and watch... Watch them. I went and back and I rewatched. Um, if anyone remembers Gargoyles, that's a show I really liked as a kid. Um, I went and rewatched a bunch of that earlier this year, which was interesting. It's a great idea. I'd love for them to do a live-action Gargoyles movie. I thought it was. I love. I love the. I love the idea of it. I really enjoyed it. Oh, that's... Yeah, I did hear it's a continuation of the original cartoon. So I'm like, well, I might go back and watch the original one. And I'll continue on. Yeah, I really like the... Um, I really like the whole X-Men concept and all the characters. Like, there's so much... It's got a really... A lot of really great ideas. I think my favorite X-Men movie is the Days of Future Past, where you got the two casts coming together. I just thought that was such a cool idea. It's so fascinating going back and watching... Watching something as an adult that you barely remember from when you were a kid. You like, you go into, you're like... Like, there's bits and pieces where I'm like, Oh, I remember this. I remember that. Then I'm talking like, what? Because like, as a kid, I remember watching it and not really grasping or understanding what they were saying or what they were talking about. Like a lot of things went over my head and then rewatching, I'm like, oh yeah. Now I, now I actually have a better... I understand. Like, because like, I'd have to just sort of, um, you know, interpret it as best I could. But then as an adult, I'm like, oh, okay. Now I, now I you know... I understand. Because so, I remember seeing the first episode a lot. Where they you learn that they were from a Scottish castle. And all that. And I was always like, but I don't really know all the info. But now as an adult, I do. Oh no, Battle Tanker! I hate that. It's the worst feeling. Have a good sleep, man. Well, I hope... Looper, I hope the I hope the original series is just as good as the new one because I, I'm a, whenever I get into something, I'm always like gotta watch the things before it or like if it's a game series, I've gotta play all the games before it, um, or at least try. So, it's like in my head, I'm like I'm not allowed to watch the new thing, till I watch the original thing. It's against the rules. But then it's, it's, um, so then when I look at, like, the Final Fantasy series, I'm like, ah, uh, oh no, I don't know if I can do it. Ah, oh, yeah, it'll have that old cartoon look. As was the style of the time. Yeah, I'll make, I'll make do. I still love what rewatching um 
um, I love rewatching old British comedies like um, The Young Ones, Red Dwarf, uh, stuff like that. And yeah, they've got that that crude, old timey, well, not old timey, you know, that retro look, and like it, some of it's dated, and like the sets and the costumes and that. But yeah, it's still like it's still good. Makes me laugh. Oh, I love them, Scrut. I love them. I um, I love rewatching all of Red Dwarf. It's so silly, and then Young Ones is just so wacky. Never watched the goodies. I never even got around to watching all of the Monty Python um the Monty Python Flying Circus episodes. I'm not even sure if I've seen all of Faulty Towers either. I can totally understand if people have trouble getting into the young ones these days. <laughs> it's, um... I, I, sen I feel a lot of the, um... Oh, shit. I feel a lot of the, the jokes. We're from the time. Shit. Should have taken the shot when I had it. I'm sure there's like a cancel aiming the bow button, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, what's this? Oh, you just let go of it? Oh my god, it is as simple as that. I didn't even think of that. I was like, no, if I let go of it, it'll fire. Oh my god, I'm a goose. Oh. Where am I now? I'm here. I'm thinking, where the, where the hell have I ended up? that arrow go? Oh no. It's dangerous for George Hughes to be so close to a cliff. Can you imagine if Woodman just came out of the bush and pushed me in? That that is that is something that could happen. It very well could happen. He's just been like following me the, the whole time. Those no, things, someone could be following me right now, like this whole time through the forest. And I wouldn't know. It's so eerie. 
imagine like in this view and you just see like a slight thing move. That was his four dollars. <laughs> I've always thought how great it would be if you could like stalk someone's character in game and they're like they're like down here and they you see them like peering over the top of the cliff or something like oh it'd be hilarious well not hilarious it'd be creepy oh, oh, oh. I've been playing as well sometimes like just before I go to bed or when I get home from work I've been playing that new I don't know if it's new now but it's new on the Switch that Star Wars Hunters game it's like a very dumbed down uh, like hero shooter it can be played on mobile as well so yeah it's very dumbed down yeah, I just play a bit of that it's it's not bad. Not the greatest game in the world, but it's I'm having fun with it. I play ranked. I'm trying to before I get sick of it. I'm just seeing seeing how far I can go up with the um with the in the ranked mode. Fine morning, I think partner. I just hit a semi decent rank. Well, yeah, it's easy to give a go because it's it's free. It's an alright game. I mainly play as, um... Uh... The Sith Chick. Reeve, I think it is. Because it's really great when you can, um... Get around behind them. And catch, like, their support hero by themselves. And go around and take the... The far control point and stuff. It just, it's really cool. She's got a lot of mobile abilities. It's really cool. And when you, you can pull off some really cool multi kills. And then I like playing as, um. Oh, excuse me. I like playing as, um. The healer. The, the, the healer chick with the pistol. I can't remember her name. Um. Uh, something. Uh huh. Alright. I think that might do for hunting. Might be time to go back to Blackwater. And see if things have gotten crazy since I was there. Get back and it's just everything's on fire. Like, oh my god! Hughes, where were ya? Well, I don't even- I don't really know, sir! Yeah, I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that... Because cause I got work in the morning, like, I can't... I'm always like, nah, i got to wrap up by midnight so I get enough sleep. But yeah, that's when, yeah, things get really crazy. And I'm like, is it a good or a bad thing that I'm missing out on it? For the longest time when the service started, it was always joked, it was always called, like... Valentine after hours because just yeah everyone would be in Valentine and they'd be like what they would call witch pits and it was insane it, it, the stuff you'd like I'd wake up the next day and I'd look at the discord in the morning and I'd be like what the hell happened man absolute madness where do you oh probably these Oh, I'm a... Yeah, I'm a... I'm a big Star Wars fan. 
Um, not really. I don't like collect stuff. I just love playing the good games, and I love, you know, rewatching the movies and the good shows and whatnot. Um, but I can quote a lot of the movies. Like I, it is stuck in my head, forever. Um, I've watched the first two episodes of The Acolyte, and I forgot that the episodes come out today, because um, because I had a public holiday on Monday, I've been thrown off. Like, it's, it feels like Tuesday to me. It doesn't feel like it's Wednesday. Um, so I was meant to jump on Discord and watch that with my folks. But I'd already planned to be doing this, so I'm going to watch the, the third episodes of The Acolyte tomorrow. Tomorrow night with them. And then I might do Red Dead after that. I don't know. I might play some other stuff tomorrow night. Because I, I find I do better with the RP if I do it every... Like, the most often I do it is if I do it every second night. Um, I find if... I find it, I can get a bit... Fatigued in that if I do it every night. Well, I did three in a row. Because it was a long weekend, but then I don't know if that was a great idea either. But I think everything's fine now. Oh, you saw the Witch Pits Looper? Insanity. Yeah, I love Star Wars. My, I love, um... My two favorite movies is of them is The Empire Strikes Back and Revenge of the Sith. Just because stuff really happens in them. Like, it's sad that both have sad endings. But it's just the, the stakes are so high in that. Like, it's like, it's so exciting. But I didn't mind the first two episodes of The Acolyte. Like, I'm not like... Oh my god, that was the, the most amazing thing ever. But I don't get everyone, all the people that are like, This fucking sucks. I'm like... Like, calm down. What's wrong with it? Like, chill out. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'll keep watching it. Like, and I'll make it, I'll have a better... I'll have a better opinion of the show. When I finished watching the whole season, when I've seen it, you know, from start to finish, like, I think it's way too early to be judging it. Because, you know, two episodes in, they're still setting everything up. They're introducing characters and... Like, when we get around the middle, when shit hits the fan and... And then you get towards the finale, I think it'll... It'll really show its potential then. I love Return of the Jedi as well. It's just, like, that whole, like... I, 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 I really enjoy the whole Jabba's palace sequence. Like, I just think it's really neat that there's, like, this... They do this side thing where they... You know, it's rescuing Han Solo, which was... As a kid, that was so insane, like... Learning that Han Solo gets captured. Like, just as a kid, that was like, oh my god. I think I was more... As a kid, I think I was more impacted by... Um, a main character having something like that happen to them rather than Luke learning that Darth Vader's his father. Um, I was just like, what? And then, like, because I remember watching it, we'd rent out Empire Strikes Back from, like, Video Easy and that on v on VHS. Another day we'd watch move. Empire Strikes Back and at the end be like, oh, no, you know, Han Solo's been captured. And I remember at least one time we're like, right, we're going to the video store. We'd go right back to the video store to get Return of the Jedi, just so then we could watch it, to then see them rescue him, just to be like, ah, oh, it's all right, everything's okay now. So I, I loved the stakes of Return of the Jedi with like the, the whole opening with rescuing Han Solo, and then the whole sequence with you know you got the they're, they're fighting the Imperials on the in the forest. You got the, the I think the space battle's fantastic, and then the whole scenes the scenes with Luke. With the Emperor and Vader is is great. That whole that that whole sequence is it's fantastic. It's very exciting. Probably take my 
because I'm not in uniform. People will be like, why have you got your long arms on? Hey, it's me, George! Oh. Yo, Peppa! Was it good? I'm gonna watch it tomorrow night. Oh, the music! Yeah, the, the music when uh, Luke's, you know, getting into the dark side and he's like really taking it to Vader. The music, man. It's, it's great. I appreciate that, Pepper. I'm looking for, I'll, I'm, look, I'm extra looking forward to it then. That's, that sounds promising. Let's go. What if anyone's even here? Wild horses are coming into town. That's how quiet it is right now. Wild horses are coming into town and they're not getting scared off by people. <laughs> Blackwater is dead. The martial law is uh, working a treat. Yeah, that that martial law. These rocks are still here. If I could find who if I could find who left these rocks. <laughs> Thank you for the, the sub, Scrite. Appreciate it. Thank you, partner. Or <laughs> just keep dumping rocks. <coughs> Excuse me. Got it. Got it. It's big. It's quiet in town. Yeah, I know, right? Is martial law still uh, active? Yeah, I think it's active for about another week. Oh shit, a week. <laughs> yeah, they really, they really want the, uh, the message to get across. Yeah, fair enough. Oh well. Well, I don't even know what to do, eh? Uh, our ledger is empty, we've got no resources. What do you do? So, I uh, work at the blacksmith. Oh! Uh, what do you need to... The black... What do you need to be doing some work? Uh, we need some iron. Oh, so you need people to be mining? Yeah, yeah, I think, uh... I think it's all gone quiet. Oh. Could you... I don't know, I, I've never... Worked in that trade. Uh, could you go up to Valentine? I, I imagine there might be people up at Valentine. Yeah, the only problem is I can't pay them. <laughs> oh, there's no money in the ledger. Well, you have to go mine it yourself just to get it rolling again. Yeah, I fulfilled an order today, but they're not gonna. The bill's not gonna come through until tomorrow. Oh no! I thought maybe if I can get the bill, uh, maybe if I can get the uh, half the order to the customer today i might have some money in the ledger but i'll come to a full stop oh shit i'm sorry to hear that look yeah i'm not a business-minded fella so i wish i had some advice for you but I, that sounds like a real pickle i hope it picks up for you yeah me too i'm just walking around looking for something to do <laughs> well yeah i uh, i've been like out hunting town. i i guess i'd i'd recommend checking out strawberry or or, or valentine i i, I would I have a feeling Valentine might be where everyone is now. Yeah, yeah, I was I just came from there. There's a lot of people there. But uh Yeah, it's not much for me to do out there. I uh Oh. 
pretty tired. We've been working for like two days straight getting that order done. Shit. That's... So we have like heaps enough workers and stuff. It's just uh, two of the main workers that can actually do the big orders. Um, their their skill got a reset. They've been working too much in the store and they oh they're all delirious now. They can't figure out how to do things. Oh no! See, you gotta pace. You get... They gotta pace themselves, stay hydrated, get rest. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I've been in there for like two days straight now doing this order. Damn, I'm trying I... to chase up people with iron, putting my own money into the ledger. Oh I I had I had no idea that local yeah, businesses had to business. deal with that sort of thing. That 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 sounds tough. Yeah, yeah. One day hopefully I might own uh, a business myself. I'd probably what do I do instead of just having a thousand dollars in the ledger and whatever's uh, on top of that take out? I'd have pretty much all my finances put into the ledger. Oh wow! So then there's it's never going to be short. Then they're never going to lose customers. Yeah. They're never going to be short of things. I can always just put more in. Ah uh, yeah, I see that. Well, I hope it gets better for your friend. But I... Yeah. I better retire it should be tomorrow. Night. Once that order comes through, we'll be busy again, but I'm supposed to be doing that order all night tonight for getting ready f to be ready by tomorrow, but yeah, it's just come out of full stop. Oh, dear. <laughs> There's not much That's... I can do about it. Oh. it? It's a damn shit. Well, I hope things get better. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Oh, well, well. What do you do? Oh, I'm, actually a, I'm actually a local lawman. Oh, that's right. I think I was talking to you earlier. George Hughes. I'm one of the captains here on the west side. I'm, I'm off duty. I, I went. I was off hunting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I think I, I think I was talking to a, a couple of a couple of years before. Um, yeah. I just met so many people today. I just, it all becomes a blur. It 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 can be really hard to keep track of all the names and faces. I I. I'm very bad. I, I even with the some of the lawmen from the east side, I get their names mixed up, which yeah, yeah, which they don't particularly yeah. like sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. That's right. Apparently, I have a doppelganger too. When uh, Jeb was uh, in the mines trying to talk to him, and the guy was just ignoring him. So <laughs> next time I saw Jeb, was like trying to suss me out whether I. And was just ignoring him, or whether it was oh, me no. or not. I I think you do, you think you remind me of someone else. I can't put my finger on it, but I, I swear you remind me of someone else I've seen. Um, is there's a fella that looks exactly like me, except he's got grey hair and grey beard. Oh, yeah. It's probably my daddy. I don't I don't know. Yeah, did you know your dad growing up? Not really. Oh, well, you never know. You never know. Could be, yeah. Uh... Yeah. Oh, well. Well, that'd be a one way to pass the time if you go find this fella and figure out if, uh, you know, he was living in the same area as you were born. You yeah, get... that's, uh, wouldn't that be awkward? Yeah, that might, that'd be a, that'd be a, a great way to pass the time. <laughs> that, that, you'll, it'll be tomorrow before you know it. You'll be reminiscing about catching up with someone you never knew before. Yeah, that's it. Go fishing. That's it. Can't make up for last time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> play some ball. That's yeah. Let's let's play let's play catch, Dad. Yeah, you know, you know toss the old pigskin around. It'd be great. Yeah. Well, yeah, there, you, there you go. If you can't think of anything soon, go find go find this fella and figure it out. Yeah, that's it. We'll go play some sheep knuckles. Yeah. Oh, what was your name again? Leroy, Leroy Brown. Leroy! Yeah, no, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I do recall meeting a Leroy. Yeah, well, good to meet you. Good to see you again, Mr. Brown, but yeah, I better, I better go hit the, hit the hay. Been a long yeah, that's one. it. I think I'm in the same boat. Uh, probably training out. Uh, I think I've done my uh, juice for today. And yeah, more martial law comments, so, but it was actually pretty good today. It's just, we're just trying to make sure everyone's got IDs and, you know, make, you know, keeping everyone dispersed and, but a lot of people have been using the, that area over in front of the courthouse rather than the middle of the street, which is it, it's just fantastic. That's what I want. Yeah, uh, how do I get an ID? I don't think I've ever oh, applied just, one. Just at the courthouse, at the main desk in the in the lobby, um, you can get yourself a, a an ID for five dollars. You gotta, you know, give them like your height, weight, 
hair color, eye color, and all that, and then they get it all sorted. And then that just helps us in future, like say we're dealing with bank robberies or God knows what, then we can definitely be sure of who we're talking to. Yeah, okay, it's just like, um, just to be a, what would they call it, a, get rid of the denomination, I guess? That's uh, right. Yeah. Because it's it just helps us paint a better picture of where everyone is, where everyone was. Just for all our records, because, you know, we're, we're dealing with people that are, you know, wearing masks and killing people and taking hostages. You know, we got to... Oh, jeez. It's, it's, it's hard to identify them. You know, you, and they, they're, like, ch you know, putting on a different voice and muffling it. It's, 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 it's hard. It's really tough. Yeah, I think I, I spent, like, the first three weeks in county just networking and going meeting people. I didn't even... I, I just made enough money to feed myself and get plenty of drinks and maybe get a feed my horse as well and yeah i was just meeting people learning names and yeah it's uh, definitely a lot of new faces around and a lot of big people they could say anything but with the id yeah, then it. we know this person's registered with the government we know we know who they are like, we're not we, some people they think with lawmen we're wanting to just you know bully everyone and keep tabs everyone we just we just want to be ready for when we got to deal with serious shit yeah it makes your life a lot easier that's for sure yeah we just want to make sure everyone's having a safe good time yeah, yeah. oh well, what can you do yeah that's it it's a pretty new system but oh well all right all right leroy you have a good one i'll i'll see you around yeah no worries be safe Oh, is that 8-Bit? Does he look like your character? Oh, bearded. I can check the bin for you before I go back to the department. Do you want to check this bin? Oh. A law bill? Oh, you're Joe Scent. I think... I, have I met you? Who's this? Wayne McCready just put their law bill straight in the bin. <laughs> Unlucky for you, I've found it. I've found your bill. Let's see if it's still active. Wayne McCready. <laughs> oh, another bin for you, Bearded. No, they were... Oh, well, actually, I checked earlier and they were broken. But let's double check because they may be different. You never know. You never know. Yes, they're both broken with no modifications. And I don't intend on doing any mining as old Hughes. I did my fair share of mining as Valdemar. And I'm not in a, ru I'm not in a rush to do it again. <laughs> see oh <coughs> the poor butcher let's see if all the mountains by little creek ah oh very good let's check if Wayne McCready has where do i see that i think it's is that at the desk there's some way where you can see all the active finds for real i think it's billing book Aha, here we go. So 
So we're looking for Wayne McCready. Wayne McCready. <laughs> yep, there's a there was a fine from two days ago for attempted theft. He was charged thirty dollars. There's one for thirty-five dollars on the same day. Open carry of long arm in town or city. <laughs> Both were from Sledge. Oh, here's another one. This was today. Armed robbery, $35. Oh, Mr. McCready. Mr. McCready. Oh dear, we are gonna be having chats. We are gonna be having chats. I'm gonna be telling old Sledge about you and getting getting that bill paid. <laughs> Very unlucky I checked that bin. <laughs> well, it's already um oh shit. Um <laughs> The fines are always there, but it's just funny because now it's like Oh, you throw the fine in the bin, eh? Oh, what's that? You want another fine, dude? <laughs> We've still got a bounty for Ace. $100. I think that's one of D's characters. Oh. Oh, right. Who else we got? We got Razor Ellis. Public Disorderly Conduct. Rodney Rufus. Possession of legal items, trespassing, disobeying a lawful order. Thomas Strange, disobeying a lawful order. Gabriel Esther. Oh, that's one of the mar. I think it was like a test with one of the marshals. Ivory Bat, Ivory Blake. Oh, you can actually see if they're paid. Possession of legal items. Oh yeah, still need Deviant. He stole my horse! My god, Miguel Garcia, the guy at the train station earlier today. He's got one. Armed robbery. Oh my god. Oh, yep. Yeah. Layla Rose. I think she was at the Valentine Bank robbery. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Lucifer. Valentine Grave robbery. Dear, oh dear. We have been naughty, haven't we? Oh, I really thought enough time had passed. You what? You fucking what? You what, mate? Oh, knocked over the wood. Let me go! Let me go, please! Minute, a minute goes by so slow when you really need it to be gone. You're like, what? That was just 10 seconds? You fucking kidding me? Make sure the doors are actually locked. People can't come in and use the damn phone. <laughs> Maybe I should call... Saint Denis five zero zero.
Hello? Howdy, this is Captain George Hughes from the West Department in Blackwater. How you doing? Oh, George, it's great to hear your voice. How are you, mate? It's Kenneth. Kenneth, God, glad to hear your voice. How's everything over there? Not great, mate. Uh, we actually just had uh, Dotty Goldsworth broken out of Sistica. Um, Calder and Wiles came to our department, blew the heads off three deputies, um, went to Sistica and broke uh, Dotty out and is headed your way, I believe. Uh, Blackwater, you think? Uh, yeah, they said they're going to Blackwater. Oh, shit. I, do, do you know if the, you have any lawmen in pursuit? Uh, we're, we're getting medical to everyone. And th this happened just now? This happened probably 10 minutes ago. Harkness showed up for a brief second, but, yeah, they um, took a slow-ass boat and they were heading to your way, so... Oh, they're coming over on by boat. They could be arriving to the dock, like, right now. They could be, yeah. Okay, look, I'll stay on duty a little bit long, keep an eye out for you. I, I, right. I just wanted to call to say thank to you, thanks to y'all for coming over to Blackwater today. <laughs> uh, but here we go. All right, I'll keep an there eye out for a bit. Um, yeah, all the best, Kenneth. Uh, I uh, really hope likewise. everyone makes their swift recovery. Me too. If you need us, call us, yeah? Will do. Uh, have a good night. You too. Bye. Well, fuck! What the fuck? You're right, Lupa. I should have gone off duty. I love it. It's like, oh yeah, you know, we just had, you know, someone get, someone broken out of Cisco, another one shot three deputies. Oh, you know, not so good, mate. How's it going? Oh, not so good, brother. <laughs> like, oh mate, you know, shit hit the fucking vent. You know, we're we're all fucking dead over here. How are you? Oh, you know. Yeah, everyone's over in Saint Denis now. Imagine if this is Caldern and Dotty right here. Imagine if that was them there. I can't remember exactly where... Yeah, Dottie and Cal don't live in... live in Blackwater, don't they? Don't you dare, Bearded. Don't you dare! No! Not Bean Law. Dear God, no. God, where do I wait? Where should I wait and look? I'll wait for a bit, just in case they they rock up at the dock or they ride into town. My God, what? The f was not expecting, was not expecting for someone to answer with that kind of stuff. I was literally just be like, "Yo, thanks for people, thanks for coming over to um, the west side today." Goodness gracious.
Nah, nah, I wasn't gonna prank him. Now that's that's what Dinger does. So that wouldn't be yeah. So if they're coming back, it's Caldern and Dotty. So it wouldn't be just one of them. They'd be coming back together. So if they're coming here, they'd they would race in on horseback through here. Or they'd land in a with a boat. Imagine if they are rowing the whole way. But I can only wait a bit because yeah, I'm part of me is hoping that they don't rock up soon. Cause like I need to I need to be I need to be wrapping up soon to wind down for bed. But it's like, if they rock up within the next 10 minutes, I could probably justify, like, at least taking some photos or something. But I don't think, I don't think, considering I've heard that he's killed, he shot three deputies and broke Dottie out of Sisiga. Um, I don't think by myself I'll confront... That's wild. I can't believe that timing of calling to hear that. Oh! Is that wagon speeding? I think it's just a local. I don't... That didn't look like Caldern to me. But I haven't seen Caldern in a while. I imagine they'd probably be going, um... Laying low somewhere... Not in a, in a town. Or maybe hide out in Strawberry. Like, if I was them, I wouldn't hide out in Valentine or Blackwater. I would hide out in Strawberry for a bit. I'm 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 pretty confident that's on him unless he's rocking a disguise. Get a fatal. Howdy, partner. Thank you for the thank you for the follow. No, I'm um. I'm um I'm one of the lawmen, but I'm currently off duty. Uh, I'm one, I'm one of the captains in the West Law Department. Playing. 
Played and streamed Diablo for the first night. Oh, it's your first night! Playing on the in the in the county. Oh well, welcome on in. Was it was it good? Did you have a good sesh? Got eaten by a bear trying to shoot a demon horse. Where did you where did you happen to get eaten by a bear? Was it Was it over here? By any chance? Hello, sir. It was? Dude, I I went up there recently to do some hunting off duty. And I just happened to find um some pouch of money. There was like four dollars in it. This random pouch in the middle of the forest, just randomly sitting there. So we're like, so you're looper in that in chat's like, well, someone must have died here. And then nearby, I came across um, whoever died. I imagine it was their horse nearby. If you're curious, tomorrow, or whatever, go through the like, flick through the vod when I go to out there hunting, and let me know if that's the spot you died on. If that was your horse, that would be actually be in. An insane coincidence. That'd be insane, dude. That would be that would be actually be so cool. Cause then I was like, we were thinking like, what if I had been there? What if I had been there sooner to help or you know find the the person there while they were wounded? Cause I just I was like I went to Manzania to post and I was like, I'm gonna go that way. Um, just to hunt, whatever. And I just happened to stumble across it. It was purely by chance. I post the clip in Diablo IP chat to take a Guinness of movie. I will have a look as soon as I wrap this up. I will have a look. I'm actually, I'm actually very curious now. Because that's the cool thing about the RP is that you never know when you're going to cross paths with someone. Or you like, you just miss someone. Like a lot of people really enjoy watching all the streams. And they'll have like a few of them up. And then it's like a really cool moment when the players, the different players that are streaming, like cross paths. It's like, oh, it's fascinating. Like, I, it's fascinating. Will do. No, I, I, I just, I love, I love those little details. It's, um, because, you know, like, while I've been off. Well, I've been off doing whatever. I've heard that over in um, Saint Denis, they've been dealing with some really intense um, crime, and it's just like, and it's just because I I just happened because in the law department here, we have a telephone. I just happened to call them and ask, and they were like, "Yeah, we just had someone break out of Cisco. We had someone shoot three deputies." And like, if I had not, if I hadn't have called, I would not have known about that. Um, and I would never know, learn about that unless someone tells me out of character or there's a clip or a YouTube video or or something. It's um it's fascinating. You just you don't know what's going on with everyone. Love to hear it fatal. Well it's it's great to see lots of new lots of new streamers on the server. I've been myself the three main streamers for the longest time has been myself, Hammer Razor, and Dopey Dill. We've been streaming on the server since the server went live last year in August. Um, there, lots have come and gone, but we've been the main ones that have like stuck around since the start, like regularly. And um, for a long time, it was, it's just been us three. And I'm like, look, that's great. But I'm like, is there anyone else? So it's really nice to see a lot more coming in. Um, and like a lot, like criminal characters, silly characters. And. Um, yeah, just more of a variety rather than just three dudes with beards. <laughs> it's just three dudes. It's like it's good. There's there's more variety, which is nice to see. Um, love to see it. Um, but I've had a good time. Oh, okay. Now I'm feeling tired. I've had a good time. But yeah, it's been a fun night. But um, let's leave it there for now. <laughs>